T-S-W-G-G-G-G. She's got her boot. She smashes his face into the ground. Face into the ground. She throws the glass at his face and it cuts him. Just every, like on top of all of the torture, after all the shit she did to him, that rod of that cunt's ass. After all the shit she did to you, 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 are you fucking kidding me? This bitch goes uh, yeah, fucking I, ham. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, uh, and she likes it. Bam, bitch. 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 Guess what? Shit's about to get real. Real, real. And yeah, get your panties in a fucking twist about this. Women are fucking evil. Fucking evil. Men are evil too, but there are some fucking things that women will do and go the extra mile for that come. She's got her boot, she smashes his face into the ground. A sexy time is the best way to do it. Like, uh, bitch, um, come on. Like, uh, bitch, um, come on. Princess Fuckface, uh, is a fucking cunt. Like, uh, bitch, um, and she likes it. Bam, bitch. And she likes it. Bam, bitch. And she likes it. And she likes it. Bam! Bitch! Guess what? Shit's about to get real. This is the way that you beg me to fuck you. Beg me to fuck you. Guess sexy time is the best way to do it. Like, uh, bitch, um, come on. Like, uh, bitch, um, come on. Princess Fuckface yeah, like, uh, is a fucking yeah, yeah, cunt. Like, like uh, yeah, yeah, like, bitch, um, uh, yeah, yeah, and like, she likes it. Bam, bitch. And she likes it. Bam, bitch. And she likes it. Bam, bitch. And she likes it. Bam, bitch. Guess what? I'm a motherfucking Because they want his bottle of fluids be that's you yeah, yeah, I guess sexy time is the best way to do it. Hum. Special hero juices. T S W G G G G
you to meet my colleague, Dr. Hamilton. And I'd like you to get the fuck out of here. Oh, it's all right. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of his room, you bitch. <laughs> Nick it. Look who's here. Oh, good. Tulip is here. Tulip is here. The best day in the whole world. Yeah, I like the camera angle. It's good. <laughs> Look at her little face. Oh, the cute. Yes, that's a descendant of a wolf. <laughs> My princess. What did they do to a wolf? <laughs> to they it turned it into perfection. I like the poll in the chat. Who's hotter? Princess Leia, Princess Aura, uh, Anna, or Cecil? Who's winning? I didn't look. I don't know. I haven't voted yet. Nice hmm. Barbie video. Thank you. Thank you to everyone that went out and watched my Barbie video. Oh, the Barbie video was good. Get a lot of views on that one. No. Really? Yeah, no, not really. But you got to remember, my channel is like, YouTube's trying its hardest to kill it. So what are you going to do, man? It's at 10,000 views, which is like, that. that's good. But I mean. Consider you're walking around in a bathing suit. It should be higher. Well, considering I got better views when I had like a thousand uh, subs than I do now, you know, that's what happens when YouTube censors you. Uh, let's see what the chat said. Uh, I don't want to tell you who's winning. Who do you think is winning? I'm betting it's you. No. Is it you? Well, you have an eye for beauty. So, yeah, of course. <laughs> the trolls are winning. The trolls? What are you talking about? People have eyes. 46%. I just clicked on it. It's, I'm embarrassed for you. Yeah. I it's a blowout. Sure. I'm surprised. Prin I think Princess Aura is just not as famous, but she probably is at least as hot as me, I'd say. As you? At least, yeah. She shouldn't be dead last. I'd say of the bunch, she might be just under me in hotness. And Adonis, thank you. Uh, <laughs> That's the word. Adrian Adonis, to be. Look what I found. Oh wow, code red. Cool. Just what your just what your one kidney needed. Captain Braxton for five dollars. Thank you very much, sir. He says, and thank you for your service, Captain. Although I prefer a uh, fatter, funnier, drunker Cecil, I'm happy he is fulfilling. Women and comics now. <laughs> those things was being fulfilled. Oh, you should share that meme I sent you guys the other day. I found this meme that it, it really made me think of Cecil. It was uh, very funny. Let me see if I can find it. Because uh, there are some things that make me think of him sometimes. Uh, usually very offensive. This one was inspirational, I felt. Uh, let me Let me share my screen real fast. Projects done poorly for five dollars. Thank you. Says bring on PTP and then don't let him talk. Hurdy likes that. Yeah, I was watching uh, fl the Flash cast. Yeah, and pretty much every time he went to talk, Flash was like, "Start talking." I can't bad. really go. I can't really go after Flash for that because that's kind of what I do when I'm drunk. I'm famous for just fucking hammering over everybody. Yeah. So what when you watch somebody else do it, you're like, "Oh, am I that big of an asshole too?" But yeah, it's all right. Was he pissed? You think? I, I'm. I don't. I don't. I don't think he'd be pissed, but I'm sure he was frustrated. Yeah. PTB has been. I see Nina in the chat. What's up, Nina? What's up, Nina? When a tr and you did a great job interviewing Sam. By the way, Sam will be here in a little bit. He's on Planet Mongo right now. So okay. Here, here's the meme I wanted to share with with everyone. Because I think it's an important lesson to learn, and uh, this should motivate Cecil to go back to his old ways. Share my screen. Guys, think about this. Every corpse on Mount Everest was once an extremely motivated person. So you could be dead right now, Cecil, 
and you might be soon if you keep on going on this path that you're going on. This is an intervention. So what you're saying is can't win, don't bother trying. Exactly. All right. Exactly. I kind of like <laughs> that. that again someday. <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> That means I can eat whatever I want, right? Eat, like, just be fat and happy or, you know, happiness that covers up your misery than, like, dying on a quest to achieve something that you never will. Eat eat my feelings. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Guys, just see, I'm saving Cecil's life right now by telling him to stop. Stop this is, being This emotional. is like an intervention. Look, the chat's getting involved. Thank you, Russell. Give up. <laughs> Uh, motivation is bad. Okay, I'm. This is amazing. Drop the roid, Cecil. I'm not on roids. I'm losing weight. When I get skinny enough, I'll start taking roids so I get all like. So I actually got into a conversation with somebody, which I wasn't expecting them to be so passionate against the the roid talk, but I just made a passive comment about how the new guy that they're going to get to be Superman. Uh, I'm like. Oh yeah, he's they're gonna need to put him on roids because he's too skinny. And he's like, What are you talking about? He's yoked. And I was like, No, he's not. He's like, I met him in person. Like he's super skinny. Like I wanted to give him a hamburger or actually a few because I'm like, that guy needs to like eat. Cause like that's a lot of people in LA. I'm like, Yeah, you look good in photographs because you get all the right angles, but in person, I'm like, dude, you need food. And I was like, Yeah, they'll probably just put him on the Marvel regiment, which is you know, getting them all roided up and then in six months. Yeah. They do like a six month training. What what do you think Paul Rudd at like 52 is in the best shape of his life? I like no. It's like they're like, all right, listen, Ant Man, fucking you're eating this, injecting this, and fucking, you know. Well then I didn't expect uh this like <laughs> this pushback on it, explaining like health and like the regiments and all this. And I'm like I don't know, I'm pretty sure that yeah, exactly. Paul Rudd at 50 something is not ha there's no reason for him to have abs aside from roids but uh somebody said uh star wars theory takes testosterone star wars theory like was in a freaking hospital most of his childhood like that that's a little bit different like when you get you know sick as a kid and your body de is deficient in certain things that, that's very different yeah um and lectures on healthy eating i'm not at all saying it did i ever say anything about food What's up, Chris? Uh, Hi, Princess Chris. Boris. Chris, you could come on if you want. Finally get you Mommy on here. Flash Gordon. He probably knows him. Probably Chris knows, knows everyone. I'm 5'3", and I have abs. Well, congratulations. Oh, you 15. can send Chris the, the link if, if you're able to hop on. I know it's... Oh. You say everything about food. No, I was talking about roids. Which yeah, that, those guys. I mean, listen, you you could see the size difference. Even like Chris Hemsworth looks like you know he goes up like forty pounds before he's like, and then you see him like off season, and he's just like a in shape, tall, lean dude, but he's not like you know a fucking WWF wrestler. Whoa, but, John just posted on Twitter. He said. 2024 guys i'm hitting the road for the fans fest is my only guaranteed convention but i'm leaving open the idea of a couple smaller meetups yellowstone niagara falls oh so john's gonna leave his house that's breaking wow news. breaking news mm -hmm. Hold on. john Malin's gonna leave his house it's amazing well breaking news banner is broken out right now john Malin leaving his house <laughs> next year <laughs> this is exciting all right I'm, I'm getting a little drunk i shouldn't be too drunk maybe we should show pictures of princess aura because she was she was something special i remember she moved me as a child like specifically my penis moved oh when you were a child yeah i was like a little boy when i saw her and i was just like i like girls <laughs> And then I saw Sam and I was like, I like boy. No, I'm pretty not. sure like she got a record for kissing like the most guys in one movie that's not an adult film. In this movie? Oh, bless you. All right, here is Princess Aura. 
da, da, da. Let me see. Let me just click on her. Did you guys hear too? Oh, she looks good. Like she looked, she looked good for years after. Well, of course she's a good looking lady, but, uh, all right. This is her man. She is gorgeous. I mean, she, yeah. I mean, she's right up there with me. I'm looking at her now. Uh, let me see where this is her over here. This is her without her princess aura costume. I mean, she is a knockout. But um, like that anymore? What? People don't look like that anymore. No, no, because they would get their lips done and wreck it or do something to their fucking <laughs> like, like I got to do something to tweak this and make it better. And it's like, no, don't stop. Holy shit, she is fucking gorgeous. Look at this picture, Anna. Knockout. Anyway, she was. Uh, let me see if I get her. Here's, Didn't she speak like five? I like thought it was Princess Aura, not Aurora. Aura, yeah. I like the scene where she was getting whipped. Even the even like the uh, SS guard chick is pretty hot too. Like all the women in this movie. Well, we'll bring we'll bring us up with uh, with Sam when he gets here. I don't know. Me and Peaches, like Peaches, had like never watched it, so I made him watch it. Mm -hmm. And Dale, like he's like she is not hot, and like everyone you know flashes all about her. And uh, what's his well, face? Well, no, she she actually is very pretty, but it's just. It's a different type of pretty. She's like, she's the girl next door pretty. And this is like, well, we were super... like not digging her hair. We're like, this is a very, like, this it is... was, it was outdated. But no, she's, she's definitely a good looking broad for sure. But it's like you put it next to this girl and it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like you sitting next to me. You just don't look as good. Yeah, I know. I'm hideous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you. By the way, the entire chat's side of relief when you turned your camera off. Thank you. I know. I'm sorry. Let me let me hide. I know. I, I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to like break the screen with my face. Uh, she was hot in Flash Gordon. Yeah, I mean, she. Let me see. Let's see. Here she is. Yeah, she was. She was fucking dope. I remember just. Her, I remember as a kid seeing her and being like, "God, that's a beautiful woman." <laughs> yeah, she's hot. So yeah, I mean, Chris voted for her. I mean, I I think secretly he did vote for me. I don't know if he's telling the truth. Heck, but... I voted for her. I voted for her over myself. Oh, that was honest of you. Let's see. Yeah, she's fucking hot. Uh, Yellow Flash voted for me. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Flash, you would. Thanks, Flash. I appreciate your honesty. Hmm. And uh, yeah, but the thing about this movie is everybody is good looking. Look, there's your man, uh, Timothy. I know. Oh my god. It's like it's like they couldn't do these movies now. It's like every single person that is on film, except for like the goofy like lab assistant and a few. You know what I mean? Like. And like the the scientist guy, right? So yeah, everyone is attractive, but I mean, every background player, every slave girl, every dancing girl is like dropped thing, in Hollywood. You used to have to be attractive to be a movie star, unless you're the clown. And now it's like you can be basic and be a movie star, like Brie Larson. Like there is absolutely nothing. Like there's not even a girl next door aspect about Brie Larson. She's, she's just okay. Like, she's not bad looking, but it's like she's not like if you met her, you'd be like, you got to go to Hollywood and meet her at the grocery store. Like movie stars are not people you would be able to like run into at a grocery store, right? You know who I saw in person, and I was just like, dear God, this woman is fucking gorgeous, and she had like no makeup on. It was like at Fire Island at a little like. uh convenience store like on the island and she's like in flip-flops and shorts and a tank top and her hair and a ponytail it was a uh, katie holmes like a couple of years back. New York? i don't know she was she was just on i just was in, i was like i'm looking at this girl and i'm like 
who is i'm like i'm thinking it's somebody i know that's what happens when i normally see somebody that's famous it's like i think i know them i don't assume right away that they're famous unless i and i'm like where do i know this girl from and then i'm like oh shit it's fucking dawson or whatever and uh but she's a stunner like just no makeup no like she looked like a movie star she did like that i have to say i saw j-lo in real life you'd walk right past her no i'm not really? even kidding you would yeah same thing. I saw her in like a ponytail, no makeup, sweatpants. Walk right, you'd walk right past her. Mm. But when she's made up, she does look like a movie star. I'll give her that. Like she does, she does do the movie stuff. She cleans stars. up. What? She cleans up. Yeah, no, she's good. Like she, she, she presents herself as a movie star, which is good. But most people just don't do that. Shit's over. Like they don't do that anymore. Fucking spell correct. What does that mean? What I spell wrong? Your mom. What is Russell? Did you spell like the princess's name wrong? It's Aura, but people are calling her Aurora, but it's it's Aura. A U R A, not Aurora. I don't know. Half the people have it written as Aurora, but I remember it as Aura. Just go look on the IMDb. Stop yelling at me. You do that. You're my research person today. Yep, Cecil is still gay. Yeah, so everybody was like, yeah, that's what it is. It's like in the old days, it was like if you were really good looking, people would be like, you should become an act. You should go to Hollywood. You know, now we got like Seth Rogen as fucking the green, green uh, fucking hornet. How the fuck do you cast Seth Rogen as the green hornet and you got fucking, uh, what's his name there? Don Draper. What's that guy's name? Oh, uh, John Hamm. Yeah, John Hamm sitting there, never made him Batman, never made him it like the dude is fucking, you know, rock granite jawed, fucking wide shoulder. The guy's made to be a superhero leading man, but he was at the wrong time in fucking history. Instead, we got like Michael Sarah and fucking Michael Sarah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we just got the movie stars were so whack during his during uh John Hamm's time period. It's like, wow, he imagine him did. as fucking the, the Green Hornet. That'd have been fucking great. Instead of fucking, yeah, let's get Seth Rogen in there. Like, just the death of the movie star. Like, John Hamm should be a huge movie star. Like, that's what a is. movie star is. Is, like. is John Hamm not a movie? Like, where did I? He is, but he's famous for, you know, for yeah. Mad Men. But, like, name, a, name your favorite John Hamm movie. Let's put it that way. Uh, oh, like where he's the the leading man. Yeah. Uh, because I was gonna say Top Gun was pretty good, but I mean he's the. No, the he's boy. he's in movies, but it you know what's the John ha like he should have been like that guy was. Yeah, you're was, right. You know he's a good he's a great actor. He's got the look, but they fucking passed. Well, him over. you know what? He's not a pedo, and uh, he's not gay. He's not. He's married, and uh, I'm sure he doesn't. He looks good in gray sweatpants. He looks fantastic in gray sweatpants. You need to redefine that. There's not very many men that look good in gray sweatpants, but, uh, you know, he doesn't disappoint. Uh, Space Windu for $5 says, Cecil, you next Tuesday. I think he just uh -huh. called me a cunt. Uh, thank you, though. Uh, Ralph Mack. Five dollars says hello. My sales job uh, last week moved me to a shit inbound road. Didn't show up for, for a week. I was making three times that playing poker till two a.m. Now I'm looking for sales again. You should nice. go back to that then, Ralph. Yeah, gamble for a living. I knew a professional gambler. It's a weird way to make. It's a weird way to make your living. <laughs> It is, uh, but I mean, we're not really ones to talk. It was my, my friend's father was a, a professional gambler in Vegas. But did he did sports book and he did poker and he fucking they made a good living. He was Imagine good. YouTuber people saying that somebody else's job is like a strange way to make a living. You literally sit there in a mask every day. Yeah, I sometimes take it off when I go to sleep, though. Oh, that's weird. It's not that weird. Uh, Jonathan Hurst says Cecil and Anna live. Hell yeah. That's right. And 
Look at her little tulip. Look, she licked her little puppy paw. Uh, oh, yeah. So is John, is John uh, mailing coming? I sent John the link. Okay. John usually comes on to these things. Uh, I did it well, before the show no, started. If, I just wanted to just say, if Sam doesn't show up tonight, yeah, it's because Anna set this whole thing up. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can blame me. No, they were originally going to be on my channel, and then I totally forgot about Tuesdays with Cecil. So I was like, let's just do it on on Cecil's channel on his show, because I, I all the days that they have available, I'm kind of busy. So I'm like, ah, B busy. I Didn't am. I, I got photo shoots. The sun is finally supposed to come out, uh, and I really need to uh, get some of these done. While the sun is out, New York is in a huge cloud of smoke right now. Like, why? Uh, what did you do? There's a forest fire in Canada, and apparently, like the the winds are perfectly just coming over New York, oh. York. And uh, yeah, it's just like you, you go outside; it smells like smoke, and everything's just hazy. It's like a haze everywhere. Is it giving you nine eleven flashbacks? Uh, it wasn't, but now it is. <laughs> <laughs> did i just no. break cecil what's that did i just break you no head rock says head rock with uh six dollars from fantasy land i believe that is what that symbol is uh john will get assassinated by some angry dad where he, so he's doing like national parks john yeah actually when? that's what he was naming when is he doing it this summer i don't know he just said that next year, 2024, is when he's leaving the house. Hmm. Alex M. APM, APM says, no, stay hot, Cecil. You're, I will. You're looking fit as fuck. You're nearly at the point where us gay heads will turn, and that is high praise. And TRT for the wind. Yeah. TRT is is the thing to do. Mm. Choke outs on that. Choke out has been terrible these past few days. Choke out actually made me grossed out, which is almost impossible. To I'm do. afraid to go in our chat. Like Anna <laughs> usually sends, you know, medical mysteries and fucking kids with no faces or a man with two a heads fucking... stuck together. Did you see that kid where his like twin is growing out of him? <laughs> yeah, that's that's in cash grab too. <laughs> No, there's an episode uh, X of X Files where they go to the circus and like the one guy, his twin is like a merman that comes out of him and like kills everyone. It's Quato. Yeah. Uh -uh. So, uh, f fucking choke out is on this kick. He's found these photographs of like. <laughs> Of, dis yourself, of diseased vaginas and like i can't i'm just no, afraid no, Cecil, to they're they're not diseased they're the trans male to female surgery is that what it is yes it, and they're infected and closed up <laughs> i know doesn't that make it so much worse <laughs> And Choke Out keeps sending them to us. And oh they're not god. like censored photos. They're graphic. You oh my god. It everything. looks like oh, it is it is the most vile shit. Like I literally like and I always check, like, you know, I get up, I check, I go on that thing, because like he's he's up really early. So when I wake up, he's already going. You know what I mean? And like <laughs> You're usually awake from the night before when I wake up. It's like, you guys are up. So I go on that chat first and I just, I'm getting hit with these pictures of like these rotten. <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't, I, I even said, I think I'm out of here. Like, I think I'm done. You almost left the chat. That's why I sent all of the palate cleansers. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this. I'm going to, I get fucking <laughs> physically sick. It was the most disgusting shit. <laughs> Like, I think now it makes it look better, the shit that I sent, right? Yes, you sent, I think, a girl with no nose. <laughs> <laughs> a little boy in a that walks with, like, a walker, and he has an open sinus cavity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a palate cleanser for the shit that fucking... Uh... 
I did, you're yeah. both too. I at least put like hot chicks in there once in a while, just to, and then you guys. I just, sent you guys a hot chick the other. No, night. just they're all midgets. They're all midgets. No, 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 I sent the hot chick that was doing that weird stretchy thingy. Choke out saw it and appreciated you it. Had the weights on her on her pussy. That one. Yeah. Okay, that was. You see, you see, I I sometimes send the hot chick ones. You name one. That's because. You did. How, because it's that rare, you could actually name the one. If you did it a lot, you wouldn't be able to name it. But like, it's like I once sent a hot chick, you know, between all these mm -hmm. horror shows. Okay. Uh, Russell Hall says Brie Larson snooch is emma emasculate or immaculate. I think he meant immaculate. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think Brie Larson's good looking, but like, you know, it's not, she's not she's like. basic. She, yeah, she's a, high, a higher end basic, but she's like good looking broad. Yeah, you know, I don't know if she's she looked good on like she 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 cleaned up good like when she did Jimmy Kimmel and you know had the high dress and her oh, hair you mean when her she makeup and her, her titties out. She could pull it together. She can do it. Like you know what I mean. There's some people like like I don't know. Like I have nothing against what's his name. What's what's the guy fucking the Mandalorian? Uh. Pedro Pascal. Like, how is that guy a leading man? Like, honestly, and a sex symbol of some sort. Like, he seems like a f nice fella, I guess, you know, but it's like, are you like, that's your, that's this, this generation's like, I don't know. That's their Harrison Ford. That's their, I, I don't know. He's, I, <laughs> that's, he, he should be a background player. You know what I mean? Like, that's to me. I know. John Ham, oh, I put John Ham in the goddamn Mandalorian suit. That would have been fucking. Oh crazy. my god, that would like you would actually want him to take his mask off, right? I had him. Nina had the best reaction. She said, "When he took his mask off, it looked like a wet chicken." <laughs> <laughs> no, he is a. Uh, there's nothing about him that's like attractive. the The closest that he came was when uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. And that was because it's like swagger. Like, his swagger character. Yes. Yes. It was one of those rare instances where personality makes him more attractive. Also being over like six foot and having like a full head of hair helps. But um, you know. Is he is he that tall? I think he's six feet. Let me see. Let's get on that. I'm looking at this picture of Timothy Dalton on my screen right now, and I'm thinking him and I have had very oh. different, <laughs> very different lives. Yeah, it says he's six foot exactly. Oh, he's a six footer. Okay. Yeah. I think that Timothy Dalton would not even understand my problems. I don't think Timothy Dalton and you even have, like, you would never have the same problem. It's like when I started laughing about Richard Gere, which I watched that Jack show stream back, and I'm just like, <laughs> I think I actually died from that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we're, we're, we're like, related, because we're both men the same way a wolf is related to Tulip. <laughs> Oh, I know. Two of so much cuter. Look at her. She got a little, oh, she's licking her little paw. Look at her little face. She's, cute. she's the cutest little doggy in the whole world. Uh, da -da -da. Garviel Loken says, Brian Denny, he was a real looker. Well, he drew first blood, so fuck him. H and thank you, by the way. H is for heretic says Zarkov's assistance was porking in Star Wars. Yes, thank you. I couldn't fucking figure out who that was. Remember, I said he had the goofy lab assistant that was like, he's like, get in the. In hey, the do you have StreamYard verified? Not on? She's not listening. No, uh, I got a message. Our guests are trying to come on, but you have StreamYard something. They said, can you tell Cecil to turn his StreamYard verified off? I don't know what that is. What is that? I never said anything. I've never heard that. of it either. Does anybody in the chat know what StreamYard Verified is? Anna, sir, I'm sorry. We have guests that are trying to come on the show, but oh, you have to have a YouTube account? I've had other people on here. No, we've had like 
didn't we have biggins on here and people who we don't have, have no it's like i i don't come on with my youtube channel i come on with my gmail account <sighs> yeah i don't I, does he have gmail um i don't know oh shit does any something in your account uh russell must have been verified i know i don't think it's that um i don't i shit Now, Sam Jones looks like a leading man. I don't think Sam and I have had the same problems either. I'll talk to him about that. <laughs> uh, settings general. I don't know how to guests. Uh, Okay, hold on. Guests must authenticate. I just took off. Oh, no. So Nina said she sent it through. I'm going to try do, sending it again. I already sent it to them. I don't know why it's doing this. Try it again, because I, I had a thing on there that said guests must authenticate, and now I took it off. Okay. But that was like a, that's like a, 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 a default setting. So I took that off to see if that works. Hello, John Malin. Hi. John. You guys are gatekeeping uh, Flash Gordon? Yeah. You are. John, your like, gain is really high. Well, it's the same as it always is. Hmm. Yeah, and, and uh, the last time you were on something, people were yelling that it was really high, but no one was paying attention. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you're on, when you're on uh, Kings. Maybe it's the StreamYard settings? I don't know. That's where it is. I always have it at this... Uh, Turn it nine, on your on your nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. That's where oh, I have now it. Now it's better. Did you do yeah, anything? Turn it down a little. I I turned it down and I moved it away. It's better. Hmm. Yeah. Yesterday when I was uh, people were in the works. chat. You said perfect. Oh, okay. All right, great. I'm perfect. Okay. So <laughs> uh, are they coming in? I guess so. All right. So Zarkov's assistant was Porkins in Star Wars. Remember the guy who was trying to get to go in? He was like pulled the gun on him before that plane crashed. Yes. Oh my gosh. Really? Like H for Heretic just said Zarkov's assistant was. Thank you for five dollars. Oh was God, Porkins? I was staring at him trying to fucking figure out because he looks kind of like Ned Beatty, and I'm like, who is this? It's not Ned Beatty, but yeah, it's Porkins. Mm. Yeah. Eckhart in Batman nine eighty nine. Oh fuck that. I didn't realize that was Porkins either. Wow, Porkins has like this whole other other life that we're unaware of. Okay, let me see. Oh my god, it is. And the top men guy in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Follow me for more useless info. Wow, he's the guy. <laughs> top men or wow. All right. Mm. Very cool. I was uh surprised to see that the dude um the dude from Raiders of the Lost Ark, the big, the the big bald Nazi that was got hit with the propeller, is is the big Indian guy in Temple of Doom. Same actor. Oh, you know what's funny? So that guy, uh, the the one that gets get by the helicopter, he kind of reminds me of Graham Nolan because he's jacked and bald. Well, mm. I, I don't know. Like even like I don't know. The aura around him—it just reminds me of Graham. Why are you Graham saying is Graham, Graham is a, are you saying Nazi aura? Graham is no, a Nazi. No, no, no. What the fuck, Anna? <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I mean. It is what you like, meant. When he shows it's up, just... it's like, oh shit! Like if you have to fight this guy, like you know when you're playing mm. a video, oh, you guys are old, you don't play video games. But like when you're like right. a boss is showing up, it's like oh shit! Like this isn't going to be an easy like fight. Because mm -hmm. when you meet Graham in real life, he's jacked in real life too. So it's yeah. like. You know, guys get that same impression when they actually fight in real life, Anna. You, know, you don't have to play video games to experience that <laughs> sense of this guy might just destroy me. You know? <laughs> Anna can only relate to things through fucking It's like, you games. know when you're fighting somebody bigger than you in a video game? I'm like, I know what it's like to fight somebody bigger than me in real life like a right. thousand times. Okay, but yeah. like everyone that I fight in real life is always bigger than me. So it's like I already know I'm getting my ass kicked. But yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I'm not a big guy, and I played hockey, and I used to have to fight bigger guys every fucking game, and it's like it's not mm-hmm. the greatest feeling, but it is when you fucking put one on their ass, though. You actually well, that's because you were fat. All you have to do is like knock them over. It's like bumper cars. I you was fucking in- carved from wood when I played fucking hockey. I was shredded. Ugh. You can't. You sweat so much playing hockey. You're you're you, you. There's no there's no such thing as a fat hockey player. Hmm. But I mean, you played it, so obviously you were fat. No, I got fat afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, are we all gonna go to Alex Stein's uh, fight in Tennessee? I'm going. You leave your house. I saw the tweet. I read it out that you, uh, you know, you're you're gonna leave your house. When was that happening? You tweeted about it. I want to see Eric Me? July and Dick Four Masterson fight in one of these Keemstar. Can we hit up Keemstar and make them do, have that happen? I can. I'll message Keemstar. Hit him up because this is like I. They just got to fight. Would like kill Dick. Are you kidding me? This guy was relentlessly fucking harassing fucking Eric day and night. Like, I stopped because he, he he's a troll. Like, he wants the attention. I get it. Like, people are like, oh, don't you get what he's doing? I'm like, yeah, I get what he's doing, but it's also actually fucking with him. Like, even if it's a joke, it's like if someone's poking you in the eye and going, I'm, you know, I'm just joking. And it's like, but you're still poking me in the fucking eye. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. you're still doing it. Like, it's like, yeah, I get he's joking and it's fucking it's his thing, but it's like, he's still fucking poking Eric day and night. Somebody and say day. Dick Master is kind of cool. I have met both of them in real life. Dick does not look formidable. Eric I've met in real life and he looks like. He well, fucking, Dick is tall. That don't mean shit. I know, but he's like, he's not a scrawny guy. Hmm. You know, neither is Eric. But. This is the guy that you have in your intro. That yeah. Star Wars girl, that Star Wars girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was after I met him. So I was, you know, I'm collecting all of these uh, people shout outs like Pokemon cards. Mm. I need, I need to get the one with. Oh no, I think it is in there now. But I need to find the just the individual clip of uh, what's his face, Kevin Smith, where he's like, some chick named that Star Wars girl was yelling at me on Twitter. <laughs> That's the one I want. I just you can find, you you can find like a uh, a recent serial killer and get him to give you a shout out. Like yeah. and then say the say you did it because of that Star Wars girl. I yeah, I definitely want to get on a serial killer's radar. Mm-hmm. And that's what everyone said when I no, invited no. OJ on. When they're the arrested. Deck, yeah, when they're arrested, you know. OJ's like, not a serial before killer. They, before okay, they're yeah, gone for good. Innocent. Yeah. No, he's not a serial killer. Like I went Anna to buy. got a little crazy one night. Let's put it that way. <laughs> hmm. Guy was a fantastic running back. You have to understand. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's so he, good. You only could have made it to the border, right? Um, and he was amazing. He like what he did at Buffalo was fucking amazing. Uh, Cars in Depth says, I write about cars and flirted with Heidi Klum at a big auto show media preview, not knowing who she was. And I actually got a warm reaction. She is pretty. Yeah, she's a fucking Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> How shocking. John, did you see the poll that Cecil put in the chat? Um, no, what was it? It's who's oh. hotter, Princess Leia, yeah, yeah. Princess Aura, me, or Cecil? And uh, Cecil Princess is winning. <laughs> Well, you know Cecil is going to win because it, you know people aren't going to vote how they really feel. They're going to vote for the troll. So, but the yeah. correct answer is Princess Aura. In terms of hotter, like just that's a hot, hot chick. Even the character that's what is I a voted hot, for. It's a hot slut of a character. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we were we were looking at her like outside of Princess Aura pictures just before you came on. Mm-hmm. And she has power too, so that's attractive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Would she be a simp like Timothy Dalton was? I mean, she's well, she she's like yeah, she's like a female Timothy Dalton, basically, like that level of like yeah. retard. She's hot. I mean, that is ridiculous. I would I would totally do her. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. So yeah. She makes she makes my cut on planet Earth would. She she makes my cut. I hope she's I hope she's swooning somewhere. Spike and Madness said, How dare you, John? My vote for Cecil was sincere. I don't think it was. Spike and Madness. Are you kidding me? It's such like sour grapes. It's like I know they're joking. Yeah. 
Yeah, I wasn't on that list. Have you seen this, John? Yeah. So you got to learn to get your arms into frame. You know what I mean? Like you always like higher, higher. Go out like this, you know, but raise them up good. There. There you go. There you go. He always does that. Like, look at me flex. And it's like, no one can see your arms, dude. They see like one half of your arm. That's because he's retarded. You need to let him continue to be stupid. Yeah. Just think about framing. You know, you're on TV. How about this? That good, John? No, it's not. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's perfect. Keep doing that. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. The Village Idiot for 20 bucks. Thank you, sir. I read that Ornella Moody, or Mutti, I would say Moody, Princess Aura, is considered so beautiful by Italian society that she was the only living person at the time to ever have the image printed on an Italian lira bill. Is that true? Well, mm. I mean, look at. I mean, she is unreal. Like, what's I, a, I do, what's in a lira bill? Is that just the name? That's their dollar. Cash? Okay, that's their that's their cash. It's not like a twenty or a fifty or a hundred. Um, there are different liras. It's like okay, there's a twenty dollar, right. five dollar. It is the same lira. Is just yeah, ten lira, twenty lira. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lance for five dollars is enjoying my flask and finally received the gorgeous centerfolds and the centerfold protection package. It seems nice, also. Well, thank you. Hmm. I'm glad people are getting it. I've had no complaints. Wait, is, is that the Anna? Pull out, uh, and the the protective package is the comic. Well, I I I, I hope that the people will laminate the poster before they. Yeah, um, I, I can't find this photo of her. Then they could use it as like a target. Yeah, but uh, if, your com if your comic is just the padding, then it's like thanks to the poster. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw oh, that. I have. They sent the posters and they sent like a zillion. I have a, a lot of posters. So pre Euro, mm -hmm. why is Anna here? Why am I not? Like Anna put to to be honest, Anna put this together with uh Sam Jones. So and plus You're Anna's welcome. always welcome here. <laughs> it's I'm, awesome. not, I'm exiled. I'm not allowed anywhere. How dare I? I'm sorry. I could leave. Mm -hmm. Also, guys, Wait, there's a why you want some please smash the like button. You're like Doug Tenapel in exile. Yeah, who exiled you? Where, where you've been exiled? I'm not in exile. I can go get uh, some more painting done. I'm on a roll mm. today. Mm. I did an eye painting before this stream, and I think that's the fastest I've ever done one because I'm like, I got to get this done. And I was like, see, so I'm retarded. What time does your stream start in my time? And he's like, 6 30. I was like, fuck, got to paint. Uh, are these guys coming on? Yes, they were supposed to come on at 7 30. So give them, they have nine minutes. Oh, oh they, okay. Jeez, right, I thought fine, I thought yeah. there was a technical snafu. Okay, there was, some... and they were trying to get that fixed before they came on. Oh, that's smart. Imagine if more people thought like that. That's incredible. I know, I know. It's almost like they're like professional, right? Mm -hmm. We're we're the yeah. uh, misfits in the bunch. Yeah. Watch smug. All right, watch smugless on the. No, it's not a boycott. He's just saying he. Listen, I kind of agree with Doug. Like, I don't. I don't think Doug's been treated like I. I listen. I don't I don't have any hatred towards Doug, by the way. I just, you know, I like goofing on him because he's so like pretentious and fucking obnoxious and whatever, but I don't really hate Doug. Do you hate J Doug, John? Like Ah, uh, God, I'd have to go back to the memory files of all the reasons. It's like he was that, he's that been that a I he, did hate Doug. Um he's been a dick. He, he's, he's a prick. A he's he's a legit prick. Um, but I mean he's a legit prick that I mean, just like Smiller. I mean, I, you know, I, I probably hate Smiller more on a personal level, but I, I still think I can meet up with him at a at a show or something. And yeah, like, maybe I don't have maybe to. have a drink with him. Maybe you know I don't know. I, I think I think both of those guys. Like I, I mean I, I I could definitely. I don't know if D Doug might be pissed at me. I did do a comic, but even the comic, it's not that it's not that brutal. It's like yeah, it's light -hearted. comedy. It's comedy. It's not fucking. But uh, but yeah, he's just so smug and pretentious yeah. and fucking like. They le legitimately did try to, in my opinion, <laughs> destroy our businesses, though. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of shit back there. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know. If that's true, I know that uh, I know that Preston did. I don't know if that Doug did. 
I don't know. Uh, I think Doug uh, got, I don't know. I'll ha- I have to go back through, watch the. Maybe the, I'm, I'm a forgiving still. I, like, I, I don't like to carry around. I don't like to be mad at people for extended times. Yeah. I'm trying. I used to do that for half my life and have grudges with yeah. people. And then I'd see them years later and they'd be like, I hate that motherfucker. And they'd be like, why? And I'm like, don't know. Yeah. Forgot. That, uh, yeah. I my memory. Why. <laughs> I my forgot. Memory, why. My memory allows me to forgive people a lot easier, but you know, Smiller, he pops up every three months and reminds me, oh, yeah, I hate that guy. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. Neither of them ever did anything to me, but, like, watching them do shit to my friends, I'm like, I don't want to give them the opportunity to do anything to me. Mm-hmm. No, I wouldn't put him in a position where he could fuck me over because he might, you know, he's done it before. So I was like, that's it. That's one one and done. Yeah. It's like, you know, but, but like, I don't want him to, like, like, he lost his he, he lost his channel on YouTube and shit like that. Like, that's bullshit. Like, even if I don't like somebody, I know that that's bullshit. Yeah. Like, I'm against that. I don't, I don't even, I, you know, I, I, I think that's, you know, horseshit. Yeah, I'd have to think hard about somebody that I couldn't meet. You know what I mean? Like, I, I could meet Doug. I, you know, I could fist bump him. I wouldn't shake his hand because he doesn't wash it. Yeah, that is weird. Look at his nasty. God, he's starting to turn into like a fucking hermit or something he's turning into alan moore is what he's doing oh uh, my god and, uh, he, and, he, and you know when you have a beard you're always like this or at least i am and i, I imagine he's got uh, shit feet piss all up in I that beard think of that, John. i didn't even think yeah. of that so a guy who says i never wash my hands has a long beard so you know he's always yeah touching he's it. unclean uh, he's he's turning into howard hughes without the genius that um, beard is like a fucking public toilet seat, basically. Yep. All right. Imagine smelling it if you're his wife get, going in for a little kiss. Uh, I don't want to talk. This is gross. I'm going to puke. Yeah. Go go in the uh, go in our chat to get a palate cleanser. Look at one of the choke outs. Oh, God. I'm Doug in exile. You know, I'm really I'm Anna in exile. happy that Elon Musk allowed daily wires movie to finally be shown on twitter but it kind of sucks for the rest of us because your default settings are to crush that kind of material including my own feed and i don't have the size or strength of daily wire and babylon b to get to interview elon musk so the rest of us just by default get crushed by your business which is, uh, it is woke and insane. But what's even worse is that I pay you eight bucks a month or 10 bucks a month to do it. That makes me feel like an incredibly stupid sucker. Fix your algorithm. Fix it. Tired Imagine of this. Taking like, people are tired advice. of this. Mm. And giving Elon Musk business advice. Well, yeah. I, I'm, I, I, there, there's something to it. Like, I'm, he's not wrong. Like, they still are doing shit. Like, and and if you know, because Daily Wire was big enough that Elon Musk was told about it, he was like, "Oh fuck, they really are." And the woman actually quit. Yeah. So it is still happening. And for a guy who's you know smaller, it sucks. Like, so I, I do sympathize with him. I, I think he's even when he's right, he still comes off like a pretentious asshole. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like like barking orders at Elon Musk. Well, like, first of all, you don't have to fucking pay. And second of all, like you're getting a free service. If you want to fucking promote your products, promote your ideas, like, you know, you're going to have to work around it. It's the best of, of all the bunch. It's better than YouTube. It's better than Facebook. It's better. It's like, at least the guy's starting to try to fucking, you know, rectify the situation. But yeah, yeah but, uh, but that's the whole thing. You, he just spent, I don't know how I don't remember what it was for 40 billion dollars for this company. If you're just going to keep the policies kind of how they were, why why did you spend that money? You know, I just think- open open the fucking floodgates because you know he wants to become a YouTube uh, competitor. He wants people to come over here. Hey, free speech over here. And it's like if if that's happening to Doug, I I don't know because I, I haven't tried to really get anything crazy over on Twitter, especially on like video or any of that stuff yet. But if that's happening, yeah. Open the fucking floodgates, man. Let let the cream rise to the top. Let it happen. I, I like I said, I, I do agree. Though, is what? that 
he hasn't fixed all of these problems. So I'm like, what the fuck has he been doing? Like, what was a bigger problem than like this type of censorship? Because I remember when he was first there and he's like taking pictures of all like the woke shit that's in the closets and then like firing all of these people. And it's like, so if he's still like cleaning house and get ready, getting rid of all these other things, I'm like, how bad was it really? And like doing all it the was awful. Like it I was awful. Like I know we all had a speaking code. It was like a completely fucking one side could speak openly and and not even openly. They could be like threatening and fucking violent. And the other side has to like speak in complete like fucking code and never ever even imply being angry. Otherwise, they're banned. And it's like. So it did. It has gotten markedly better. Like I feel like when I go on Twitter, I, I don't even worry about what I'm going to say. Like that is new. That is something that only mm. over. So it has gotten better. But I do understand, like what Doug is saying, even though he's being douchey about it as per usual. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it, it's yeah, it, it, it's getting better. So. Hopefully, he fucking completely fixes it. He's a little peak boomer. What the fuck does that mean? I think that was in reference to uh not being able to get the the guys in here. Yeah. I didn't do anything, which is what I usually do. They're supposed to be here at 7 30 my time. So oh, that's I, time, I, every minute starting right now, they'll late. Uh, technically they'll uh, start. Well, also we have to remember we're relying on Cecil to keep track of the back room. I'm hmm. looking. You yeah, are you let me you let me in. How long did you wait, John? Not long. I was back there 30 seconds, I think, maybe. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're actually paying attention. That's new for you. Yeah, I, I didn't even have to go in the private chat and say it's been 69 years. Like, I didn't get a chance to do that. So, you 84 know, right? years. Mm -hmm. Oh, 84 years? Yeah. That's yeah. usually your go-to number. Ethan, mm -hmm. Ethan, you have the link if you want to hop in. Do you have anything to say to Flash Gordon? Now, John, have you ever seen the movie Flash Gordon? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> that, yeah, that, that always came off a little bit more like Nightman. Ah! <laughs> you do a good, yeah. uh, you do a Freddie Mercury. Uh, you should be their uh, replacement singer. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll get on that. Wait, I saw Ethan in the chat. Mm. He says, he says, Perch is going to beat me up. What is he talking about? Oh, are we talking about the, the YouTube battles? Uh, who would Ethan fight? I would like to see mm -hmm. e Ethan box Scott Kurtz. <laughs> no, who's that oh, one guy what? that cries? Um, the guy that traces. Oh, 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 Mark what's Brooks? his name? Mark Brooks. Mark Brooks. Ethan fighting Mark Brooks would be so funny because Mark Brooks gained like a obscene amount of weight recently. Yeah, him from like before, so now he's in Ethan's weight. I don't know how tall he is, but. He's in, I think they're about mm. the same weight now. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Mr. Biggins is letting us know that Dalton has snaggle teeth. I don't fucking care. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah, so does uh, uh, Bane. What's his name? Uh, oh, it's like Tom a British, Hardy. Because David you know, Bowie he's... had it. Henry mm. Cavill has it. Like, There's a reason the British ha are known for this shit. It's not fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they made that shit up. It's fucking that's a a real thing. I don't know why. Ethan said he'll fight all these pussies at once. Wow, incredible. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Ethan. That's, Ethan I is an asthmatic. Is. He's he's not gonna last. Oh, oh uh, more, than, more than like a couple of minutes. The link yeah. is in the oh oh. Anna, did you put link in Jack or did you send John it in? No, I just sent it to John. Uh, but can you stick it in Jack for for me, please? I'm gonna let. Oh, stick Joe was just here and left. Ah, uh, he just. I just saw Joe yeah. pop up. I I'm talking about three seconds. It's okay. He well, he's probably just making sure it works. Now he's probably yeah. go, going to get the guys. That was like a probe. Joe, stuff if you're in watching, just a second. I right, send uh send Ethan the link. Send the okay. I sent it. It's in the section. But yeah, and but also, I mean, Ethan fighting multiple dudes. I mean, like it's like that's what I'm saying. Like it's a lot about cardio. You're gonna have to stay in this thing. You gotta you gotta have gas in the tank. And uh, you know, I don't know if Ethan is more active than me at this point, but I would have a hard time. 
I would have a hard time in the fight right now. Dude, fights. Would you three fight minutes, three minutes of fight. There's a reason fights last under a minute. Three yeah. minutes of fighting and you are gone. Like, yeah. Wait, you're okay. John, for $10,000, would you punch Cecil in the face? I would, uh, I would wait, insist. Are, are there repercussions to that? Like, I would insist for ten grand. And yeah, as long as I'm not getting, as long as it, it, I'm not getting sued for it, because yeah, then yeah. I, I get ten grand, I'm so sued for fifty. You know? it's not, this is not exactly wrecking a work of art. Go ahead. Okay. Have yeah, can, can I pick in the face? Yeah, I wouldn't want to hit him in the nose or in the mouth. You know, off the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. You you get to yeah, punch. Okay. You have to punch yeah. full force in the face. Ah, yeah. Be all right. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Be all right. These weak arms, I got. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I've been drawing for six years now, guys. The, the I'm, truth I'm, is, I'm not, I'm not the specimen I used to be. The, what if we crowdfunded it? What if we said if we get to 10k for for the fans fest, John? Can you imagine would, it, even if wait, I did wait, like wait, 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 wait? Why would you think people want me to get punched in the face? <laughs> no, just no, Anna does. Every just single Anna person does. in this chat would yeah. donate. <laughs> To see you get punched in the face by John. Why? Yeah. Why no. people don't? How's your father's? Me? How's your father says slap him out? No, that's the thing. I would I go to think. slap him, and you would I... watch my arm shatter in like three different. Aww. No, like, listen. Like... The truth is, a lot of times when you get into a fight, the person th with who wins loses because you break your fucking hand, which I've done like four or five fucking. Me too, man. Oh, fucking, you, I... you're allowed too. Oh, I'm loud. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll, I'll turn John my game down. Miss you. Yeah, well, we need to hear John uh, louder. John I've never had be... I, I, I've never had my mic this quiet before. I wonder if there's something going on with Streamyard that's like kicking people's mics up. Two hundred watt studio says this is a perfect storm for Sam Jones to come into. I agree. I know we can talk about something classy. <laughs> no, we'll talk about punching people in the face for ten grand. Pretty much, I'm just going to be talking about how hot Princess Aura is. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> What if we get Sam uh, to punch Cecil in the face for ten grand? Sam is a big dude, man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so John wants Cecil to die. Basically, is what I, don't I think. Punch, but no. but he looks like uh, Sal. You flash Gordon punch you in the face. I, for I, $10, I, the $10. guests are showing up. We have. Uh, we have Joe. Hey, how's it going? What's hey, up, Joe? Joe. Cecil, Hello. Yourself. Who are you? Hey, EVS. Hey. Hey, Cecil. Hi, Joe. Joy, hey, Anna. Nice to I'll see you again. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm getting them in here. Here. Sorry about that. It's the technical stuff. It's getting inside. violent in here, Joe. You don't know what you're doing. Ethan, look at <laughs> you. No, I'm sorry. It's Ethan, all my fault. Ethan, lower your shoulders a little bit and get on uh, Flash Gordon's body right now. <laughs> 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 now take a screenshot of oh, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Oh, that's. <laughs> Hold on, I got. I'm gonna screenshot. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me get the chin right. <laughs> the chin is right. Oh, that... <laughs> it's weird where uh, Sam's oh. natural shoulders lie and where your natural shoulders lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, hi Joe. Welcome to the show. Yes, it's good to be hey, here. Hey, wait. Uh, exchange me with Joe real quick. Put me where Joe is. All right, hold on a second. Are you going to try to get on? Oh. How do I do it? I'll, I'll look this way. Okay, hold on. I got to get down. <laughs> this isn't easy. Other way. You got to put Other way. way. There you go. That way. Somebody take a screenshot. Damn it. There you go. Perfect. That's it. You're the guy. It doesn't work. Never mind. Sorry, Joe. Somebody got a screenshot. Looks good. <clears throat> Joe, who are you on the book? I am the colorist and the letter and the campaign runner. So, and yeah, about to good. add, come in is a fella named Rob. Yep. Welcome, the Rob. <laughs> the artist. Nice How's to going, meet Rob? you. Thank you. Good to see you again, Anna. Hi. Nice to see you too. Hi. <laughs> Sam should be coming in now. We got about 1,200 no. people here, so everybody uh, hit the like, like button. Cecil in the face? Oh, no. the, the like button. Now, mm. Anna was saying that people would crowdfund John punching me in the face, which I felt was... 10 grand. But why would why would people want to see me get punched in the face? I, oh, I yeah, think I for know. the lols, Cecil. 
Yeah, to be fair, I wouldn't want to punch Cecil in the face. You guys came into a weird conversation. You'd be doing it so. for charity, John. I mean, you don't. Nobody wants to punch. <laughs> no, but, I'd be doing it for ten grand. <laughs> Like okay. from I, I, used to, I used to box, so if anybody wants to punch in the face, here I am. Okay. I don't want to get punched in the face by a boxer, especially. No, no, no. So here, here's the situation. So, like, John and Cecil are obviously friends. We do a show every week. But I said, John, would you theoretically punch Cecil in the face for ten thousand dollars. Wow. Cecil Cecil oh, insisted yeah. that I, I would insist. This is like I said, this is not exactly a work of art. He could fucking pound for ten <laughs> grand. I, I'm not gonna uh, I'll buy him a drink. I'll buy him a. I'll buy, uh, I'll buy him shots. Like shots all night long. For season. Season. I got punched in the face for nothing. Ten grand for a, <laughs> him making ten grand would be a treat. Hold on. Uh, welcome to the show, hey. Flash Gordon himself, Sam J. Jones. Hey. Hey. Uh, hey. hey. Hi. Well, hey. Thank you welcome. for having us. Who is here? I see a lot of faces. <laughs> Ron. Cecil, <laughs> Anna, say hello, everybody. Hello, John. Uh, I met you over on uh, Billy Tucci's channel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. My name is Ethan. It's nice to meet you, sir. Oh, Ethan, yeah. yeah. Cecil, John, Ethan. Yep, yes. Don't sir. worry about Anna. Usually, She's yeah, just a woman. <laughs> just Thank woman. you, Anna. I'm used Hi. to seeing the name tags at the bottom. Of the, of the uh, I, I think don't... they come up when that super chat goes away, Cecil, but Cecil the, never put super chat. Right, let me let me read this last super chat, not last one, but sci-fi is life said I would rather see Eric fight Bob to be honest. Mm. Okay, take take that off the screen now. I I know. Hold on. I don't know who Eric and Bob are though. I don't know. Go. Eric July. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. There we go. Now you now you don't have to worry. <laughs> so welcome. We're here uh, with uh, Sam. Now I watch. I rewatched Flash Gordon last night. Although I've seen it multiple times, it's one of those movies that. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I, I gotta be honest. I saw it as a little kid, and I hated it. <laughs> mm. I ha as a little kid, I hated it because it was not Star Wars, and mm. it was like it was. It, I felt like it was intro Cecil. <laughs> no, 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 no. But then I watched it as a teenager, and I fucking absolutely loved it. Cool. And, and then I started watching it like I always I watch it every few years. Like it's just maybe you could have just started right there, Cecil. I you know, know, when I was a teenager, I saw Flash Gordon and I loved it. Well, <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, but I the, what I do remember well, very from, so passive aggressive. It's yeah, so I love passive -aggressive. Aggressive. Fucking, I'm just saying what I do remember that I did like from the first viewing was Princess Aura. Even though I was a little kid, I was like, I like girls. She's <laughs> awesome. Princess Aura of for sure, it was a big impact on me. Um, oh, yeah. I liked the fight scene with the spikes. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. that vividly. Like that, mm. that freaked me out a little bit. And the uh, and the 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 uh, the wood the, stump thing with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the beast and the wood. Yes, beast that was the wood beast. I've had grown men your age and older come up to my table at the at the comic con and say. You know, they had this crazy look in their eyes and they said, Sam, you traumatized me my entire life. <laughs> I think I think I was also scared of it a little bit. Like, yeah. I think that was kind of it, too. It was like, yeah, you know, well, yeah, you didn't have a, you didn't have it was all luck. Uh, I had a question about that, though, Sam. Uh, yeah, I actually yeah. wanted to bring up the last time, but it just slipped my mind. But now that we're talking about it, like what was in there? Like when you, when you actually factually stuck your hand in there, like what were you feeling? Was it material wood or did they have little puppets in there? Like what was in there? Uh, they had some homeless guy with a wet, <laughs> greasy hand. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what's crazy about that scene? We were, we were hopping from sound stage to sound stage. And all of a sudden I was told, Hey, we got to go in here and shoot this scene, you know, to, to do the wood beast scene. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So we got there and I looked at all, you know, the, the, the tree trunks, you know, that were, that were cut and had all the holes where you put your hand in. I turned to the prop guy. I said, has anybody shined a flashlight in there to <laughs> detect or to see if there's any creatures in there? And the guy just stared at me for the longest time. He said, no. <laughs> and that's, I think that was the motivation. I think the nice. director told him to do that. And yeah, so that was my motivation. I had no idea what was in there, but it was a wood beast. So what is a wood beast? Um, 
If you remember Peter Duncan, he played the first actor who, you know, he put his hand in there. And of course he got, he he got, got bit. He got stung by the wood. I met him seven years ago, again, after whatever the math is, 38 years later. And um, a fan gave him, a fan bought the actual wood beast as a prop, <laughs> a mixture of a crab, a spider, and a scorpion, and gave that to Peter. And when Peter travels and does his comic book tours, he takes that little wood beast with him. <laughs> <laughs> that that That's scared awesome. me and also what what scared me is also here's what it was like I, I was so little like I didn't understand how Timothy Dalton was still a good guy because one he called the girl a bitch yeah. and I was like he's a bad guy he just called that pretty and but you watch it as an adult and she's a total bitch <laughs> you know, like, when I was a little kid you're like oh no he called a woman a bitch like that's a bad guy and then you're like you know trying to win him over and I'm like but he's a bad guy and then he stabbed the guy but he was mercy killing that guy. Like he wasn't really a bad guy, but it was like, as a little kid, I think I was like, why is, I was Cecil, a lot of the movies you, like Cecil, you understand he became a good guy. Why? Because he humbled himself. He got over himself and he joined a greater cause than himself. So yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's what it took. That's what it takes. That's what, it, that's what it's still taking for me after all these years, you know? Wow. Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely one of those scenes. That was a, one of those scenes that like would traumatize. Like I remember being like fright, like frightened by it. Like uh, when you were sticking your hand in there. Yeah, and uh, that was that was cool. Um, so we were talking about like first of all, we were talking about how like movie stars how how everybody was gorgeous in this movie, like physically gorgeous, <laughs> like um, th the women. You know, not not that the uh, leading men, you and Timothy Dalton, obviously are good looking guys, but the women, every woman in this movie was, I mean, from the background dancers to the people like in the palace, to the slave girls, to the princesses, to Dale, to, you know, everybody was just absolutely drop dead gorgeous. It must have been a fun set to be on as a young guy. And were you married at the time or? Uh... No, I, I had a girlfriend, of course. Uh, and then she was in the States, though. Ornella brought her husband, and then um, Melody brought her boyfriend, her fiance. So yeah, I mean it was uh, yeah everybody was, but also I, I think you know uh, uh, some nice hair, a little makeup, and remember, Dino De Laurentiis hired uh, Dionate. Who's Dionate? He did all the Fellini movies. So uh, Dionate was our production designer. So mm -hmm. it really didn't matter how you looked. When, when hair, makeup, and the production designer mm. got a hold of you, you became some somebody really super enhanced. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like me and Cecil and, and Anna. You know, like we're her production <laughs> designer. You know, we we we've we took this rough thing of clay, we molded her, we shaped her, we got rid of the center part, we made the blonde, the hair blonde. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She tweezes her eyebrows now. Short, she, she shorter like cuts on the shirt here, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah, you guys should have seen me when I first started YouTube. It's mm -hmm. terrible. So, yeah. to talk a little about the party scene in 1980. You're a big star in 1980. You are really? uh, in Flash Gordon, uh, and uh, everybody's watching that movie. You're hanging out with Max von Sydow, who, by the way, a uh, legendary star of The Seventh Seal, Ingmar Bergman. Mm -hmm. uh, first yes. of all, what was he like? What was your relationship he, like? He with was wonderful. Um, he, he was a mentor, you know, he didn't speak much, but when he did, you know, he, he gave me some very good advice. Uh, the first advice he gave me, it, it took, I, I heeded those instructions immediately. And the second bit of advice, it took me about 30 years. <laughs> what was the advice? Well, the first advice, uh, was, uh, you know, it was about, um, it was about off camera. You know, and uh, I thought I was being helpful. He was very professional. He didn't hang out in the hotels after we were working. He went to a chalet, not because he was cool, you know, chalet out in the country, not because he wanted to have a like a small castle or something, because he wanted to get away from the people that would uh, be a nuisance and or a hindrance to him. So he was very committed to his role. So 
the first bit of advice he, I was trying to help him about, it, it, we'd already, we did his close up and now it was time to do my close up. And back then it took hours to change lighting and all that. He came back for my close up. He's off camera. He came back wearing his 60 pound Ming the Merciless costume. I said, Max, you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to wear that. You're off camera. And this was the lesson that every actor needs or in any in industry, uh, when it comes to somebody wanting to enhance or bring the best of you out. He said, Sam, I am wearing this. I am off camera. I am aware of that. Thank you for bringing that up. Mm -hmm. He said, but I will wear and do what I deem necessary to bring the very best of you out. And I thought, wow. oh, my God. And, and what he said was prophetic because what he was really saying on the flip side of that, most stars will not do that. A half a won't even show up for to give you. It's it's my close up. Uh, they won't even show up off camera to feed those off camera lines. So uh, two things. It was prophetic, and he and he was right on. He and that's the objective is to bring the very best of of your film partner. The bring the very best of him or her out. The second bit of advice. We were at the, uh, the commissary, the studio cafeteria, and he, after about. He said, Sam, he said, come here. He said, come here. I said, yes. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> he said, I've been watching you for three weeks. You've been paying for everybody's lunch. You need to stop that. And you need to save your money. Well, again, like I said in the beginning of this uh, little monologue here, that it took me about 30 years to figure that one out. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> nice. uh, do, you, do you still keep in touch with? All right. Well, first of all, I listen, I'm a Hollywood nerd. These guys are not. They're comic book nerds. Yeah, never so seen a movie. What are you talking uh, they, about? They don't John, watch wait, wait, hold on, Ethan. John you sent hush. me. John I, sent me a movie as a gift. The movie he sent was The Virgin Spring, which is Max von Sydow. That's Sadler. a porno movie. What are you talking <laughs> no, about? No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it isn't. Oh. Sam, I'm so sorry, Mr. Oh, Jones. I'm sorry for the movie. Movie. Oh, Max von Sydow. I mean, we're, no, we're, we're very aware of him as an actor. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so your first film. Ten, Bo Derek. Yes. Uh, you got to work with Bo Derek, the incredible Julie Andrews, Mary Poppins. Uh, mm. How did you get that role? How did they find you for uh, for ten? Did you audition? Well, I, I did a I did a game show. You know, they would hire unknown actors. I think it was nineteen seventy seven or yeah, early seventy eight. And the game show was called. The dating game. Do you remember? No, the, you were on the dating the, game. Yeah, but this is the original dating game. Yeah, with, with Chuck Barris. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, CIA I, operative. So I did not win the date, <laughs> but uh, this is how the story goes. Uh, Dino was visiting his mother-in-law one day while he was in the preliminary stages of casting Flash Gordon, and she yelled. She said, "Young man," she said, "Dino, get your butt in here in front of the TV." And she pointed to the TV and the dating game was on my episode. And she said, there's your Flash Gordon right there. So that was one of the starts of it. Mm -hmm. And um, were you in California was, at the time? You were based in, in Los Angeles or LA, were you in New York? Yeah. yeah. In LA? okay. And I, I was on I was in Hawaii shooting my first film, as you said, with Blake Edwards. He found out on the remember I had us even though I was on the movie for a month. I had a very small part. It was Bo Derrick's husband. I think I had one line of dialogue. And I think it was, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to get a, surf, a surfboard. Anyway, um, so he found out that Dino had called me. Yeah, I guess he contacted Blake's office in Hawaii and said, hey, I need to meet with Sam Jones about the role of Flash Gordon. Here's what Blake did. Here's what Blake Edwards did. He hired a private helicopter to fly me to Honolulu Airport to put me on a plane to Los Angeles to make that meeting in time for Dino De Laurentiis. Mm. And so I guess you could say there's two defining factors on what started Flash Gordon for me. It was Dino De Laurentiis' mother-in-law uh, watching the dating game. And it was Blake Edwards facilitating a 
private helicopter to, to send me to uh, L.A. in time to, to meet Dino. That was the start of a nine-month interview audition period. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. What was How Dino did... De Lauren? Oh, sorry, I can't pronounce his Dino name. Delavitis. Okay. What was he like? He, well, you know, being a young man, he was very, um, well, he was a control freak. And I didn't understand that. As I got older, of course, I became one. So I have a very clear understanding of it. You know, my daddy used to say, son, if you can't do the job right, then then don't do it at all. So my my response was, well, dad, I'd rather not do it at all. Okay, but, <laughs> but as we get older, we have to do the job. So, um, yeah, anyway, um, so th th this was the start. It was eight, eight or nine months and... Uh, yeah, it was, it was, they don't do this anymore. If we have an audition now or someone wants to see us on film, look at this little iPhone here, huh? Little mm -hmm. iPhone, send it in. Mm -hmm. This, not only was it eight or nine months of interviews and audition, but he flew me to London for 30 days of screen testing. We did not have video in night oh, on a, on a, on a large, we didn't have it uh, in 1979. So you had, to test somebody on film, what does that mean? It means you need a film crew, hair, makeup, wardrobe department, electricians, camera department, lighting, everything. And so that's why now it's just this little bitty device right here and you get all that done. Mm. That's all right. Sam is here for a reason. We're here to promote. He's got a comic book, Ethan. That's why he has a colorist and an artist with him. <laughs> yeah, that's unbelievable. I know. I, that's so, fantastic. Let's take a look. Uh, tell them, yeah, tell them, so Rob, tell them, Joe. Tell, yeah, well, you know, I, I met Sam a few years ago at a Comic Con, uh, some kind of, but we ended up talking and I had some ideas. And uh, I the, the germ of an idea in my mind about what I wanted to do as far as a comic book goes. And I walked up to Sam's table, it was a Friday, and sometimes Fridays are a little bit uh, slack, and then the line was a little slack, so I walked over. I, simply said he remembered me because he had bought he'd bought some uh, a couple paintings from me uh a couple years prior to that and i said this sam and he remembered me after all a couple years at least and i said sam i got a pitch he goes shoot and uh then i we started bouncing some ideas around about uh not just him playing a character but actually him being the uh the protagonist and actually being the the hero of the, of the story and uh, we went from there, and uh, that's how we kind of got it started. That's it. Sam. Now, the story, uh, from what I can tell, is is it's an alien race that saw Flash Gordon, believes it's a real. Well, uh, he actually, yeah, they, uh, he didn't know. They He came to Earth, and he's looking for this champion. Uh, Sam didn't know, okay, that he would become the, uh, the embodiment of their, uh, uh, of their hope and their resistance against that tyrant. And uh, they, the tyrant is threatening their galaxy as well as our galaxy. So he had came here. And, uh, he actually even uh, even approached the president of the United States to uh, have Sam, you know, go with him. And that was that's the dilemma. And Sam has a lot going on. Of course, he's got uh, he has his business. He's a personal security operator. He's got uh, movies he's doing. He has all kinds of fans he sees. Plus, he's got his own family. And that was the question. Is he willing to give that up in order to help someone else or is he going to stay home? So that's the question. And that what I always end with is I, I say, listen, you know, will he answer the call? Will Sam save every one of us? You read that book and you're going to find out. Sam J. Jones saves the galaxy. Come on now. Yeah. So that's, a of, yeah. That's, a fun, that's a fun trope. It's been done like a, a, this. It fits perfectly. <laughs> it fits perfectly it's galaxy quest like the three amigos even did it where they thought they yeah. were real you know they saw a movie they thought they were real come and help us type of thing it's it's been well, done thought it was the movie the the difference is with this one i like uh sam actually makes the choice i mean right. the president flies him in okay and he ha he actually has a choice you're gonna see in the book as to whether to do it or not and uh of course, Sam has been a—he's been a military person. He's a United States Marine, and uh, they kind of kind of played on that a little bit. And he—he he wants to serve his country, so 
in his world. So that's that he actually accepts the uh, mission. Yeah, I, I love this type of story. It it it, 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 it it's fun if it's done right, and uh, it, it it sounds like. And you guys add a little twist to it where he gets to accept rather that he's kind of like looped into it. Right. Uh, well, yeah, I think one. He, some, he wasn't kidnapped. He was. He didn't. Right. He wasn't there with false promises. They he, he put it right in front of him. He said, "Will will you do this? Will you do this? You served your country before, young man. Are you going to do it?" And he does it. So, cool. Can we do a refresh and see if we got any. We got to we got to check in uh, and uh, sure. So right ten thousand. Let's get. We got to get them over ten thousand tonight, everybody. All oh, right. Yes. So right now we're at nine thousand eight hundred and seventy-five with ninety-eight backers. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. All Completely right. Funded. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, let's keep it going. One hundred and eighty-five with hundred and five backers. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, guys, yeah. Get in there. Great, yeah. great. great job, cool. Joe. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank good you. job, Thank fellas. You. Good job, Rob. Yeah, so Joe did a really good job with the promoting and everything and getting the shows, and we really appreciate that. That's for sure. He's also doing the coloring and the uh, uh, the lettering. So, <laughs> Whatever I heard about, I mean, whenever Dad told me he was doing a book with Sam, I was like, we, we have to crowdfund <laughs> because – it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun and yeah, it, it's, it's coming along really well. I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes from here. You know, what kind of uh, stretch goals do you guys have from this point on now that, now that you've reached your funding? That's a no, great okay. question. John, yeah, that's, that's a great question. And um, that's going to be announced um, as soon as we extend tomorrow. We're going to oh. put that out. Yeah, it's okay. Wait, you're going to extend it tomorrow. What, what kind of stretch goals do you think? Do you, uh, would trading you say cards, you something like that. Yeah, 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 more, yeah things that aren't a lot very more art on the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot more art on the way and great stuff, and yeah. um, we have a lot of ideas as well. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah, and I, I want to do that a tier number six. Um, oh. If you guys saw the Nicolas Cage movie. I forget the title, but paraphrased is it's tough being Nicolas Cage all the yeah. uh, what, what, what was it called? The unbearable uh, the un uh, yeah, the unbearable weight of being yeah. Nicolas Cage, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. this is not unbearable for me. It's actually bearable. It's a lot of fun, but I'm 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 really kind of looking at one of those crazy tears, you know, like like Joe and Rob said, I'm a I've been a Marine longer than I've been an actor. Remember, I've been an actor. 45 years. I've been a Marine still in my mind, 51 years. So I like adventure. I like challenges. So we have one, our, our biggest tier right now is, I think it's at 1200 where you get everything before that's presented. And then you get to have a one-on-one -on -one meal with Sam J. Jones, right? Uh, right? Obviously at a restaurant, at a public restaurant. But I want to take that to that sort of Nicholas Cage tier where where maybe it's a maybe it's a, out on a big old western dude ranch or something, mm. and we're on a cattle drive, right? Wow. We're on a cattle drive with Sam J. Jones, right? <laughs> or we're doing some crap. elaborate, let's party like the '80s, you know, in a big <laughs> castle somewhere. So yeah, I'm, I'd, I'm, I'd like to do a party here. like the '80s. Too. Anna, are you here or did you disappear? For I a just second? I just got back. Sorry. Can you scroll down and show this tier? Which one? Uh, oh yeah, the, the twelve. The bottom one. Oh, the bottom one. This one. There you go. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Ranger Commander. Incredible. You, you got to show the perks. But yeah, I'd like to do, I, I'd like to up this one with the tier number six. And like I said, just make it something just, just yeah, crazy, wild, unforgettable. I mean, the, 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 I think this is pretty cool. You get, get the, and I, I'm talking about a one on one meal. I'm not talking about, mm -hmm. hey, Sam, thanks for the, Five minute beer that was very lovely. Mm. Now I'm talking about a two hour sit down. It's your opportunity to tell me your story. Uh, it you know becomes more than just a, a meet and a greet. And uh, yeah, we, we, we could uh, we could have a toast, have a, have a cool dinner, and share some stories. But I want to take it to a whole nother level. Like I said, some big old 80s party at a castle somewhere, or maybe on a cat, <laughs> uh, maybe on a cattle drive or something like that. You know, so th All this right. is the $1,200 tier you could hang out with you, basically. Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and, and you get everything in the campaign. 
Yeah, everything. Yeah, and what's cool and what's cool about this it, it, it now uh, Joe has posted my my comic book tour schedule. That's that's there as well. So uh, where you see where I'm I'm going to be. So if you end up coming to one of these events, well, not only will I be there, let's you, there'll be lots of other celebrities. Some are some are acquaintances, some I just know, and some are my friends. So here's what I'm going to do. Not only am I going to be there for that dinner, I'm going to bring one of my buddies with me as well. One of my celebrity buddies. Wow. <laughs> That's very right. cool. He's going to be at all these all these places here and, and what we're adding more every day. Also, if you go up to his table and back at his table or show him your backer number, you'll get, if you scroll up there and you'll get a, um, it's a, it's, it's going to be a very rare signed, uh, line, line art print, uh, yeah. Convention right, special, right yeah. above the schedule there. So yeah, yeah. he'll get, give you that for It'll free. That and, black, uh, white one, right. There, that line art right yeah, there. Yeah, it's going to be very, I love very that. rare. So, it, it I, I wonder cool if you idea. guys might might think about this. Like, um, you know, when it comes to stretch goals, uh, there's a lot of vintage Flash Gordon merchandise that that goes all the way back to the 1950s yes. and before, probably. I I, mm -hmm. I wonder if you guys wanted to think about. Because, uh, you know, stretch goals should be inexpensive. You don't want to spend too much on them. I'd love to make a ray gun, but, you know, that's I was not, <laughs> not in our price range. But, like, what if you did uh, – what if you looked and, and, and you saw – I'm looking right now at this beautiful, like, Flash Gordon greeting card. Uh, and uh, it's from 1951. I'm looking at eBay right now. Uh, duplicating it, but just making it Sam Jones instead of Flash Gordon. But well, just doing it, a tribute version of awesome. yeah. well, if you look, look at the look at the the membership card. Can you get the membership card? See, that's what that, gave me the idea. You know, yeah. it, it looks like a radio. That was actually well, I took that from actually a 1930s uh, uh, Flash Gordon or not uh, not Flash Gordon was the other one, uh, Buck Rogers. Kind of modeled it after that. That was kind of what you know, Buster Crab played the part and such. So this is actually kind of modeled after a 1930s kind of little campaign. Just some, just something cool. And I kind of wanted to look everything look a little Art Deco, uh, retro but modern. You know the story. I even used the, the terms you know ray guns and you know on all like that. So it, it says I, I'm I'm hoping that it has that feel to it. Yeah, well, yeah, I think what Ethan was recommending. So when you do crowdfunding, uh, once you hit your goal, there's these things called stretch goals that incentivize people to continue to back. And yeah. it's something usually that's anyone that backed the campaign gets. So I did posters. Uh, I've done stickers. Ethan and Cecil and John have all done stuff like that. It's just like a little something extra. Oh. And so you set it. So like, let's say right now you guys are at 10,000. Uh, I already know let's if I refresh. Ready. It's going to go up. So right now you 11, guys are go. at 11,000. Oh, oh, yes, let's go. All right. Oh, man, yeah. So, so really let's cool. say your, your, stretch, your first stretch goal would be like 15,000, right? So if you get to 15,000, everyone gets like a little postcard of, uh, you know, you or like of the of the cover or like a new drawing or something like that, like that. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's great. We're, we're, we're definitely going to do that. We're, we're going to do the vintage. Yeah, flash order cool. greeting yeah. card. See, this is, this is what I'm looking at. I mean, I would, I would take something like this, Joe, mm -hmm. and I can help you with this if you want. I'm something yeah. of an artist myself, Mr. Jones. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I could, uh, I could take something like this <laughs> and replace everything in here so that it has nothing to, it's it it looks obviously it's flash gordon but this would say sam jones instead of flash gordon mm. and then we would just put in whatever other names but we would do basically a, a parody or a satire or whatever of this piece of work mm. but i mean these are just ideas for like trading cards they'd be inexpensive to make but they'd be based on vintage flash gordon stuff which i think like fans of the uh, uh of the franchise would be really really happy with yeah. uh the other thing that you could do, and I was looking at this as well, because I was like, boy, I'd love to make action figures. But again, that's very pricey. If you took like a vintage, this isn't the one, but something something like this right here uh, and made a trading card that was that looked like this, except this was it's you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was just oh, it, yeah. it, it was made to look like an action figure, but it's just a flat trading card. Uh, yeah. And, oh, uh, you know, it would be you. 
So, sure. I mean, stuff like that might be like easy to make, inexpensive, highly collectible, and fun for people. Uh, so fun for people to encourage people to back this campaign a lot more than they uh, than they are now. Um, well, also, it's because it's something that they can't buy. You have to be a backer yes. of the campaign. So there's Correct. no like, you know, you just you have to back the campaign to get it. And so that also incentivizes people and gets people excited because it's like the exclusiveness of it. But mm -hmm. I would recommend doing that. And, you know, Ethan, John, Cecil, they've all done it. And, you know, people You've seem done to it like too. it. I have done, uh, but I've been trading. Can we watch, John is something can we watch this trailer? Yeah. Can we watch oh, the trailer here? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm not sharing audio. Give me a second. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know you were going to watch we, it. We, we, give, we give her one job. Actually, I just kind of took the job, but mm. whatever. <laughs> okay. You can share my screen now. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's doing is, that thing. That's a great it's not I can do it. You want me to do it? I have no, it. No, I got it. I got it. It's just doing that thing where when it opens on a different, I just share my entire screen. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay. Can I add this? Does yeah, it's just Yeah. Cool graphic novel coming out. What's a graphic <laughs> novel? It's just a fancy name for a 54 page comic book. I want you to go to, go to Indiegogo. Sam J. Jones saves the galaxy. That's right. Yeah, I, I have uh, collaborated with uh, Rob Archie and Joe Archie, and this is, I'm excited about this. It's my very first. 54 page graphic novel comic book we're looking for some warriors some star troopers that's right we give you all the info there i think when you go on you sign in as a backer you're going to get a really cool trading card and you'll be up to date on everything indy go go sam j jones saves the galaxy yeah yeah. All right. Now I'm looking Beautiful. in the chat. I'm looking in the chat and this stuck out to me. Someone just wrote Someone just wrote good looking man. What now tell us about that? What is it like, you know, especially for the guys here right now? Well, let me see. These other two are right. But for yeah. me and me, John and Ethan, what is that like to be, <laughs> to be a good looking man? Like I said, they, everybody in that movie was gorgeous. So, you know, you yeah. we, before you came on, we were talking about how like leading men looked like leading men. You're one of those guys. You're can we focus big... on Melody Anderson though? And her, <laughs> mm. Must we talk about good looking men? I okay, wanna, yeah. I wanna, All right. I leave vicariously through through Sam in the eighties and what, what what it was like. I, I wanted to ask him about like the disco scene in the nineteen eighties. Did you partake in disco? Because you were right there. Your whole movie career <laughs> oh, started. Ethan, Ethan yes. in yes. the seventies before I even got before I even arrived in Hollywood. I had a green leisure suit with green patent leather high heels okay <laughs> and i you couldn't get me off you could a matter of fact i think i held a record at a local disco seven hours seven hours on the floor matter of fact they were bringing me water on the dance floor i never <laughs> left it. that uh, is it, unbelievable question answered can you still disco dance well I, you know i look I, I i can still move now i'm not doing the kicks over over i used to kick mm. over my over the lady's head, you know, I'm, I'm a awesome. martial artist as well, but I'm not doing the high kicks, you know, uh, anymore like that because I, I don't, I don't want to take an ice bath tomorrow. Okay. 
That's amazing. Okay, quite I, I, I never even thought about trying to kick over my wife's head. Maybe I'll try that tonight. I, I, if I started dating a midget, I would do it. Yeah, don't do it, John. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. I, I want to comment about you mentioned guys and looks and all. Let, let me tell you something. It's all about perception. Let me let me just tell you honestly. Remember, I'm a Marine, so I'll give you my word as a man and as a Marine, how I see myself, how I've always seen myself since I left the Marine Corps. Well, since I entered the Marine Corps is 17. I've always I never looked at myself, oh yeah, I'm a I'm a good looking guy. I, I hmm. honestly, you know how I look at myself as a especially now, a rugged, a rugged seasoned man. Who uh, who is teachable? You know, he he still walks in a, a walk in a confidence and a yeah. humility. I want to call it a a, a godly oh, dominion okay. authority, but that would throw a lot of people off. But I, I walk in a, an authority that's seasoned with humility. But as far as the looks and all that stuff, I you know when when I do a movie or something, and they start to put the makeup on me. They start covering up all the suns. I said, stop it. I'm a, I'm a 68 year old man. I want to look like a I want to look like a 68 year old man. Don't don't take the eyebrow. Don't feminize my eyebrows and don't put <laughs> on me like I'm a 25 year old. Anyway, no. that's how I look at myself. Well, listen, Sam. What I'm trying to say is I'm tired of walking in humility. I'm really good at walking in humility. Cecil is awesome. not a godly man at all. Not at all. I've been humiliated my entire life. So let me let me. <laughs> So how did you get into acting? Obviously, as a as a uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, see. So can you bring up Ming the Merciless and chat? Yeah. He, he had something said, important to say about dancing. Uh, also, you yeah. have to like preface this with Cecil used to be really fat, like uh, tipping the boat fat. So, so and, and so now he's kind of gotten into shape, but you know, so <laughs> he's a Cecil, little. Cecil you know. said something about. Used to walk. You asked me how I got in the movie business, yes. and you mentioned about how you used to walk around telling people how how humble you were. Yes. Well, that's how I got in the movie business. I would find guys that would preach and yell how humble they were, and I just pop them right in the mouth. <laughs> oh, hey, how would how do you feel about uh -oh. popping Cecil in the mouth for ten thousand dollars? <laughs> Listen, I said I would get punched by you. This guy's <laughs> fucking built like a brick shit out. So fucking. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'll, hey, I'll pay for that. I, I like that. I idea. will control my punch. I'll control oh, my punch. Look at that. What a guy. Well, pull your punch. Uh, but but yeah. I tell you what we will do, what, what I do at, at the events, I, I love arm wrestling people. And they go, they, they look at me and they go, you're, 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 you're almost 70 years old. Okay. Well, bring it on. Okay. Mm. Bring it on. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you how I usually win. I'm, I mean, I'm in shape uh, for my age, really good shape. But I don't practice arm wrestling all the time. I, I do the Muhammad Ali thing to people. Before they even grab my wrist to start the actual competition, I've already beat them here. It's over. Mm. It's done. It's done. Yeah. So that's how I normally, that's how I normally. So well, yeah. Now everyone cool. knows your secret. Yeah. I'm Ming the merciless. Well, I, I, I tend to uh, turn my hat backwards. It doesn't really help. <laughs> You're yeah, I saw it in a movie that's, once. That's Stallone has to do that. I, know, I saw do, it in a movie we, once. Yeah. We could do that live uh, if you want, uh, Anna. We, we, Anna, we could do that live on your show. We'll have an arm wrestling competition. Mm. I, mean, I will lose. I, I would arm wrestle you, but I my forearm would have anybody. to grow about six inches to reach the fucking pad. If we were holding hands, that'd be. It, it's okay. I'll give you some books, and I'll use my left hand. <laughs> All right, that. All right. Wow. Oh, and we'll still lose. Uh, shut up. Um, Ming, that's all right. There's no shame there. Uh, uh, Ming the Merciless is in the chat. He seems a little bit angry. He says, you never called my daughter back. <laughs> oh, he, he's talking about Princess Aura. Yeah. Oh. Well, well actually, she only, I, she only answers well, telepathy calls anyway. Yeah, so. Well, actually, I did. Here's what I did. Sam J. Jones did. January 2020, I called Ornella Muti, Princess Aura, Melody Anderson, Brian Blessed. I had them all signed and contracted to do our 40th anniversary tour. Do you remember the date? January 2020. Mm. We were booked, signed, sealed, and delivered to travel on the world tour. 
And then what happened wow. in March of 2020? Yeah, COVID, yeah. The mm -hmm. Ch China virus. It came from China. Right. China. 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 We know it was you, China. China. We know what you did, China. Did Just you meet Christopher Reeve? Oh, great story. My Great story. I, I, I'm going to make it quick because a lot of people are here trying to talk. Uh, my first week in London. Um, I haven't started filming yet, but I got a call. Uh, he said, hey, this is Burt Reynolds. I want to invite you uh, and your, you know, whoever you're with to a, a dinner tomorrow night. So I hung up the phone thinking it's a prank. I mean, you got to remember, in 19, you guys are too young, in 1979, Burt Reynolds was a megastar. He was a freaking legend. He was the okay? bandit. He still, yeah. he still is considered a megastar. Yeah. Yeah, and he, Even though he's gone. the phone rings again. He says, hey, Sam, it really is Burt Reynolds. Uh, don't hang up on me. But I want to invite you you to dinner and, and, and your girlfriend. So I went to dinner the following night, and it was he was incredible. And then he said, we hit it off so well. He said, I want to invite you to a screening of the movie I did. And by the way, he was dating Sally Fields at that time. And he said, I'm going to bring mm -hmm. you to a screening, and you're going to meet some other actors. So he does a private screening. I think the movie was called Starting Over. And uh, he made the introduction in the little tiny theater. He said, listen, everybody, I want everybody well behaved tonight because I've got Sam Jones, Flash Gordon, and Chris <laughs> Reeves, Superman here. Wow. And so so that, that's where I met him. That's wow. incredible. And that's by the terrific. Way, next weekend, I'm doing... I'm doing my comic book tour. I'm, I'm doing uh, Superman celebration in Metropolis, Illinois. Mm. That's, that's oh yeah, doing. that's a good show. Yeah, that's a good show. You'll enjoy that. Wow, what a cool thing! So Candace Bergen was at this party. You must have. I, I, you, see, I don't. I'm, I'm telling you, I, you, you've met some uh, real legends. You, you've gotten to work with some incredible people. How come uh, I'm not seeing what you're seeing? I'm not seeing any of that. All I'm seeing is hmm. CNN, Cecil News Network, breaking news. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was uh, John Mellon's leaving the house. Uh, John up there never okay. leaves his house. He, he put yeah. out a tweet today saying mm -hmm. that he was- Next uh, year. Going, okay, so how come, uh, Ethan, how come I'm not reading what you're reading? Uh, oh, I was. I looked up the movie yeah. starting over really quick because I oh, wanted to see oh, who I was in it were... and what it was about. And I could oh, show okay. people the movie poster, but that's not terribly interesting for most people. It's it's more interesting to hear about. So you got to meet Christopher Reeve. Did you guys? You guys should have worked together because you were both are probably around the same age at the time, right? I think. Yeah, but uh, it's crazy how that works. I I'll make him. I, I did a movie, my first movie in seven, my first TV show in seventy seven, movie in, in seventy eight. I still haven't seen or worked with those people since not because it just th that's the way it is that's the way it is mm. in the film industry you know where did, well, now, i mean so you you've made a ton of movies though a lot yeah. of movies yeah. a lot of mysteries a lot of murder mysteries a lot of sci-fi films uh yeah. a lot of procedurals I would think more more independent action uh movies where i was the either the law enforcement uh the soldier the marine and or the the, the villain, the uh, nemesis, which I love playing. You like playing villains better than heroes. Well, yeah, because you, you're sort of limited in your choices as a hero, as a villain. Ooh, you got some freedom, baby. There's yeah. no limitations, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except, I find that to be true, too. Yeah, except you hear the director life. say, if, <laughs> but every now and then you hear, you hear the director say, hey, Sam. Yeah, okay. it's good that you can improvise. That's wonderful. But can we stick to the script now? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sam, what's your favorite, uh, aside from Flash Gordon and aside from the movies that everybody knows? Ten, by the way, Bo launched Bo Derek into the stratosphere. It's interesting. She she worked with uh, Dino uh, De Laurentiis on Orca first. Yes. yes. And then that led to Ten which with you and then that that's interesting the the connection the Hollywood connection that sort of pushed you towards Flash Gordon all yeah. these people seem to know each other what's your favorite movie that we haven't seen that you did that you're the you're the best in especially during the 80s or the the early 90s like well but my favorite project would have been a series I did called called the 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 highwayman why uh we filmed it in 88 why because um I got to dress my costume was almost identical to 
Mad Max Road Warrior. I had a sawed-off shotgun holstered to my leg. I drove an 18-wheeler, uh, all this black leather again. I had a federal badge, uh, badge to basically do what I wanted to do. And we, and you know, when you're making movies and TV, it's kind of a sanitized environment. But for this particular series, we were filming in the great outdoors of uh, of Phoenix, Arizona. You know, so we were. My point is, we were in the elements every day and every night, and just something about being outdoors. I remember we were so cold at night in the superstitious mountains, and and the producers forgot to bring any type of heating system. Right. <laughs> so here's what I did. That now they had these giant. I don't know where they. I don't know how they got there. I think they were in the back of the prop truck. Oh, they, oh, they had these gigantic 55 gallon uh, metal containers that they were putting garbage in. And I thought, and 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 um, I said, guys, here, bring them all out here. Let's poke some holes in those puppies. So they poked some holes in them. And I started, and I, and I, I wanted to build fires, okay, to keep people warm. We didn't have any firewood, so guess what I did? I took all the freaking director's chairs and I broke them up. And I threw them in the I threw them in the drums, and we had a bonfire, and we <laughs> stayed warm that night. I love that kind of stuff, man. What what's what network was that on? I kind of remember that. That show. was NBC Fox Studios. It was like yeah, it was like a Mad Max like TV show type of thing. Yeah, right? was yeah, yeah, yeah. I you really can bring a picture that. this picture up, Cecil. Where is it? Oh yeah, I don't. You know what? I think uh, Roddy Piper's in there. No, I am. Look, <laughs> there's Roddy Piper. There's Michael Berryman. There's Branscombe Richmond. And guess who that is on? Uh, on it, it would be stage right, uh, camera left. That would John, be Lyle, Lyle Alzado. Yeah, 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 Lyle Zado. from the Raiders. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And that's my buddy Branscombe Richmond, who was in in the series uh, Renegades. And he has his own band called Branscombe Richmond and the Renegade Posse. I, you sure. know what? I think I've seen the show and never realized that was you. That was Flash Gordon. I <laughs> remember the show. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Yeah. yeah, looking at his credits is fun. I mean, I'm on IMDb right now just scrolling down. Uh, he was in an uh, episode of Baywatch. Two, two episodes of Baywatch. Yeah. Uh, was that fun? What was that like? It was my first coward part. It was a little bit disconcerting because um, his son, David Hasselhoff's son, the character son, uh, we went down in a private Learjet in sort of a sh in the ocean, like the shallow part of the ocean, and we were taking on water, and I just started screaming like a little bitty baby. So his 10-year-old <laughs> his, his, his son came in and, 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 you know, put me at ease. Okay. Oh, no, well, drowning is like a primal fear. People like they, you know, they, you, you do lose your sense, like when you're drowning, like you're afraid yeah. of drowning. Yeah. Well, I understand that, but just if you do that, make sure there's not any witnesses around watching <laughs> you do that. Okay. <laughs> What's this, John? Uh, I think that might be where he's dying. No, that looks like a movie from Under the Gun. Oh, uh, this is Baywatch Korea. eighty. Yeah, Baywatch eighty nine is oh, what it's oh, tagged at. So. Well, you're right. I'm up against the uh, bulkhead of the uh, Learjet. You're right. There we go. And that's why I'm saying, hey, little boy, I know you're younger than me, but I'm scared. Will you help me, please? <laughs> <laughs> that is terrific. How fun. What's your uh, uh, So uh, you're on the A-team. You're on an episode of the A-team. I'm going to pull yeah. up that what? episode. Yeah. Uh, hold yeah, on a second. Oh, man. Oh, uh, People are asking for this as a stretch gear uh, goal. Uh, the uh, punch Cecil, uh, punch Cecil in his smug face. <laughs> stretch oh, okay. Well, no, people. Uh, I'll tell you what. If you guys get to twenty thousand dollars tonight, I'll let I will fly out to a convention and let's know. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Here's a one one punch. You get one punch. One punch. Yeah. <laughs> That's all he's gonna need. John. Listen, John. He's not gonna need to. Cecil, which city? Which city are you based in? Cecil's in, in New York. I'm in New York. Well, well, look, I'm headed to Jersey. That's pretty close. That's hey, close enough. In Jersey. <laughs> Shit. There you go. 
I mean, oh, wow. that's great. Oh, how <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> let's we can make this happen. 20 grand, guys. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. All right, 20 grand. Oh, so wait, like nine thousand dollars more. We we've done it before. Let, let's get Cecil knocked out by Sam J. Jones. Uh, what are you gonna I really like Jersey? that to happen. Yeah. Please do it, guys. I didn't know he was coming to Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in Jersey and uh, we can, I can take a train. I can take a train right into New York. Wait, wow. We're going to be in New Jersey on July 8th through 9th, Cecil. Perfect. You and oh. Ethan can both go. Yeah, let's go. Ethan let's verify. Yeah. Ethan can film Cecil. Game. Yeah, he can hold the camera. Yeah, right. No problem. I'd be happy to do it. Are Get Alex Stein out there to, to film the it. Too? Tampa Con? Hold on. <laughs> Sam, are you going to the Tampa Con? It's coming uh, up this summer? No, no, I'm not. No, I mean, I haven't been booked for that yet. Man, she is for just me. lobbying for you to punch me in the face at this point. She's trying to make <laughs> I, travel I arrangements. Can't wait, this is the greatest day ever that you actually <laughs> agreed to this. I didn't but know. I know a lot of people gonna... are going to the Tampa Con. A so like, bunch of people, bunch of people, bunch yeah. of fans, bunch I of will YouTubers. Be there. It's going to, yeah, going to be huge. Uh, well, I'll, sorry, be at, I'll be at the did he say at the Jersey Con? I didn't hear that. What? I'll be at the Garden State. Are you going to be at Garden State? Yeah, no, I'm going to be in. Uh, well, is that is that near Secaucus? Is it the same one? Which one? Um, we're going to be at. What I'm is that doing, one? I'm it's doing, in Morristown. Okay, no, we're going to. I'm doing uh, Contropolis, New Jersey, in Secaucus. Hmm. Well, I love that picture. Isn't that wonderful? It's uh, still Havana. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's. Let's yeah. watch your uh, scene from the A-Team. One of your scenes from the A-Team. Does that sound like right. fun? I, I don't watch my work, but go ahead. <laughs> okay. We're going to yeah. watch this. I think it'd be hilarious to like, just now, go back and watch A-Team. Now, uh, same question. I know Max Van Silo gave you some uh, Silo gave you some advice. What did Mr. T give you that stuck with you? Oh, you know what? Uh, he was wonderful. <laughs> he, is, he, he just seems like a great guy. When, when I was doing a celebrity softball tournament, because I was the, I helped the kids at the John Rossi Youth Foundation. And when Michael Jackson dropped out, Mr. T was, believe it or not, he was just as big. And in some people's view, I'm talking about 1980, early 80s. Uh, he he was probably just as big, bigger than than Michael Jackson. And mm -hmm. when Michael dropped out, I called Mr. T. I said, brother, I, I really need you, man. I need a major star for my uh, celebrity softball game. And he came out and he was like the Pied Piper. Wherever he walked, you saw 30 to 50 kids in a line behind Oh yeah. Him. Oh, he oh, was yeah. the biggest thing. I remember the, that from the, from like the early, like yeah. he was, people can't, you can't yeah. understand how big Mr. T was. He was- He, was, he got like, his own cartoon in the eighties. Yeah, he yeah. did, yeah. And, and, and the most unique thing, a lot of people say they didn't see this, uh, humble side to him, but he drove a red Rolls Royce with the license plate said Mr. T. I'm not making wow. that up. Of course he did. Hey, everybody in the chat who wants to watch Mr. Jones scene <laughs> on A-Team, put a one in the chat, or we won't do it. If you want to see him perform on the A-Team, uh, this was the uh, uh, project that you did, uh, I don't know, di almost directly after uh, Flash Gordon. If you guys want to take a look at this, uh, hit one. And also press the like button. Give a little yeah. thumbs up for Cecil here. Uh, Thank looks you. Like everybody wants to see it, and so here we go. Ready? Wants, yeah, Anthony. Bring our children home. Okay. And bread, and you should never go hungry. And salt. There you are. Bring your life some flavor. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Oh, okay. Bad guys. Ah, uh, these soldiers. Oh, you can tell these are the bad guys here. Time for a fight. Wasn't he on uh, Riptide? That's Juliet Lewis's uh, get out dad. There you are. Look at that. Jeffrey Jeffrey Lewis, smart. Right? That's that Jeffrey. Come on now. I don't want anything like that from our side, no matter what they do. We're going to punch him in the mouth right now. Punch yeah. him in the nice. mouth. Just like Cecil. <laughs> what is it about <laughs> us that scares you so bad? You, you have to attack look like a baby. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing about you scares me, but what makes me mad is you people moved in here. We don't want your little tribe dirtying up our country air. Whoa! Of course, if that bothers hmm. you, you can always kick us off your land. No, I'm not going to use my fists when I can still use my brain, Sykes. You still haven't answered me. Why does our being here get under your skin? Is it because we don't 
kick tail with you at the corner bar? These people sure do make me wake up, man. Well, then you're in the wrong place. You aren't make you? me wake up, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Pick a fast for the fast, sir. Are you guys like Amish or something in there? What's something called? like that, yes. Oh, oh, oh that was, that was not nice. <laughs> What a jerk. Oh. Being up a kid. That's there you go. Nice. Yeah. Episode's called Semi Friendly Persuasion uh, from yes. season two of the A Team. If you guys want to watch the rest, fantastic performance. Great yeah. to see you. Yeah. yeah, you know what's yeah. amazing? What's amazing about that? Uh, you know, I have a bunch of kids. I got five kids and six grandkids. As wow. I look at myself at probably 25 years old right there, I look at my 26-year-old son. They're identical. They're identical. Wow. It's, it's amazing. Mm. Amazing. Beautiful. Yeah, that Jeffrey Lewis is uh, Juliet Lewis's father from Oh, Natural I did Lewis. not know that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that right? Wow. It's true. Oh, I'm going to get you in a scene with Mr. T here. Hold on That's a second. Hysterical. My gosh. You <laughs> well, I, got a, I got a scene to show in the meantime. While you're what do you got? I got a, I got a, the, the scene where uh, Mark yeah. Wahlberg meets uh, meets uh, Sam for the first time. Oh, in yeah. oh yeah. This in is a great scene. You guys want a party? <laughs> and he's, he's, uh, you know, the premise is, uh, you know, him and the little bear get stoned all <laughs> like the time and what they love uh they love flash uh gordon it's their like favorite movie and uh he this is him reacting to finally meeting him oh yeah <laughs> here we go here we go oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is so good <laughs> <laughs> Were they just shaking the camera? A little bit, yeah. On the Hulk, man. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta ask, That's how did that call go? Like Mark Wahlberg calls you. I was like, "Hey, I'm doing a movie about Good. my teddy Good bear, picture. and we watch your movie." No, it was Seth MacFarlane. That's Seth yeah. MacFarlane, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So was he? Was Seth a big fan of the movie? He was, because uh, he's a big film buff. Like he's really yeah, into he, old, he old called Hollywood. Me. Yeah. Yeah, he called me and he told me. He said, "Hey." Um, when I was eight years old, uh, my mother dropped me off at the movie. I, I saw your film, and when I walked out, I, I knew I was going to grow up and be a, a creative a creative guy because of you. So I thought that was pretty cool. Hey, Great. if you guys are enjoying the show, uh, why not back and support Sam J. Jones Saves the Galaxy on Indiegogo? Uh, the mods are dropping the link in the chat. I'm positive, but we need to it's get in this the thing. description as well, and it's the pinned – it's the pinned uh, – Comment in the chat is the link, and in the description is the link as well. So pull it up, Cecil. Pull up I the. Got it, uh, campaign. I got it. Rob, how yeah. far along is is the book, and ha have you uh, have you got to any any pages that you just like you're really feeling like something that really excites you? Oh, the the nice thing about it is the book is done. <laughs> the script's done. The the pages are done. Just waiting to get uh, it's colored and just fixing up the colors a little bit. Joe is and then lettering and but the book's finished. It's ready to go. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Let me do a refresh. Right now we're at 11,335 with 113 backers. Let's nice. see if that went up at all. Hey. Ooh, wow. Oh, oh, oh Cecil's going to get punched in the face. Come oh, on, guys. It's coming. Oh. <laughs> Remember, not guys, the, not the face. Pounds. Yeah, it's the face. Uh, we should give, uh, we, we should allow like an MMA glove or something like that, you know, to protect Sam's hand. You know. What? Well, what? From your funk. <laughs> From your stink, <laughs> Sam. Were you married when you did Flash Gordon back in 1980? Girlfriend. No, no. Girlfriend. I, didn't get, I didn't get married to to my first wife, Lynn, until er, uh, early 80s. I think it was. Yeah, you know, we, we have two uh, great kids together, um, uh, Matthew and Kaylin. And then, of course, I've been married to Ramona for 31 years, and 
And we wow. have we have, we have three kids as well. And, but yeah, they All get right. along great. It's just it's just a it's just a huge blessing. And now we have now we have six grandkids and probably a whole lot more coming because remember, only two of my kids are married. My uh, Shane, my 24 year old, is getting married in Hawaii next week. Ooh, oh, congratulations! congratulations. Yeah. Beautiful, congrats. And then my, my other son Joey, he's 26. I told you about. He just announced his engagement. They'll probably get married uh, within a year or so, and that just leaves uh, Chrissy, our youngest. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not going to ask you about all the beautiful Hollywood women that you must have dated that threw themselves at you. Uh, well, during those years when you were single? I wouldn't ask that because you're a married man, you're a family man. Obviously, that would be an inappropriate question. But the women were beautiful, weren't they? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I Seriously, I uh, was pretty much in a relationship most of my life. Uh, I mean, did I like to party like the 80s? Yeah, I did. But you know what worked for me? And, and I... I you know, I have my little inner circle of guys I hang out with, and we pretty much agree that really the our foundation comes from our our spouse, you know, our, our wives. And that's 100% uh, agree. You know, we, we yeah. tried it for years, you know, doing it the other way. And this seems to, you know, this seems to be the I, I tell people this. They, they talk to me. They always want marriage advice. And I say, well, here's the deal. Uh, you as the, you know, I'm talking about guys, they come to me and the, and the ladies come to my wife, the guys come to me and they said, tell me about marriage. I said, well, here's the deal. Uh, in the marriage, you, you're the man, I'm the man. We are the alpha male, but the boss is the wife. Okay. Mm. She's, she's the boss and she always will be the boss. And that's how you have a healthy marriage. That's okay. right. You got to check with headquarters before uh, you right. make any big choices. Uh, yeah. I asked the best questions, Cecil. Uh, you would uh, see the chat agrees. The chat's just like lit up. They're like, "Yes, talk about the women. Talk about the yeah. women of Hollywood in 1980, 81, possibly 82. But yeah. again, it's well, inappropriate. No, I, I, no, I well, I was thinking about his son, who looks. He says, "Looks is a spitting image of him." And yes. he's 26, and he's getting. Oh yeah, no, it, it's scary. But no, I get to what I say about oh. the women is I, I learned. Very, I think Max even said part of the third. The, the third piece of advice, he said, whatever you do, don't ever date your leading ladies. Well, first of all, I, 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 um, I was mostly in a relationship, but the times that I was single, out of the 70 films I did, I only dated one, one leading lady, and of course, I was single at the time. Melody so, Anderson, that, of course. Who? Melody Anderson. No, oh, Melody and I, we are brother and sister. Oh. We always, we, from the beginning, and we always will be brother and sister. Of course, yeah. Uh, no, 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 but I, uh, but well, I, yeah, I dated, leading uh, lady I was, was. I was single, and I dated one leading lady, and she was uh, amazing. And, Bo Derek. Uh, yeah. Bo Derek. No, oh, no, well, because Derek. she was married. I was married. She, matter of fact, I spent uh, over lunch. 30 days lunches with her husband, John Derrick. I just, you know, if those that don't, those of you who don't know John Derrick, he was part of that movie Rat Pack, not the Frank Sinatra, Joey Bishop, Dean Martin, but the movie Rat Pack, John Derrick, Errol Flynn, Peter Lawford. I mean, who else? I mean, like, come on. Uh, Peter Lawford was in yeah, the other yeah, Rat Pack. Yeah, and Peter O'Toole. Peter I think O'Toole. Peter Lawford was the only one that crossed over, meaning he was with the music rat pack of Sinatra mm -hmm. and the acting rat pack with oh, uh, the Derek Merrill oh. Flynn. But Did you I ever just, get to meet Sinatra by any chance? Yeah. yeah. What's, oh, no, I, 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 no, I okay. never got to meet him, I wish. But I, I spent most of my time, the 30 days in Hawaii and Mexico on the movie 10, having lunch with John Derrick and just the stories of Hollywood in the – early 40s all the way through the 40s and 50s was just it's just i'll never forget it ever you ever. knew errol flynn wow i mean that's just on, that's, uh, he on did. yeah he did i he did. did errol yeah. flynn died probably before you were born uh, i think he errol, was 50 right in his 50s yeah he did he died of drink <laughs> in like 1955 uh so he died in what frank no, no, no. Uh, Errol Flynn. He died when he was like uh, in oh. 1955, I think. Yeah. He was a yeah. young man. 
Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell you a quick John Derrick story if we have time. I'll make it quick. Mm -hmm. right. This is what they did back then. You can't do it anymore. So all those actors, John Derrick, Errol Flynn, I think it was Peter O'Toole, they were doing a war picture in the uh, late 40s. And they were shooting in Los Angeles at an Air Force base, right? Military base. And it was lunch break. And they told the, the uh, third assistant, they said, hey, we're going to extend our lunch break today, okay? So don't get, you know, don't get your you-know-what all in a knot if we're not back in an hour. And, and, and the third assistant was nervous anyway. He said, okay, okay, you know, but just don't, you know, try to be on time because otherwise I get in trouble, man. Here's what John Derrick, Errol Flynn, and uh, Peter O'Toole and the rest of them did. For their lunch hour, they commandeered a transport plane and took it to southern Mexico and remained there for six days. And they returned, they returned to that movie set seven days later with a plane a load full of women. And guess what? The movie resumed filming. When they <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> Sam, how would how would you say like because you know we're all the outside looking in, but since you've actually been there and had the conversations with people, like what would you say are some of the biggest changes like in Hollywood uh, from maybe even before your time to how it is current day? Like maybe some of the attitudes, you know? I mean, with social media, everyone's getting more of an inside look at people. It, it seems like from the outside looking in, like it's getting a little bit messy, but maybe it's always just been messy. Well, it, it seems to me, remember, I, I've done more independent films than I've done big, big studio stuff. Mm -hmm. And God bless the bad. I love doing big studio stuff. Yeah, you're dealing with more attitude. You're dealing with more unions. You're dealing with, you're dealing with, oh, uh, you've hurt my feelings again. Okay. You know, right. The right, right. I'm going to my room. Let me tell you about an independent film. Mm -hmm. All that hogwash is just out the window. And here's why. Um, we, we were in um, Hopkinsville, Kentucky, making a film three. And I'm using this analogy because it's the best. And it wasn't forecast to snow. We're not supposed to snow. Okay. We're outdoors. Mm -hmm. And it's starting to snow. We, we, you could feel it coming. It hasn't quite started yet. And the director said, and the sun's going down. We got to get this shot. Okay. Well, it, it, remember, this is independent. So everybody, and we got to move 200 yards to another location. Everybody grabs piece of a camera equipment, a sandbag, mm -hmm. a C stand, actors, everybody. And they, and they move the production 200 yards away. And guess what? And it's starting to snow and nobody's complaining. Nobody's in this. It's usually not the women. It's the men who are in their freaking uh, motorhomes. And it's too cold. OK, mm. I'll get over yourself anyway. Uh, <laughs> so we, we, we moved it without any union, crazy union rules like actors. Don't touch this. Don't mm. touch, touch the C stand. And we got the freaking shot. We saved a ton of money. And that's there's a liberation and a freedom in that that is unsurpassed and and. Yes, it's great to do a studio movie, but uh, th there's a lot more freedom and less restrictions. Say, I just use the word restrictions. Okay, less mm -hmm. less restrictions. I absolutely love it. Yeah, it sounds like it's less ego. Just it's got the it, 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 we, ego is a luxury. We don't have time for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you shouldn't have time for it on a major studio. Okay, right. Remember, the, the, and the problem. If the if the producers and directors are allowing egos and arrogance to 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 take a precedent, what what they're basically saying is, oh, oh, your little personal issue is bigger than than all of us. In other words, you're causing division. We have a team here, so you know what? J just go home. I would say to that person, go in your motor home, take a deep breath. But this is about unity. It's a team. If, if mm. you don't want to be part of unity, then you are divisive. And that's, and wow. we, don't, we don't need you. We don't need Ew. you. Ew. <laughs> First of all, one way before you hit refresh, uh, Bear Wolf points 1,300 people watching, only 777 likes. 
Oh my Please. gosh. Andre. It would just take <laughs> just a moment, just a fraction yeah, of a right. second. Let's do a refresh on this. Let's see where we are. Oh man. People do okay, not want to see me get punched in the face. Punch him in the face. <laughs> it's just yes. a little one, just on the side. Just no, it's got to be a big one. Uh, so right now we're at 11,795 with on, one yes. and 19 backers. Let's do a refresh. Hey. Oh, Ooh, wonderful. Dude. That's great. Oh, it's oh, going to happen. It's going to really happen. Proud of Cecil, you. let's, oh, let's do a compromise, Cecil. Uh, how about already. if uh, Sam Jones doesn't punch you in the face, but a woman punches you in the face? Is that okay? No, 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 Is that a better no, compromise? No, no, no. Uh -uh. Yes, Cecil, no, I, I found the woman to punch you in the face. Share my but screen. I only got one oh, ship God. around this world. If I got a story of getting punched in the face, I've been punched in the face a dozen times, but not by you Sam can't Jones. brag about it, right? That's Cecil, worth talking about. Mm -hmm. I found the woman to punch you in the face instead of Sam I will Jones. Take a Please woman share my screen. Okay, instead you will. Of, Good. Yeah, I would rather take a woman to be honest. Here she is. How's that? <laughs> oh no! She's the one I'm gonna have punch you in the face. Cecil. Oh, I, uh, you look strong. Yeah. You look strong. Oh, no. Strong. And look it's at the size woman. of the reach. She looks yeah. like an orangutan in a <laughs> cocktail. Long her, her, her length, her reach was extremely Perfect. long. Mm -hmm. Now, when I you say woman. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys be nice now. Come on. We are. We are being nice. Sorry. We just want to punch Cecil in the face. We're sorry, just being mean. Just, we're I'm just trolling sure. Cecil. <laughs> I'm also, cool. right now, just for the context, it's a big YouTuber thing that this one guy, Keemstar, he's really popular on YouTube. He's trying to get big channels together to actually do boxing, do and there's been a fight already. And so we're, we're teasing times, about Cecil and, and John fighting, and then it evolved mm -hmm. into you punching him. There's a prize if you if you box someone. They have boxing now. It's kind of like e celebrity boxing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's ten thousand dollars to get in the ring, and a bigger purse if you win. But you get ten thousand dollars just to get in the ring. So I don't know. We're all talking about who we might want to beat up okay, for ten grand. Yeah. Okay, but for those novice fighters that get paid ten grand, you're gonna spend about uh, a half a million on freaking uh, medical bills for concussions. Are That's you kidding me? Are you freaking Not if you pick your opponent carefully, Fine. you know. And I, and I know you know this, Ethan and guys. And I choose Anna. It's better to go. It's better to go bare knuckle because when yeah. you wear gloves, it's more concussion. It's a greater oh. size area. So you want to go. You want to go bare knuckle. You're gonna cut. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm, I'm ready yeah, to do it. No, so I mean, grand. Yeah, it's why boxing, boxing is more brutal than MMA, even though people, they, they, they look at the kicks and the dramatic endings to MMA, yeah. but the amount of hits to the head is a fraction in MMA than the boxing. Every, you know what I mean? It's almost, it's, it's continuous it hits. It's the, yeah. the amount of brain damage that these guys hey. endure is insane. Yeah. Hey, Cecil, Cecil, I'm proud to say that in my lifetime so far, I've broken up 50 fights. That's 5-0. 50 wow, wow. fights. And 47 of those fights, they wanted to fight me. Okay. <laughs> That's I'm good. Serious. That's smart. And I, I used humor, you know, a, a, every time. And or I just, especially when they look at you. And it's normally alcohol related if you're at a restaurant or a bar. It's or, usually woman related. Somebody, somebody's girlfriend was looking at you too much. And the guy got mad. That's it. No. I remember hitting, I, this was my go-to because occasionally I'd hit on a girl and a guy would be like, blah, 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 come running over. And I didn't know she was with the guy. And I said, don't get mad when someone's hitting on your girl. Start to worry when no one's hitting on your girl. And that was my <laughs> line that would, because they would usually <laughs> laugh at that. And that was like my, my, uh, Really? Quick, quick. You didn't silence your phone for this? No, I didn't. What know. a jerk. Yeah, what, what a jerk he is. Asshole. Now, now Sam is like, I hope we get to 20 so I can punch this guy in his face. <laughs> oh, I, I, again, I've... I've yeah, and, and nowadays, look, I mean, here's the deal. Everybody says, yeah, well, look, if someone bothers me, I'm just going to punch him right in the face. You know, well, look, here's the deal. If you're standing out here on the sidewalk and, and you're defending yourself, okay, and you punch a guy, and you hit him right here, okay, that's that's the sweet spot. I don't care how tough he is, right under the ear, the jawline, his knees are going to buckle, he's going to go down, he's going to smash his freaking brains on the concrete, and he's going to die, 
Okay. $20,000. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> so, so I'm serious. Oh, he already knows where he's going to aim on my head, no, everyone. But, no, but what I'm saying is, look, when you could have talked, just, you could have bought the guy a beer, or maybe you could have parried his punch and got behind him and give him a nice little sweet choke hold and kiss him on the cheek at the same time, right? Uh, rather, But no, you want to show everybody. Well, this has happened uh, quite a few times. Sure, we're, yeah, we're people just in hit. regular fist fights and, have got. And again, here's the nerve. I don't care how tough you are. You get hit along that jawline, you're going to go down. And if, if the surface is, is hard, you're going to smash your freaking head. How many times have you seen a boxer and or a UFC guy get hit so hard that before his hands hit hit the uh, the the uh, the floor, it's his head that hits first. Yeah, mm. it bounces off the canvas. Now, okay. if that's on concrete, so so I'm enough. so I'm I'm preaching right now. There's a better way, guys. There's a better mm. way. I yeah, but if, if Cecil dies, he dies. It's no, okay. I was gonna. Well, first of all, I was gonna put padding down on the floor. Okay, that's number Aww. one. Oh, oh, yeah, a little, a little down there. <laughs> Okay, and then I was going to give him a double mouthpiece. Okay, oh, and right. I just, yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Doing. I like yeah. this. And all this consideration, Cecil. I'm going to give him a double mouthpiece and a little teddy bear he could hold while I'm, <laughs> oh, while I'm snoring on the ground. <laughs> by the way, a double mouthpiece is a left hook followed by an uppercut. Yeah, that's that's, what, a, uh, that's a combination. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so, God, sorry, this is Cecil. Terrible. I'm having so much fun. Are you guys having much fun as I am? This yeah. is the best interview that you've done, and it's mostly because of us. So we are fantastic yeah. interviewers yeah. here that are making the show so great humble. and asking you the best yeah. questions. These yeah. other guys who interviewed you, I watched some of them. They were okay. Guys like Billy Tucci, hey, uh, really? guys like Niall Scala. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, I do have a question for you. I do watch you. Now, right? you were 24 or 23 when you filmed Flash Gordon? Yes. Okay, so you both. must have just, you was, must have just come both. out of the service. Yeah, like, I was both. I turned twenty four. I was twenty three okay. when we started, and I turned. That would have been August seventy nine. Yeah. Oh, you're born in. I'm born in August too. What's your birthday? August twelfth. That we're not. We're both not related. Leaders. No. no. Okay. <laughs> the chat has turned on me now. Ethan yeah, is everything but, but, that um, Sam said a man shouldn't be. Arrogant EVS. EVS is annoying. My apologies, Sam. But then Spets Thuggins says Ethan is charming and disarming. Thank you, sir. Wow. I only hear the right, positive. So, so, so I just want to know, like, how did you, like, we were talking about this before you came on. It's like there are some people that they're like, you look at them and you're like, oh, you should go into movies. You should go. Were you one of those guys that people no. your whole life told you that? No, I, I joined the Marine Corps 17 to to be a lifer. That means my entire life. And in my mind, uh, you know, 51 years later, I'm still a Marine. But so I, I got a little bit, I started playing um, Marine Corps football and I got a little bit arrogant. I got a little bit full of me thinking I'm good. Now I was okay. I wasn't great. Uh, I'm good. I think I need to do my one hitch in the core. I need to go. I need to try out for the Seattle Seahawks. Yes, I do. They need me. So I did my I did my term in the core, and that would have been four years later. So uh, 1972 I went in. So 1976 I went to Seattle. I tried out for the Seahawks, and guess what they said, Cecil? After after they punched me right in the face, guess what they said to me? <laughs> Get out of here, too Cecil. pretty, too pretty. No, no, they said no. They said thank you very much, but we don't need you. Okay. Uh -huh. So it, so uh, if you look at it as a, mm. a 20. What am I? I'm 20, 76. I'm 22. So here mm -hmm. I am. My Marine Corps days are over. My football days are over. Oh my God. Okay. What am I going to do? And here's the cool thing about if you, if, if we as men, if we just keep our eyes up a little bit, you know, our heads down. I was depressed. I was discouraged, but I just lifted my eyes a little bit. And a buddy said, Hey, Sam, I want you to read this article this magazine article about Clint Eastwood. It's going to inspire you. And I read it, and that article inspired me. And I, and I went to Hollywood probably, I don't know, three, three and a half months later. And I love what Denzel Washington says. He says, dream and dream big, but a dream means nothing unless you have a plan. So I had a quick plan, okay? N never had a dream about, you know, until, until I read the article. 
I never thought about making movies. So, uh, so my dream now, the dream is I'm going to Hollywood. I'm going to be an actor. I'm going to try to accomplish what Clint Eastwood had accomplished. Remember, 1976, he started in the business in 55. So he had been in the business 21 years. I wasn't arrogant thinking I could do what he could do. I said, I'd like to give it those 20, 21 years to see what would happen. So my plan was get a car, drive to Hollywood. I had a place to stay, my aunt in Rosemead, uh, get a job the day I arrived and join an acting class that same night. That's exactly what I did. Wow. So mm -hmm. I bought my grandpa's second car, uh, a 1968 Dodge Cornette 440. The car was probably worth a thousand bucks. He sold it to me for 50 bucks. Uh, I arrived, stayed at my aunt's. I got a job the same day and joined an acting class that night. Boom. Just like that. Nice. That's awesome. And how long after that did you get your first role? Uh, gosh, I mean, it was it, it happened quick because uh, it, I got a commercial agent first. And my first paying job had to be no more than two months. And I had a commercial with the legend. It was a beer commercial with Jerry West, the Lakers uh, the, the basketball legend. Owner, the owner of the Lakers. Yeah, so. it's a Schaefer beer commercial. And then from there, they had they had other agents who came into the acting class looking for new talent. And then I got a I got a theatrical or a, a, a acting agent, and things just started to. Just Sam, did you know that Schaefer is the one beer to have when you're having more than one? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Yeah, the I more did I not know that. That was their jingle, by the way. Oh, no, it was. Mm -hmm. Schaefer is the one beer to have when you're having more than one. Wow. And that's what you're going to be singing when he punches you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sam, Sam Jones said he had a, it's, you have a dream, uh, but a dream doesn't mean anything unless you have a plan. That's right. Uh, but Mike Tyson said everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. He's like, that's right. Wow. Yeah, I love it. Yes, that's right. Uh, let's see if we're one step closer to getting Cecil punched in the face. No. 1,255 with 126 backers. Let me do a refresh. Hey, $12,255 with 127 backers. Thank you so much, everyone. Pretty cool, guys. So what is that magic it. number? to 20. 20, oh, and I got to go to Jersey to get slapped in the head by you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now we change it from punched in the mouth to slapped in the head. Well, it's all the same, man. People will try to get out of it. Have we you seen that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk you down to tussling my hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam, was that commercial a uh, basket? Were you in a basketball team in that commercial? Yes. Okay. All right. I actually found it. So. Oh, no, you Ooh, didn't. Let's see. I've never let's seen see it. it. Come on. All right. Here we go. There it is. Awesome. Uh -huh. Where is it? Circle. Oh my God. Because Jerry do it all. Offense. Well, that's Jerry West. I think I'm 23. But most that's of me, all, you need to be great. That's, that's me, number 23. Yeah, they are. Scotty, right there. Let me uh, back oh it up. Oh my God. You got to send me that face. footage. I've never seen that. Because Jerry West was able to do it all. Offense. Ready to pause. Now, uh, people say that Michael Jordan took 23 based on this commercial. He was so inspired. <laughs> but most of all, he knew that being great. We'll get it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Blast Gordon right there. Sam that Jones. Is amazing. Incredible. Does it give you a date? Does it give you a date it when it counts in the clutch? Till you it just says 70. With nothing left on the clock. Every but that looks time. like 77 to me, 78. After time. At Schaefer, we've been brewing our beer to taste great every time. Beer after beer. Wait, were you in this scene? Well, that might be me. That green leisure suit. Yeah, I was That's sitting Nick Schaefer, the one beer I'm on the left when you're there. having more than one. Don't no. you deserve a beer that good? So come, come into the Shaper Circle. Wow. They just said Bobby that. Hall, George Blanda, Willie Mays. They were in that commercial, guys. Willie Mays was in there. Wow. How about yeah. that? Oh, I'm sorry, Willie Mays or Willie Hayes? 
Willie Hayes? I don't know. Willie Hayes. Yeah. Okay. Amazing, yeah. amazing. That's he amazing. Said, yeah. By the way, he said the tagline. He said when you're having more than one. That, that's mm. amazing, man. And thank you for nice. showing me that. That is so YouTube. Cool. Yeah, just YouTube. And everything is on YouTube. Your entire yep. career is on YouTube. Oh my but gosh. Just so you know, every piece of media, just go to youtube.com and look for whatever you want. It's there. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Beautiful. Cool. cool. How are we doing on the uh book? No, yeah, listen, it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, man. He's so scared now because we're getting close. I, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know people really wanted to see me get punched. Yeah, well, Cecil's a man of low uh, character. We knew this. Flash you know. Gordon. We did. Slapped in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, 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 I want to hear like, about you. I want to hear about Anna and what it, it's the book. It's the count. What it tell us again. It's the calendar book. What is it? Tell us. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I have a, a calendar campaign. It's been a week now. Uh, it's up on Indiegogo, and I just released my. She's very immodest in it, sir. Oh my <laughs> goodness! I, yeah. Oh, look at you! Look Thanks. at you at 52, 52k. Oh yes. my goodness! I released a video of like my process on how I did the Barbie cosplay. The other ones will be coming soon. Uh, I have a few shoots this week, so more will be uh, posted once those are done. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming out and uh, supporting it. Uh, see the, the videos up on the campaign as well. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, everyone. And I will be adding stretch goals soon. So, uh, okay, so Anna, what do we do? We just, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, Indiegogo, that Star Wars girl. Well, what do they call uh, Cosplay calendar 2024. The link is in the description below. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, That's so this so is my cool. third campaign. So uh, I'm very, you. very humbled by the amount of support that everyone has shown me for this. Because uh, you guys really liked the first one. Then you guys really, really liked the second one. So this one I'm hoping to like even surpass the second one. So thank well, you're you. wearing less and less clothing. So, mm -hmm. uh, and we appreciate and that. You know what, Ethan? One day I'm going to be 80 years old, and I want to look back and be like, "Yeah, that's what I looked like." Granny. I told you that. That's what I told I you. Know I you said told all me. young ladies should take photographs of themselves naked. Uh, why? I mean, it sounds. It doesn't sound like, but you really one day you're going to look back, calendar, Ethan. You're, one day you'll look back and just say, "Boy, uh, I wish I had taken more pictures of myself and published them for society in a state of undress." Because look at me now, I'm 80. <laughs> this, is, this is the closest you're going to get to that. But I mean, this is, I mean, there's nothing that I wouldn't wear to the beach or to a con. So, of course. And, yes. Yeah. I, I really, it's so cool what you're doing. You know, when we talked last time, I, I told you I, I really had a lot of respect for what you and Nina were doing. You're sort of, you're sort of you're setting a precedent in, in this whole community of what's going on where you're kind of tired of the nonsense and the, the BS. And I want to tell you, I, I, I bumped into, you may know her. Uh, she's a little fireball like you, and she she's kind of doing the same thing as far as your, in, you know, setting this, these, of course, these goals, but this, this I want to keep saying, this precedent in the industry about we're going to do this, we're going to do it right. We're going to do it our way. And, and we're tired of uh, some of the nonsense that comes with it. But did you ever bump into Kara Nicole? Yeah, mm -hmm. Kara Nicole's a friend of mine. Yeah, she... Arizona I, she, Power Girl. She is just a fireball. And I told her about you. I told her about Nina. And um, anyway, I, I just wanted to let you know that she's kind of doing the same thing you are about just taking this industry by storm and 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 doing it with uh yeah with, with a sort of way outside the box outside the norm and the ways that other people are not doing it. and and again the insight that you gave Joe and Rob and I last time and uh the same thing what Kara uh, uh Kara Nicole is doing just she oversaturated me with so much insight into the algorithms and the social media, the do's and the do nots. And, and her boobies are bigger than yours. I pass that on, on to you that there's another one out there uh, that you and Nina, you know, like you and Nina that are, you know, I say, uh, I say good for you guys. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm supporting what you're doing and I'm, I'm, I'm big fans of you guys. 
Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, our friend Billy Tucci is, is friends with her and has told me about her before, but I've never gotten to meet her. So uh, yeah. maybe one day at a con. You'll yeah. be jealous when you do, Anna, because, sure. you know, yeah. she's uh, her boobies are so much bigger than yours. And, yeah, she's uh, probably know. taller than you, too. To do she's taller, too, yeah. You guys I mean, are so. terrible. You, guys are you just went up 300 bucks in two time. It's okay. <laughs> this is how we but, treat each other. But, yeah. So, we, yeah. we treat each other like siblings. We, you know, pull each other's pigtails all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have kids, well, you know. We all give each other a hard time. Oh, absolutely. Well, let's be honest. Like two years ago, my boobs were bigger than Anna's. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah Ethan, I'm pretty sure your boobs are bigger than mine. What a oh, lie. <laughs> I've met you. Maybe they are. I don't know. You should sue her for defamation. I do. will. How dare you? Anna, out of nowhere. A, Anna, you have a lot of other ladies that want to do what you want to do, and they come to you for advice. Correct? They come to you for advice all the time. Not, not really. Uh, I guess I'm not the most approachable person. She's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I also, I'm very. Uh, I keep to myself a lot. I talk to the same five people. Uh, if people well, did want to reach out to me. They can, but not not really. Anna doesn't really set up at conventions or anything at this point either. So, I mean, it's well, primarily YouTube. So. I, I did, but I think a, a lot of my audience, because I talk about things like Star Wars and Star Trek, it's it's kind of hard to find uh, girls that are my age that, you know, are interested in the same things that I am. So most They're of late my 40s. Yeah. yeah, most of my mm -hmm. friends are these guys. It would be a lot easier to find those girls, but they close down a lot of the mental institutions. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but um, no. If people ask, I, I make videos that show my process, so people can watch those. And Good. Uh, yeah, Good for you. We like to hang out with Gen X guys, like Biggins saying right here. Oh, hold on, wait. Where did Biggins? Say? There we go. Oh, is he pick Mr. Biggins is going to pick on me now? <laughs> no, she, she does. Yeah, she likes to hang out with old men. Years old, immature. She probably only eats candy for dinner. Who said right. that? That is true, though. It's Actually, true, though, true. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anna loves Mr. Candy. Jones. I, I, we went to Star Wars Celebration together with a bunch of friends, and I, I wanted to take Anna out to dinner. Uh, we we're going to go to a Chinese place. Anna said, I don't eat Chinese food. I said, well, she said I only eat McDonald's and <laughs> licorice whips. She eats Twizzlers and McDonald's. I That's what she lives on and Mountain Dew. And she what? really... No... I, I do not eat good, but I don't just eat that. And I hate Twizzlers. I, I am a very picky eater, but uh, Skittles. I, Skittles. I like MMs better than Skittles. No, I'm a chocolate, pixie sticks, lolly. Candy, I, I, sent her a, I sent her a five pound bag of candy corn. I'm not talking 14 days later. She's like, I have such a sweet tooth right now. I'm like, eat some of the candy corn. She's like, it's gone. <laughs> well, just, Dude, it was my idea. This is pounds. my snack that I've been waiting to eat. <laughs> hey, hey, Rob and Joe, yeah. didn't maybe I got on the mix up? Last time we did our show, didn't she tell us? Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me. Didn't she sit down and eat an entire cake by herself? That was not me. No, that, that, was, that, was, me. that, that was, was a great time, though. Who was that that said they ate? Oh, it, it was she, man. The sheet cake. Sheet Who? cake. Oh, is Mandy. Mandy Summers did that? Yeah, oh, she was Mandy did that. in her car and she oh, already gets her mixed up. Okay, yeah, she binges on a sheet cake once in a while. That's yeah, I don't blame her. That stuff is good. Sheet cake, <laughs> a Walmart <laughs> sheet cake. You're just, just... <laughs> hey, that stuff is good, man. I guess I'm not yeah. until you try it, but mm -hmm. yeah, Cecil, so, so you want to hit up uh, some of your super chats? It looks like they're building. You know what, John? That's a fantastic idea. If you have questions for Mr. Jones, please send Cecil Super Chats in the amount of $10 or above. We're only reading yellow Super Chats tonight. Uh -oh. Also, guys, uh, uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, Russell Hull says, may I say that it's very progressive of Flash Gordon. The voices support for the LBGTQRSTXYZ movement by appearing on Cecil's channel during Pride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe they're calling me gay uh, in a very roundabout way. Uh, uh, also, guys, uh, we usually go for like three to four hours sometimes. You guys don't have to stay for the entire time. I know on Nina's you have like about an hour. So if you ever need to go, just let us know either in the private chat or just tell us. I'll just say, if you're ready to tap out, go ahead. There's no, there's no shame. Are you telling there's, us to go? 
No, no, no. I, no, no. I wish you could say sometimes all night. People, sometimes people get on here and they're like, when is this going to end? And and it's it's yeah, never ends. Ends. It never ends. ends. We go for it's a long time. Well, how about, how about I clock out after I do a, uh, a two, a two full hours? That'll be another what? 17 minutes or something? All right. Oh, okay. wow. Incredible. Yeah. Beautiful. Right. Right. Super chats for him, Cecil. I'll, all right. Let me go. Uh, if not, uh, me and John can do it. Ubal says this stream is possible because the man, the myth, the absolute legend that saved the galaxy, excited to get my copy. Awesome. Great. Uh, Same here. Rogers, Arkansas. See you there, savior of the universe. All right, he will be there. He will be meeting Smoke you in and Arkansas. Rate. Uh, punt up. Oh, we already got read that one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Valdez D. Frank says EVS is an artist. I thought he was a toy maker. Yes, All right, hold on. Mr. Biggins for $9.99 says, Flesh, what are your lifts at 68? Give us some inspiration. Yeah, uh, Biggins. What Biggins. are my lifts at 68? Oh, I probably wear a 12 inch heel. <laughs> <laughs> Biggins is, is a big proponent of lifting heavy compound movements. Uh, oh, no, no. Well, here's the deal. Yeah, I was teasing about the list. I'm I'm six three, flat footed, and, and I, I I like to wear Skechers because I feel like I'm floating on air. But okay, you're not talking about those lists. You're talking about weights. Mm. Yeah. Well, I do what my good buddy Lou Frigno taught me to do. You know, and, you, and I take advice from people that have won world championships before. He's 71, so here's here's what we do. We keep it simple. The whole goal and objective is to remain injury free do not get freaking hurt okay hmm. once we get hurt especially at this age there's a whole lot of time for recovery and you're not going to work okay so i refuse and even if i am hurt i refuse to accept that i'm hurt so i i'm, I'm making a point that i don't get hurt here's hmm. what we do we go in the gym i have a gym here every time i go to my comic book tour i do a convention there's a gym there at the hotel or there's a gym at planet fitness or wh wh whatever your candy is. So we keep it simple, uh, lightweight. Okay. Absolute, uh, a lighter weight. Okay. Not, I, I'm sorry. Let, let me go back. Not lightweight, like eh, three pounders. Okay. But a lighter weight, absolute perfect form. Let me say that again. Absolute perfect form. And, the rest period between sets, are you listening to me, is no more than 10 seconds, okay? Whoa. Take that freaking mm. phone and put it away, okay? Don't even answer it. And here's the deal. If you're going station to station during that 10-second, or I try to make it five seconds sometimes, the five to 10-second rest, if somebody is sitting at your station, don't, get mad. don't no. get mad. Don't punch them in the face, okay? Skip <laughs> Skip that station and go to another station. Consistency. And that's how we do it. And you remain. But I don't freaking uh, lift some weight where I'm going to pop a nut. Okay. Are you kidding me? Mm. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll take this, you know, and it's not just the dumbbells and the machines. I like to climb the rope. Uh, I, I like to uh, do the pull-ups. I like to do the, uh, I got to, I'm pointing to my backyard because, I've got a I've got a tractor tire. I don't I don't what, what do you call it? I don't flip. You the don't tire. flip it. Mm -hmm. I, I take a freaking sledgehammer and I beat the doo doo out of that uh, <laughs> tractor tire. Okay, <laughs> so nice. I do things like that and stretching. Mm -hmm. I, I I let too many years go by stretching. I'm starting to stretch more. But you keep it simple and you eat eat a lot. But everything you put in your body better be freaking good for you. Okay. Now, yes. Now, cheating. Yes, I cheat with food. I cheat on the weekends. I do not cheat Monday through Friday because that means you're compounding everything. And before you know it, one day you, you look at it and you go, oh, well, I'm 20 pounds away from 300. Okay, I can do that in five days. All right. <laughs> but anyway, just keep it freaking simple. There's no mm -hmm. mystery. And let me give you some other advice, okay? Going yeah. to the gym, going to the freaking gym, 
Okay. By the time I put my freaking gym clothes on and look in the mirror and drive to the gym, I'm already freaking tired. Okay. So, so there's no excuses here unless you're going to go do massive cardio and sweat profusely. Here's what I do before I, I'm at the hotel, getting ready to go to the comic con. You know what? I, I I'm running on, I'm running low on time. I don't have time for the cardio. I'm going to, on my way down, to get into the car with the driver, I'm going to make one little stop, latte first, okay? One little stop at the hotel gym. I'm going to pick up the dumbbells for anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. I'm not going to put them down, okay? I, I can do three or 400 reps, but not crazy, wow. stupid stuff, just absolute perfect form. And that way, I've done something. I have no excuse. And usually, it's the excuse of having to get suited up with your workout costume and driving to that place. Eliminate that bull. Oh, I almost said it. Eliminate that <laughs> nonsense. Curse here. Eliminate that nonsense and just and and do what my buddy does also. If there's a tree outside, you're wherever you're at. You're at work. You're at a comic con. You're you're getting ready to drive your truck, but there's a tree right there. You're going to laugh at me. Climb that freaking tree. What are you talking about yeah. climbing a tree? Let me tell you something about climbing a tree. When you climb a tree, especially when you haven't for a long time, you have to hang on for dear life. Otherwise, yes. you're going to fall and die. So <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing to your body? You're using these freaking clamps and claws and isometrics. And by the time you get down mm -hmm. from that tree, you are freaking Hercules. Try that sometime. Wow. Yeah. Problem solving too, trying to get up a tree. Well, well, look, I'm not I'm talking about trees with branches, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. To figure out the right ones to go on. Chris yeah. Topher wants a Anna looks fat in that outfit goal. Oh god. Sam tells Anna she look no, no, I never who who said that? Sam nah. tells Anna she looks fat in that outfit S <laughs> 30k from a Marie. Goal. All right, so to Patrick T says 30,000 for the Marie Antoinette tier. He's been this man has been uh campaigning for months for Anna to do a uh, a month dressed as Marie Antoinette, which is basically a feather fan, uh, a fan just covering her. You're muted, lower, yeah. lower part of her body. So, Anna, will you do will Marie you Antoinette? Your time? No, do... I already said no. Absolutely not. If Sam gets to 30, maybe Anna could do the Marie Antoinette tier. If Sam okay, gets thing. to 30K, I'll let Cecil punch me in the face. I'd rather God do damn. I don't want to punch in. Let's make well. it happen. Wait, does that have to happen tonight? 30K tonight? Is that what you're saying? Or no, just at, at any point? Whenever. Excellent. That's it. It's in the record. <laughs> All I right. have to be allowed to wear a mouth guard because I, I have a couple of reasons to punch you pretty hard in the head. Now I have a. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Darren, I like what Darren said. Darren Bennett. Uh, Sam J. Jones, Flash Gordon, with Queen Music, uh, amazing movie for me. My dad is 79. I'm 56. The movie brought us closer as father and son. My dad said Sam J. Jones was the best Flash Gordon. Thank you. Wow. Um, wow. Incredible. Google, bring up the campaign. Uh, is on your click on my screen. Let's check and do a little refresh. So we're at 12,355 with 127 backers. Let me do a little refresh. Hey, oh, oh, yeah. wow. wow. 12,765 yeah. with 132 backers. We are very close to 13,000, everyone. Wow, and I'm, and I'm gonna roll out of here in eight minutes. All right, let, oh, yeah. let me try to get all the questions for you. Uh, yeah, Drunky McAsshole says, this episode has been a delight and a triumph. Bra bravo, everyone. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. That wasn't uh, a question for him, Cecil. Well, I'm, I'm trying. I, listen, it was still a compliment for him. Uh, Chris, Chris Phoenix says, I don't know who I love more, Cecil or Sam. Go with Sam. It's probably the best Yeah, go with Sam. <laughs> Mm. Jeg's Dino God says, I bet we could get enough CG talent to make a comic and animated movie with a queen style OST. I got the instruments right here. Billion dollar idea. Super. So a lot of creative people. <laughs> all right. We're all caught up. All right. Dude, Are you really? I think so. Wow. Well, okay. 
it's it's moving up there. So I might if if in what seven minutes, I've got seven minutes. So when we exceed uh, thirteen, I just might stay on for a little bit more. Why not? You know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's kind of cool. Right. So it, I, I kind of look at it like this. So we we are accumulating partners and supporters, and uh, but you call them backers. I like to call them uh, partnerships, mm -hmm. based on I guess the stories that we're that we're telling each other. Right? Isn't mm -hmm. that wonderful? Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. I got some stories for you. I got some more stories too. <laughs> let me tell you. Thirteen. Uh, okay, everyone you. takes a shot too. Oh yeah. Yay. Most you don't drink. Oh, yeah. uh, well, I got a question for you, Sam. Have you ever met George Lucas? No, I have not. But you, you, you know the history with him and Flash Gordon, right? I do. That's why I was asking. Yeah, I, I have my theory. Uh, for those that don't know, you know George Lucas. Before Star Wars, he wanted to make the movie Flash Gordon. So when he went to um, acquire the screenplay rights, King Features said no to him. They turned him down. So I have my theory. You know, Dino De Laurentiis being Italian and him, I, I read his history before, well, after I, I met him. I remember, I think when he was 13 years old, he grew up in a little teeny community a little village in Italy, and he saw uh, an Alex Raymond comic strip. And he, as a little boy, he said, I'm going to grow, when I grow up, I'm going to make that movie, that Flash Gordon comic strip into a movie. So I think this is my theory. Then he got older. He started doing movies and had not, had not acquired or done Flash Gordon yet. But he did have some good Italian connections. So I think he went to King Features. This is my theory. I believe he went to King Features and he told King Features, who owns the rights, the Flash Gordon. He said, look, I'm going to do this movie. I've been wanting to do it my whole life. I'm not ready to buy it now. But if anybody ever comes to you and asks to uh, buy the screenplay rights, you tell them no. It uh -huh. would be in your best interest to tell them no until I come back to you with the money and I will buy those screenplay rights. Wow. Anyway, that is my theory. theory. Yeah. Uh, so he, he George, George Lucas, Lucas was turned down. Uh, he, he, he went to make Star Wars and then shortly thereafter, Dino De Laurentiis bought the screenplay rights and he made Flash Gordon. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm sure George isn't thrilled about that, but it's a great well, story. No, no, well, it worked work. out for George, though. It I did mean. work out for It's like one of those things, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, everything, he, he he took a lot. I mean, George Lucas took a lot from everything. He took. Oh, he loved all those cereals, like the, especially the the Buster Crab uh, cereals and the uh, of, of Flash Gordon, and, uh, he, and he took from John Carter and... Just mm -hmm. all of those like serials yeah. from the you know, 30s, 40s, and 50s, and actually yeah. even before that, some of those. But uh, he loved he loved all that stuff. So it was it was huge influence on on Star Wars. But yeah, so Flash Gordon was the competitor basically to Buck Rogers in the in the newspapers, right? In the comic strip. Yeah. Um, Flash Gordon came out in a comic strip Alex Raymond created January 1934. Eight months prior, Buck Rogers, seven months, eight months prior to that, Buck Rogers was created. Um, and both of them, which is quite remarkable, Buster Crabb, as you know, played the original Buck Rogers, the original Flash Gordon, and one of the 18 Tarzans. He also <laughs> played Captain Gallant of the French Foreign Legion, and he also... Um, was an Olympic swimmer, a gold medalist. Yeah, he won a gold medal. Yeah. So, uh, see, so pull up the campaign. Let me refresh it. Yeah, let's see what we're doing now because I'm supposed to leave in three minutes. But no, I'm getting my, my shot ready. ready. Well, I just we might have... stay on. I just might <laughs> stay on. Let's 12, see here. Thousand seven hundred and sixty-five with a hundred and thirty-two backers. Let me do a little refresh. Hey, oh, we made it. Whoa. 
thirteen thousand and sixty five dollars with one hundred thirty eight bags. All right, I gotta go grab something to drink. But congratulations! Well, to, I just might stay on a little bit more to see maybe these cool stories, right? <laughs> these cool stories, uh, yeah. Did yeah, you ever meet David Prowse? I met him briefly in England. Well, he passed away. Was it a year ago or two no. years ago? Fairly recently. I, I met in the you know in the day when he was a weightlifter yes. as a trainer. Yeah, because he trained Christopher Reeve. I, I imagine he would have been you know somebody who maybe you would have run into, uh, uh, you know, somebody who was into physical fitness during that time period. Yeah, no, he was he was huge. And then my buddy Spencer Wilding was a European kickboxer, and he's yeah he's um, yeah he's also played uh, Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. And then I was just with, oh, my God, was it Tommy O'Connell, stuntman actor? Oh, he's going to – Tommy Connell. Ethan, you, you can look that up. Who's the five guys playing Darth Vader? The three to five guys playing Darth Vader. <laughs> it's Spencer Wilding, my buddy, six foot eight, former oh, kickboxer. He's done a lot of, a lot of movies. Uh, it's Tom – I want to say Tommy Connell. A great guy. Just met him in Minneapolis. That's the and then right – who else? You know, they're the guys in the suits. Uh, I, I mean, the only one I know of is David Prowse. That's the island of David Prowse, too. Yeah, but, yeah, but he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's. Going well, I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. David Prowse was, I think, was he in Clockwork Orange? Was he the, the bodyguard in, in, of the, the caretaker? <laughs> but I, I did mean, a movie. I did a movie with uh, Malcolm McDowell. Which and movie it, is that? And it took place in a a saint. What do you call it? A saint asylum. Yeah, it was called Psychotic. It was seriously. It was. It was. Who was the girl in Sex in the City? Kim. Kim. What? Cattrall. Cattrall. Who? Kim, yeah, Cattrall. Kim Cattrall, Malcolm McDowell, and myself. That was a lot of fun. It was another indie movie, but we actually filmed in an abandoned hospital in the abandoned ward where the where they kept the you know the people with mental issues in there and uh, it was quite um challenging yeah what year was that uh 1935 i'm sorry oh. <laughs> I got some problems i got some problems it was 19 uh I don't know. He, he knows it. He's just looking. Look, Ethan. He's on it already. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, look. All of these. Uh, all of these Probably movies. 90, are great. Tom O'Connell, by the way. Tom O'Connell. Who? Tom O'Connell. Tom O'Connell. Yeah, just yeah. Wait, great guy. Sorry, Tom. I. I he, he was a stunt name. performer. So whenever he, there would be a yeah, all these stunt. guys that are doing the action and the stunt performances in these suits, um, and of course they're they're speaking as well. I'm sure. Unsung but, uh, heroes, yeah. yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh let's see. Hold on. I got a super chat here. Justin I says, I'm so glad to back Mr. Jones's book. Mr. Jones, when you do hit Cecil, could you please make it a Vaseline mm. power punch? Mm. Mm. So mm. okay, so explain that. So I guess I put Vaseline on my fist. You don't please, no. <laughs> I, I think I that means yeah. you go to that means it's well, you know, fighters put Vaseline on their face so that it doesn't connect. I think he's yeah. looking out for my yeah, head. yeah. I think that's where he's going. See, so you better shave because if I punch you with the beard, it's going to stick even more. <laughs> I want you to knock the whole beard off my head. I want you to have a I want you to have a full beard before you punch me and then be yeah. bald. bald I, I just want to do a, a survey or whatever you call it. How many people on the East Coast? I know Cecil Rob's on the East Coast. Cecil mm -hmm. is. Who else is on the East Coast? I'm in Jersey. Michigan. Okay. Yeah. He's Michigan. gonna help me collect my teeth afterwards. And and I'm oh Cecil's in New York. Rob, you're in New Jersey. So that means it's it's it 12 30 there. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah. God bless you guys. <laughs> Anything, Anything for the art. Anything for the art, right? All the time. This is early for us. Uh yeah. Two hundred watt studio says any or Nelia Muti is it Muti or Muddy? Muti, Muti, stories. I mean, she wait. Hold on now. Somebody what said is, that oh, she yes, was on. I the, yeah, I 
I'm sorry, go ahead. I do. Someone have a, said that she was uh, considered so beautiful in Italy. She's the only person they put on the lira, like as a uh, a picture of her on the actual currency because she I don't was know. considered. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you I know, but I mean, we were looking at pictures of her before you came on. I mean, absolutely, like a just ridiculous, ridiculously stunning individual. Uh, here she is as a young woman on the right here. Well, I think he knows he was in the movie with her. I know, but I'm just <laughs> letting people not like. So, yeah, somebody sent a super chat saying she, they actually put her on the currency uh, because the uh, country like. Uh, well, they should. They should put her on the currency. Yeah, she's yeah. way better looking than George Washington. Let's get him off there. Get her off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for that. <laughs> you she's ever speaks, that? She's she speaks multiple dog. languages, yeah. So an Ornella Muti story, I got a really cool one for you. Now, uh, Anna, you talk about being, uh, I think we talked about this before, uh, scantily, what's the term, Ethan? Scantily cladded. Scantily clad. Scantily clad <laughs> yes. dress. I mean, you see that costume. But so we had to do the mental telepathy scene. I don't know, maybe I shared, did I share this story with you? You, you can share it again. They haven't heard it. They haven't heard it. So. Yeah, I, I just didn't get it. It's one of the, you know, the, the director said, look, we're we're pressed for time. We don't have a, I know I'm supposed to give you a lot more time to shoot this scene, but I got to do it quick. And uh, it's where, you know, uh, anyway, I said, well, what do you want to do? He goes, well, um, and this was very difficult for me. Um, he said, I'm going to have to put Ornella on your lap. And then when you start to do the mental telepathy, Okay, remember, we only got a few minutes to shoot it, so get it done, get it done in one take. So when she, when she sat on my lap with that tight red suit on and we shot the scene, I turned to the director. I said, you know, I, I, I'm just not getting it. I'm just not <laughs> feeling it. I need another take. Let me tell you something. I milked that puppy for four hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that scene for four hours. Okay. Wow. No words. Yeah, it was incredible. Okay. But again, Did she was in your first take. She was with her husband. He wasn't on set. I was with my girlfriend. She wasn't on set because, like I said, I milked that scene, meaning I extended the scene from a few minutes to four hours. So we should have been wrapped at, at seven o'clock at night. I think we got wrapped in like 11.30 at night, okay? Everybody was gone except the film crew and us. It was Bring great. this up, Cecil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the scene where uh, he's uh, doing a telepathy call to uh, to sure. Dale, and uh, <laughs> she starts riding on top of him. He goes, this chick is really turning me on. She's like, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you going to play it? No, no, a, no, just just a picture. A still, but yeah, it's a good it's a good scene. Anybody who uh, uh, gets a chance, you could you could uh, you can rent it on uh, you know Amazon Prime and stuff. And I can pull it up. I'll find a I'll find the uh, scene. Oh, there it is. Hour three into it. Yeah, yeah. This is, this the is, wow, incredible. you got the timestamp there, Joe. <laughs> 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 I watched all the footage. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's it's like like I said when I was a kid, I I, I didn't catch all like this. I didn't catch. Uh, I knew she was gorgeous, but I didn't catch all like the sexual, you know, of like her telling, uh, her, basically telling her father, you know, don't kill him. I want to fuck. I want to screw him. Sorry, she didn't say that. <laughs> but like basically, like she that said, went way over my head that she's like, no, 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 no said, don't kill him. She said, don't kill him, father. I want him. Right, right. I was like, what All right, is, Cecil. What does she want him for? I don't understand. <laughs> Bring this up. There we go. It's a thought amplifier. I'm going to think to Baron and tell him to expect us. You're kidding. Think to him? Of course. Don't you have telepathy on Earth? Hey, could I call Dale on this? If I showed you how, but I'm not going to. Please, uh, tease. show me how to tune into Dale. <laughs> you have to persuade me much better than that. Why 
What are you doing? Are you mad? Let me go. We are diving into Phrygia. Pull her up. Just tune me into Dale. Well, uh, let me just pause it for commentary. See, here's something I I didn't like as a kid is just how everything was so fantastical. Like that's not the way planets look, but this was all <laughs> this was all written in 1934. There was no space program. There was a like the whole idea of space travel. I and mean, then I know they they like borrowed a lot from like uh, you know, trip to the moon. What's that guy's name? Uh, George. Uh, uh, I can't think of the actor, uh, the uh, director. Right. Um, Some of the guys who yeah, it's a French uh, a director, famous from 1902. But um, that whole like aesthetic, and they kept it in a modern time when when there was like Star Wars was a few years before this. But they kept that like old time aesthetic, which now as like an adult, when I watch this movie, I absolutely love that he's, you know, just how zany everything was. And it's a really cool looking movie. Mm -hmm. All right, right back to it. Jump ahead a little bit. Don't use your mouth. Use your brain. Can we film that again? <laughs> Just concentrate hard and think to me. It's telepathy. Over. Over. Can this be real? I saw you executed. I was saved. I'm still alive. Oh, thank God. Can we do that again? In a rock. Cut. I'm not feeling it. Are you okay? Over. Over. I'm locked in Ming's bed. Fake him out. How? Girls know how, Dale. It's been done to me. Take him out until I get back. Over. <laughs> it's too dangerous for you here. You can't come back. Stay where you're safe. Oh my God, this girl's really turning me on. <laughs> <laughs> Forget I thought it. It wasn't about you. Over. What? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the worst where? thing you Someone's can tell a girl. I've got to stop thinking to each other. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's a great scene. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you could show that you you, you you took your time with it, and I'm glad you took the four hours on that one. I would have dragged that to four days, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beautiful. Absolute perfection. Mm -hmm. Well done. You got to take your time on scenes like that to make sure that you get them right, after yeah. all. Yeah. Uh, yes. Patrick, she says, wouldn't it be cool if George bought Flash Gordon now? Star Wars is hot garbage nowadays. Oh, that'd be crazy. Yeah, if you didn't oh, yeah, wow. buy the property, yeah. remake, redo it. Wow. But you said, I saw you mentioned somebody does have it and has something in... in uh... yeah, oh, you... It's yeah, been a, Cecil, it's been a wild ride about the sequel the past 35 plus years. It's been a wild ride. Uh, long story short, um, most people, when they say they have a project in development, it usually means they don't have the financing yet. But the crazy thing about Flash Gordon, all these people came on board the past 35 years. They they bought the screenplay rights. Every single one was proven uh, in the business, whether it was uh, um, Stephen Summers who did Van Helsing, whether it was uh, Neil Moritz who did The Fast and Furious, whether it was Fox Studios. Uh, uh, and then recently, of course, well, a year and a half ago plus, Disney bought Fox and they hired, uh, they brought in, uh, they brought in Watiti who directed Thor to take over to do the next Flash Gordon. So Watiti has been developing the next Flash Gordon now for about a year and hopefully it happens. You know, we're, I'd lo love to see it happen. Yeah. That'd be that'd, great. That'd, we hope you get a cameo. <laughs> well, yeah. Or yeah. Wait, would you if they asked you to come back into the movie and play like Ming? Would you do it? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm. Pro you know what? I probably would, but I, I would rather get the first shot uh, at Flash Gordon. Meaning, look, I got it. You got to have the the young, yeah. good looking guy, good looking girl, the stars. I got that. Then you got the older guy. So when Fox called me and we talked about it, you know, before they started a script, we we talked about. Me as Flash Gordon, the dad. My son comes in as the new. Oh, friend. yeah. 
Well, however they, however they want to do it. Um, but yes, I, I do would love to be, I would love to be a part of it. But if you ask certain people, for instance, if you ask Brian Blessed, who played uh, Voltan, you know, he's, he's an incredible human being. He's 80, I think he's 86 now. I was just with him in England. But if you ask him about a, a reboot or a sequel, he would tell you, no, leave it alone. Mm -hmm. And there's people who feel that way. Um, I don't. I, I, I like to see. I, I, but what I want to see, of course, bring in whoever the new creator is. Give it your signature. But don't be so freaking creative just for creative sake. You know, and, and, and please work hard at being uh, loyal to the inherent characteristics of the character. Yes. And not so yeah. crazy, dark out there. Flash Gordon, he's just a guy. He's just a man. He doesn't have superpowers. What that, happened to him? What, what, yeah. what do you think? Let's get creative for a minute. So you're, let's just say Flash Gordon is your age now. What, yes. Where is he? What happened to him? Did he ever he, make it back to Earth, or is no, he still there? Do it well for the story. I haven't thought about that, but I just tell you if you're referencing the book. I mean, the similarities between Sam J. Jones and Flash Gordon—it's uncanny. There really isn't much of a difference. Okay, uh, I, I am who I am. You know, I'm I'm the Marine. Flash Gordon is who he is. Uh, Rob wrote this book. Uh, Sam J. Jones saves the galaxy because it's it's what I do in life right now. Uh, you know, it, it, when the movie business is slow, I run security operations around the world. What does that mean, Sam? Here's what it means. It means I protect people from bad people, usually in high risk environments, whether it be bad places in southern Mindanao, whether it be other places that are controversial in Mexico. Now I'm transitioning. I'm more domestic in America right now. <laughs> So I do this anyway. And even before running security operations, I'm a Marine. So even before being a Flash Gordon, I'm a Marine. So what would the highest rank in, what's the highest rank in the Marine Corps? General? Well, yeah, you, you could be a general. General, general you Gordon. But you come Flash out. Gordon is now a, a, a first sergeant as well. But yeah, but I, I, I left early because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to play, I wanted to play professional football. But, but the cool thing would, Robert's covered, Rob Archie's covered in this book. He's just a guy. He goes through what we're all going through. COVID, post-COVID, you know, uh, everything we're going through, all the challenges and adversity, they, they don't need a superhero with superpowers. They say, my God, but my golly, if Sam J. Jones is going through the same thing we are, and he's just a man, and he has to depend only on a little bit of wit, <laughs> the wisdom and a little and, and a little bit of athleticism. And by golly, if he can do this and have success, being as vulnerable as he is, if he can do it, then I can do it as well. And that's one of the themes and the messages that Rob has written and put together in, in this comic book. Uh, but again, it's it's and that's what I want to see in the movie as well. It's uh, uh but yes, be creative, but just, just don't do it. Don't, just, yeah. Uh, you know, I know you're saying, you know, it's the, a lot of times these guys come in, they take a look at a property and it's been around for 60, 70, 80, 90 years. And they go, you know what? I need to fix this. And it's like, no, it wouldn't be around for 90 years if it needed fixing. It was fine. That's why it's yeah. still around. Yeah. And they come in and they got their yeah. ideas to fix what was wrong with something that has lasted generations because yeah. of their hubris or their, yeah. you know, just absolute uh, ego. And yeah. they come in and they destroy something and it's been done time and time again. But if you just stick to what it is, it's, there's a reason these things stu stood this test of time is because they were good to begin with. Just take yeah. the source material, base it on that and go. Yeah. Stop yep. trying to fix something that's not broken. Yeah. Yep. You don't throw your lightsaber over your shoulder and, right. you know, give exactly. up. Exactly. No, I'm just asking, like, what what you think Flash Gordon would have done? Like, in in imagine imagine use your imagination. Like, what what would Flash Gordon have done? Where would he be? You know, at the age of uh, 68, 
he would be um, doing the exact same thing. He'd be doing what, what what this book is, Sam J. Jones Saves the Galaxy, what, what Rob has written, what he's created. It, that's just one episode. That's one adventure. He'd be doing multiple adventures. When he sees that innocence is being attacked and abused, he's not going to call a freaking board meeting or a group of advisors to get their mm -hmm. the, their nonsensical, uh, no common sense, no practical thinking opinion. He's going to neutralize the threat and uh, put evil, serve justice to evil right where it needs to go. And that's it's it's simple thinking. Why have we lost? Why have we lost common sense, practical thinking? I'll tell you why. You want to know why we've lost it? There's a fear factor here. The fear base is, oh, I got to please them. I have to please them. I have to. No, you don't. Just do it where everybody can relate to the, the character. You don't have to please all these certain groups. Be loyal. Again, be loyal to the inherent characteristics of that character and keep it real, and and people want to be transported to 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 an to this adventurous ride. They want to see vulnerability. Oh my God, is he going to die? Look at this, a bad guy. Can he do it? He's just a man. He has no power, so he could die right now. Keep him on the edge of the of the seat, and maybe he does die. You know, but maybe he comes back. Who knows? But I would be uh, Ethan. I'd be doing the same the same thing that uh, uh, Rob. Uh, is uh, written here that we collaborated on. Sam J. Jones saves the galaxy. I mean, this is one big adventure out of many adventures. We can keep doing this no matter what age. And what's crazy about the security industry? They want older, mature men. Why? Because they're not so freaking trigger happy on, with their weapon. Okay. They, <laughs> we. I use a lot of humor to diffuse a very bad situation when somebody wants to say or do something. To the to, to the person that I'm protecting, I use a lot of humor and and a lot of this, and not so much the brawn. So that's why they like to use mature seasoned men. It's the same thing in real life. Uh, we have to. Uh, so the older I get, I guess I can work a lot more. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. But we got to keep it simple, all of us. And that's it's so inspiring that again I'm going to sound redundant. But yeah. when they see that you can do it, each of you and I can do it, and we don't we don't have to wait for the guy who runs fast or the guy who can fly high or the guy who has the incredible strength of one thousand men. Uh, they don't need that. They just need uh, a, a real deal person who understands the human condition. The only other extra dynamics would be when you throw aliens into it. <laughs> Now you need to understand the alien condition. Okay. <laughs> no. uh, Mark Greenwell says, wait, uh, Sam, why did Dino dub your voice over for Flash? Oh, no, it's a great question. It's brought up quite a bit. I did not go back for looping or dubbing. Uh, yeah, we were bumping heads uh, a, a few times, but primarily I, I got another a gig. I got another project. I think it was a team because I came back. Christmas of 79, and then I went right into, I was supposed to go back for looping and dubbing, but I didn't. Uh, we usually have to do that. On every movie, you have to go back into the ADR um, uh, looping stage and fix all the mistakes. So, you know, Dino would do what any uh, producer would do, just hire another actor. I think he, I think he did an okay job. I, I think, and not that I had or have a James Earl Jones type speaking voice. But I think he used an actor that probably his octave range was maybe a little bit too high for my original voice then. That's the only thing that I didn't agree with. But you know what? It, it is what it is. And and you move on, you know? Well, you know, I, I've seen some of your movies back in the 80s. I, I just watched one the other day. It was uh, Jane and the Lost City. Oh, I love and that. Yeah. You were... You were awesome in that, and uh, and you that was your voice. I mean that it was it was ridiculous the Flash Gordon thing. I don't know why they did that, but but your voice is great. And uh, I I did have a question about that. Did did you film that all over in Africa, or did, were you in we're, California? If you ever get a chance, go to this island called Mauritius. 
it's if you if you uh, let me see the map. So if you're going South Africa, now go go east to the Indian Ocean, Madagascar. Now continue going east out in the middle of the Indian Ocean and go a little bit north, and you're going. That's uh, one of the islands is the Seychelles, where they filmed Tarzan. And this other island is called Mauritius, and that's where we filmed it. The whole thing, I think, uh, seven or eight weeks. And what's that's unique? Cool. Yeah, what's unique about this island? Uh, there's, uh, I think, it's 50 miles around. Uh, there's a superstition about the water. So the natives, I think there's a million natives, they don't go near the water. Okay. Mm. So you and I, with our feathers and our Marie Antoinette outfits, okay. we can walk the beach. <laughs> Listen to me. We can walk the beach. I'm not making this up. We can walk, the beach. You can walk the beach with this man, will you? Five not only Marie Antoinette. Oh my yes. God. Is that what it was? The thing I said? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I told you. Anyway. So we can walk the beach for miles and not see another human being. Yeah. It's I mean, like just Do they think they're sharks or like, what is it? I don't know. You're like, I just, like, I go out in the water and I, you know, the, really the beach is the beach, the sand. Now you get in the water. Okay. Well, you know, I, I don't, I don't go swimming. Oh, let me go for a swim. No. And let me tell you something. If I see a shark in my kitchen, I'm going to kill it and eat it, okay? If a shark you sees me in his kitchen, right he has every right to freaking kill me and eat me, okay? I mean, mm. come on, give me a freaking break. Well, he attacked you because, you know, there was something about the tide. No, he freaking attacked me because I'm freaking good eating, okay? <laughs> come on. <laughs> see, now that's my biggest fear, though, is sharks. Like, I saw Jaws when I was way too little. And I'm like, hell no. But I, I like swimming, so it's like a, a double-edged sword. But uh, Cecil, let's pull up the campaign and do a refresh. Yeah, this is actually one of the earliest conversations I had with Anna when I realized she was insane. It was that she doesn't let her arm hang off the couch when she sleeps because she thinks a shark will attack her. This is in her house. Well, well maybe not a shark, but probably <laughs> some predator could get in and crawl. I was, like, That's kind of yeah. scary. I was like, I was like, wait, you mean like in your living room? She's like, yeah, I just think if I have my arm hanging off, a shark can get me. I'm like, you're I'm just paranoid. Well, no, it's like getting in the pool. Like the second I get in, I just hear the Jaws theme song and I start freaking out. So it's like, I can't go into a pool by myself. I have to have people, but it's made me a very fast swimmer. So oh TZ Burton me? says, just bought your book, Sam. Can't wait to read it. Excellent. Patrick T, who is lobbying for the Marie Antoinette costume, says, "Did Sam ever meet Joe Namath?" Yeah, I love that they made um, they made it for for the movie. They made him the uh, New York Jets quarterback. <laughs> uh, he was a polo player in the original series. That's right. That was quarterback. I took over for Joe, Joe Namath on the trading card. I have the trading card where I took over for Joe Namath and I, I beat his record. Did you ever meet him? The actual Joe Namath. I did not meet, but we did film. Remember the, the People magazine that, yes. that we actually used in the movie? Well, we had a photo shoot with the New York Jets, believe it or not, at their stadium. And I went there. Um, I think, I, yeah, I went there. Uh, and it was, what well, it was 1979. And, and that was Shea Stadium at 79. Yeah. So they said, why did you use the, the, the New York Jets? I said, because in 1979, they had some controversial people like Gastonel. That's when they started using linemen for the first time that were celebrities. You remember, it was yeah. always the quarterback. The, I think Todd, uh, Todd, what's his name, was the quarterback? But yeah, yeah. Lyons, yeah. Jeffrey Lyons, not Jeffrey Lyons, something Lyons. I can't remember. Marty Lyons. Yes. They were big dudes. The linemen became the stars of the Jets. That was in, they were called the New York. They were called the New York Sack Exchange. That oh, that's they, right. And, anyway, uh, we, we did a great photo shoot, um, and and that's why they yeah that's that's why we use the uh, New York Jets. Right, one more question, and we'll go to the campaign. Sam, any stories about director Mike Hodges? Yeah, Mike was great. He's passed away. God bless him. He was wonderful. You have to you have to put yourself in in uh, the director's shoes, the the director of Flash Gordon, Mike Hodges, and here's. Just imagine this. Get a visual of this. Whatever industry you're in, whatever you do, you've spent a year 
prepping this project, whatever it is, a house, a movie. You spent a year in pre-production, in planning, in development, and all of a sudden you have a fight with the producer and you leave. That was Nicholas Rogue, the first director, okay? You leave three weeks before the project is to commence starting, filming. In walks, uh, Dino hires Michael Hodges to step in to this, uh, this project that another director has spent almost a year developing. Um, so, and, and let me give you an idea of the budget. And then we're going to do inflation math. I want to give you a figure right now. You got to go, big deal. So the budget on Flash Gordon was between 30 and 35 million. You say big deal, Sam. Well, it is a big freaking deal. If you just let me finish, okay. <laughs> it's If you do the inflation math right now, you're talking about a $230, $240 million film right now. So here's this director, Mike Hodges, getting ready to film in a couple of weeks. And he steps into this mega, mega production. And he did an incredible job. He really did. He just, uh, and when I got to see him for the first time in all those years, we met up in London at the 35th anniversary at, at BAFTA. That's a theater and a fancy name that they use in England. Okay, the British Academy Awards, uh, British, B -M, British Film Academy. Anyway, sorry, I, I should know that. And I and uh, no, I, England and the UK has been so good to me. I mean, it's it's been huge for me. And if it wasn't for uh, for them and what I did there, I wouldn't be on your podcast uh, uh, right now. And so, um, and I, I always wanted to, you know. So thirty five years later, here I'm meeting with Mike Hodges, the director, and I always thought there was not contention between he and I, but Dino and I had bumped heads. And I always thought because Flash Gordon, uh, did, to be quite candid, it was a major success in every country except America. It only became successful when it went to um, VHS. It became top 10 of all time in VHS. And then, of course, over the years, um, it did better on TV and all that. So I always thought, is there something I did? Is there something? So this was the opportunity 35 years later to, um, to talk to Mike. And when I was alone with Mike uh, in, the, in the room, uh, I said, Mike, I just, I got to ask you this. I said, 35 years later, I mean, you know, all I was focused on was just, you know, getting on my mark and just delivering what you asked me to do. I wasn't thinking about anybody, anything else. I said, was there something that I did wrong on why we didn't have great success in America? You know what his answer was? He said, Sam, he said, no, you didn't do anything wrong. He says, you have to understand when I showed up on the set every day for five months and Dino showed up, he and I were bumping heads so much so that we had a script, but we, we, were, we ended up just kind of putting the script over here and saying, what do you want to shoot? I don't know. Let's improvise something. We have an outline to follow. Let's just do it. He said, Sam, to tell you the truth, I didn't know what the hell I was doing either. I said, well, Michael, considering that I really didn't know what I was doing except what I was told to do, and you didn't know what the hell you were doing because you just showed up three weeks earlier, I think we created something very very memorable and very successful. It's funny how that happens sometimes, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a lot of improvisation as well. Uh, flash fights for the users, every one of us U.S. programs. What does that flash mean? Flash fights for the users, every one of us. U.S. For every uh, one of uh, yeah, what is U.S. That? programs. I'm so confused. Okay, yeah, well, I, I, well, users of what? Users of the podcast? You mean okay. viewers? Uh, based on that, I would say user of LSD. <laughs> I'll go with David L. Thanks for doing Flash Gordon, Mr. Jones. I bought on all media from UHS to Blu ray. It was one of my favorite films in childhood to the present day. Thank you for doing the film. Seen it about 500 times. Come on, wow. And then, of course, talking about Michael Hodges, the director, he, as you know, uh, David, he remastered it now 
on, you know, before he passed away, he, re he re remastered it over to 4K. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I uh, should probably add some of the, you know, Anna, I was just thinking, guys, see some, you know, you talk about um, adding to what we're doing. You know, I always, you know, think big in the tears. But, you know, I did this um, on one of the shows where, because, you know, I have an extensive Flash Gordon collection. I mean, I have I have $500 action figures that are, you know, that Big Chief Studios did out of uh, out of the U.K., and this is something I could probably include in in the tier five one, the all commander uh, exclusive, and and then and then there's I have a anyway this is something we could talk about. I have all I have an ex, I have over one thousand items in my Flash Gordon collection. A lot of comic books, a lot of action figures, a lot of Funko Pops, many many <laughs> Funko Pops. So I can add some of these uh, for some of the special tier things. What do you think, guys? I like to hear your feedback on that. The more the more you throw in, the more people love every little yeah. thing. So yeah, you know. <clears throat> we're definitely doing this stretch goals. I'm going to add those this week. We're going to do the vintage Flash Gordon greeting card and also the like the card that looks like trading, a trading cards are 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 pretty trading inexpensive. Cards are probably better. Trading okay. cards are inexpensive and people love them. Like, like I. Alexa. I personally like them. I'm 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 a backer of a lot of campaigns. I like I keep all the trading cards. They're just fun. They're like good collectibles, and you're gonna get people who just are interested in this campaign. Plus, you're gonna get people that are huge Flash Gordon collectors of anything Flash Gordon, and they'll yeah. want. They'll and they're want gonna that want card. those. Yeah. So okay. yeah, we're gonna add those this week. It's gonna be great. Yeah. We're on it. All right, let's take a look. Uh, Annie, you want to do a refresh? Yes, of course. So we're at $13,065 with 138 backers. Let me do a refresh. Hey, Ooh, look at that. We're at 13415 with 140 backers. Congratulations, guys. So cool. I have never been knocked out unconscious in New Jersey, ever. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> do do well, me a favor. Scroll down to the Tier 5 one. To see if anybody came on. Well, we forgot to look at that the past, the past. Uh, Not yet. Okay, yeah. I yeah. See, I would like to add one of my very exclusive action figures. That again, that uh, if someone signs up for this, if you go to um, eBay and look at this, uh, there's a Big Chief Studios Flash. It's the 40th anniversary limited edition that. Big Chief Studios did. It's really remarkable. It's, nice, it's, yeah. it's a 12 inch fully articulated action figure. And um, they started selling these things for 250 pounds. And now they're at $500 on eBay. Uh, some with wow. my signature, some, some without my signature. So yeah, I'm, I'm willing to throw that in. I'm not going to throw it. I hate that. Why did I say it? <laughs> I'm going to throw that in. Nobody throws it in anywhere. They they include it. I'm going to include this incredible. And if we can bring that up, is Ethan yeah, still is with it? us? Yeah. It, this is yeah. just sideshow. It's not available on sideshow anymore. It's sold yeah. out. Yeah, but 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 look at this guy. And there's two versions. He is uh, is he a uh, savior of the universe? And the other one is called King of the Impossible. Which one is he? I got uh, both. Picked up. Okay, he is savior of the universe, and king of the impossible has the other outfit on. And um, if you go to eBay on some of these, that they're five hundred dollars. And I'm willing to, uh, and I have obviously a few of these. That was the deal that I made with Big Chief Studios, and I'm I'm going to include that if somebody signs up for the Thanks. tier. And wow. already, wait a minute, we already did that with. Is it Ble 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 Blevins? Blevins? Joe? I, f I forget his name. Uh, I'll have to look at Ble Blevins. He was he was on the cast. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. Let me pull I am, this up. Sure. So, you're going to add this to. Yeah. He, it's, yeah. It's either this is King of the Impossible That's with the deal, Flash man. shirt, and the other one. And remember now, these are fully, they're, they're 12 inches fully articulated and they come with an incredible box, an incredible, uh, I want to say diagram, but a background 
and it comes with a name, a special yeah, like a thing. diorama. Type. Yeah, but, but I think it's yeah, yeah. But it's just classy, and even the packaging is off the charts. I've never seen an action figure when you open the box to protect the box. Each corner has a hard plastic corner insert to keep the corners of the boxes from being smashed. I've never seen that before. All right. So, so that, and that everything Ranger commander, $1,200 tier, not only will you get to spend a couple hours with uh, Sam and his friends, he's also going to throw in one of these 12 inch figures, which is uh, sure, yeah, pretty amazing. Wow. That's that, that <laughs> is, that is awesome. Yeah. Well, I got a question for you. So there's this like con that we've all been trying to do with uh, everyone in the chat. We're calling it for the fans fest. If we do, you know, get that together, because it's a lot hosting your own con, would you be willing to come? Well, yeah. Oh, you mean doing it at an actual? Uh, yeah, a like we would host a con, like all of us that do this YouTube and everyone in the chat that's come out and, you know, bought your comic, like they would all come to. Yes. We've been planning this for a few years now. Okay, it's going to so, be in Orlando, I think, in March. Okay. We, we don't so know my, answer, my answer is yes, but also I'm, I'm probably preaching to the choir here. But are, are you also – because we all do panels and mm -hmm. Q&As at the cons. You're talking about incorporating the panel with your podcast, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Because that's when you get the actor or the celebrity – um, you know, uh, alone, not alone, but in a more, um, you know, a, a more soundproof or uh, uh, environment, you know, better, I guess it would be help. It would, it would be better for your podcast. Yes. And then Sam, course, Ethan and John you have all people. the fans in the audience. Yes, yeah. exactly. Sam, wait, it's, it's savior of the universe and what of the impossible? King, king of the, the impossible. King of the he, impossible. Did, he is the king of the impossible. He just made Anna come up with a good idea. That oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I thought she had that idea. No, <laughs> king of the impossible. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> hey, Cecil, uh, uh, Mr. Jones, and, and by the way, uh, you got, you fellas, thank you so much for this. I gotta go. I, I watched the Phillies whip John's Tigers uh, tonight. I went to. Uh, uh, to watch a baseball game. I drank way too much. And you had your dad in town, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so tired. I got to go to bed. I had such a good time, and I think everybody in the chat did too. Um, Sam J. Jones, what an honor and a pleasure to get to speak with you, my friend. I, uh, I'd be thrilled to, to, to have you at that convention. That'd be fantastic and a great idea. Yeah. Let's do it, man. Let's do it, Ethan. All right? Thank you. All right, guys. All right. Have a great night. Take care. Thanks, Thanks Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. Thank you. It's funny how they leave. It, it, they, they, they put a they put a, a caricature or artwork of themselves up. I love it when they're not. <laughs> well, he's been drink. He's he went to a Phillies game. Day. He went to a Phillies game with his dad earlier, so he came in here, you know, drunk and tired. <laughs> like he's also on the East Coast, so you yeah. know. So he, he usually yeah. stays up late, but that I think was a long day for him because I think he took his daughter to the beach too. Is what he was saying. Yeah, he's, he's been up. So we had a long day. day. Yeah. So Joe, I just thought of another as Anna and everybody was talking. Just thought of another way instead of shipping. You know this this tier five instead of shipping this incredible limited edition 40th anniversary Flash Gordon action figure. Uh, I'll just hand deliver to them. Uh, yeah, of course, we're having yeah. our one-on-one -on -one meal. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll add that. Right, that's, good, yeah. that's the way to do it. I don't know why we didn't. Why didn't we think about that before? You can take up a picture and everything. It'll be nice. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and you can sign it, personalize yeah. it, and all, all that. Maybe yeah, I have a couple. I don't have the Flash Gordon ones, but I have some uh, Lord of the Rings and Star Wars ones. And Zorro, I think I yeah. Do I have behind me? You do have a, a big collection there, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god, that's been back there. Yeah, let me. I'll grab one. Uh, she's what like uh, psychiatrists call a hoarder. She has like ten thousand dolls uh, everywhere. You mean of Star Wars? Of everything, just just there's th what you see is. So I have a, a fraction. I got that. Where do you keep everything? On my walls, and then. But you also have. She has rubber made bins, like 
dozen of them. Uh, yeah, with I, I got a lot of stuff behind me, but you know what? It's fine. Got our win. Mm, it's not but that. Yeah, these aren't as like action packed as the the one that you have. But I was like, they never make Lord of the Rings stuff anymore. So I was like, ah, I got to get it for the anniversary. Oh my goodness! Yes. All right, Sam. You're, did you just yawn, Sam? You 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 are you are you have my, you have my blessing. You you stayed on. Listen, no, you, you know what stay an hour. You stayed no. you stayed over to. It, oh it was, look, hey, hey, Cecil, you're, you're not getting off so easy. You're going to get punched in the face. Okay? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> What's happening? Yes. No, when you yawn, people think, "Oh, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep." No. When you yawn, it means your vocal cords are relaxed and you're more relaxed. And once you start yawning, you get everybody else yawning. Oh, my God. Everybody just loved that. They're like, clip that. They're like, no, no, you're going to get punched in the face, Cecil. <laughs> so I'm going to say, I, you know what? What, what? what was that goal we're going for tonight? Whatever it is, I, I think if I keep telling stories and I stay on long enough, and what we should do is a little rehearsal, you know, I'll throw a punch. It'd be like a movie punch. And then you'll have to. Yeah. But, I want to yeah. take a real, I want to take a real punch. I, you might, your hand might shatter on this granite jaw of mine. You know, I am. A, or probably my jaw will break into a thousand pieces. Uh, who's this guy? Lord Nemesis. He says, uh, right. He's, he's giving you instructions. He's your boxing instructor. He's saying right I, in the Right in the face. All right, man. Right in the face. Do not, he is, uh, do not, not in the neck, not the side of the head, of the face. I, well, uh, Sam has already given us the sweet spot, which is the jawline between the, uh, yeah. well, the hinge the, and the chin. But if I hit the jawline, your knee, look, no matter how tough you are, your knees are going to buckle automatically and you're going to, yeah. So I There's put, no muscle you can work out. I, I got to put padding no. down on the ground or you know, we'll just have Anna or somebody stand behind you. And go, I can't catch him. He's not going to catch me. You got to have a catcher. You know, I'll stand off to the I'll side and down. laugh. She'll throw down a. She'll throw down. A, she'll empty a bag of tacks as I'm falling. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You, you know what, Cecil? You said that I don't have any great ideas. I came up with this whole scenario. Yeah, well, well yeah, I think it's at the convention, idea. we are doing a convention where all of the guys who do the comics and stuff, uh, independent creators are going to do a convention in, in March. And uh, Ethan is running it, Ethan, who just left. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that would be awesome if you came down. Love to have yeah. you hey, you're doing it, wait, you're doing it in what city? And what's the Orlando? Exact Orlando planning, in March. We don't have anything set in stone because it's a lot to plan a con, but. Pretty much everyone thinks that Orlando is the best place because the flights are cheap and easy to get to because of Disney and all, all of that. So that's what we're planning. We don't have a set date yet, but that is the general idea. And we've been planning this for years now. We just have to figure out how to make it happen. So I'm going to give you a little input here, just the same way you give me input about these tiers and the social media and everything else. Um I, I think it's a great idea. I would just do this about your due diligence when it comes to Florida, in particular, Orlando. It could be the absolute perfect city, or it could be, not based on what I'm saying, once you get the facts, it could be an oversaturated Comic-Con city as well. So mm. I would I, I would do your due diligence. And, and the way, uh, I mean, I could, I could just make a few calls. All my promoter buddies... Who oh, do really? Orlando yeah, and the true. surrounding area? I can call them and say, "Hey, what would be?" Uh, so what? So your theme is not um, your theme would be for comic books only, comic book creators only, correct? Are you bringing celebrities into? No, it, it's like you YouTubers and comic books, so like pop culture and yeah, stuff. We'll, like we'll be open to a lot of different. Bring some celebrities in, like me and whoever, right? <laughs> Yeah. Well, so like Ethan, the guy that was on, he is kind of a celebrity in the comic book world. He kind of, you know, reinvented Green Lantern. And so he drew Green Lantern for a long time. So, yeah, yeah no, I, I didn't mean I didn't mean that you guys are not celebrities in your in your field. I mean, I'm not. Are you <laughs> no, not. are you incorporating uh, the, the other the, the other uh, people? In other words, yes, yes. We're yes. reaching out. We're, we're, 
Actors, ability. wrestlers. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to get Fabio to come is what Ethan wants. Are you so great? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ethan's us? a big fan. And, wait, um, wait, he hasn't been active in 20 years, has he? We're he reactivating him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like MK Ultra. We we are activating him as an agent. The hair just yeah, shoots out. I met uh, William Shatner at a con, and so I'm trying to see if he'll come too. Yeah, yeah. So uh, now I learned a lot about comic cons. I've done 200, and I'm pushing 280. So wow. I only started doing uh, 40 a year maybe eight years ago. So whatever the math, I, I did one a year for 30 years. And then, oh, I'm sorry. I did one a year for 20 years. And then 10 years ago, nine or 10 years ago, I sat down with a couple of promoters. I said, tell me what you want and what you don't want with actors. And they all said the same thing. And we're sick and tired of attitudes. We're sick and tired of booking agents. Uh, so I also got into their head about, the whole thing, you know, venues. Now what they're dealing with is um, there's so many conventions going on. It's like when you go to plan your convention, you, the other part of your due diligence is okay. You set your date. You set your, maybe you haven't quite set, set the venue yet. You need to see what other conventions are going on in that city that same weekend. And it doesn't have to be Comic Cons. It could be the biggest college football game uh, of the whole state of Florida. It could be, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Our and, fans don't like football, though. They're well, okay, <laughs> but, but, no, but hold it. Hear me out. Like hotel, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wait, wait, no, no, no. But wait a minute. It, let's just say, that, oh, no, let's stick to what you just said. I'm going to give you an example of what happened to me in Austin, Texas. Okay. You got me, Flash Gordon. On my right was Hercules, Kevin Sorbo. On my left was Lou Frigno, the Incredible, the Incredible Hulk. That's Guess amazing. Many, wait a minute. <laughs> Guess how many? And we counted one day. Guess how many fans showed up at this convention? How many? Twenty-eight. Why? Oh my God! Wait, wait. That's a bad promotion, Why? isn't it? Why, <laughs> Sam? Why? Because they didn't do their freaking due diligence. Here's what happened. The largest Texas football game in history was in that town, okay? Uh, the largest film, the second largest film festival, what's it called? You know it. Uh, uh, South, by, South by Southwest. South by South was in that town. The largest street fair. Okay, so now, you, now, now based on what you just said, John, about, well, the fans don't care. Hold it. Nobody, I'm, I'm only kidding. We have plenty of sports. Wait, Look nobody, at Cecil. Uh, yeah, we're just plenty of sports fans in, in the Listen to what I'm saying. Nobody could reach us. They couldn't mm -hmm. get into the area. Uh -huh. Uber was kicked out. Also, I forgot to say, Uber was kicked out of Austin that, that week. Nobody can get to us because of all these events. They tried mm -hmm. to. They, they promoted it like crazy. So uh, th that's a long analogy and story that where it can go really bad when they had their ducks, well, they didn't have their ducks in a row uh, um, um, because nobody can reach us because they said, oh, who cares about football? Well, <laughs> Texas football, that's who cares. The Texans do, okay? Anyway, um, but we had the best party, Lou and Kevin and I. We had the best time, man. We just <laughs> kept eating. We'd have Italian dinners. And we just, oh, the fans, the fans couldn't get to us. We didn't Aww. get to us. Mm. So, Again, you've got to dot every uh, I and cross every T um, and, and make sure that you own that city when you go to do that. You own. And, and let me give you one more thing that promoters won't do because of arrogance. A few of them are starting to do it. Let's say you want to go to Orlando, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to uh, Orlando. Okay. And you know these other promoters? They do, uh, they do their events in Christmas time. They do it summertime. You want to do yours March. Here's my, here's some wisdom for you, a piece of gold. You get them on the phone and you talk to them and say, hey, this is what we want to do. You know, um, how can we make this work so we're all blessing each other here? I don't want to come in and 
stomp on your territory. I know you guys are doing yours in Christmas and you're doing yours in summertime. We want to do ours in the springtime. So, uh, you know, let's help each other here. I'm telling you, reach out to them and they will reach back to you and they'll give you pieces of gold and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And they just might say, hey, Anna, hey, guys, do me a favor. I want to work with you. But instead of doing it on March 29th, can you do it March 3rd? You know, something like that. Mm -hmm. That's where you're going to get their help. If you've got those guys on board, you're going to have a really successful event. Okay. Well, that's good. That's really good advice because I hadn't thought of that. But uh, well, yeah. Ethan's the one that's kind of in charge. So we'll have to make, we'll tell him to watch the part that you missed on the stream. <laughs> we right. can tell him on his stream, you know. Huh? Yeah. We could tell him on his stream maybe sometime. Oh, yeah. That's true. I have to get you guys on Ethan's show. Uh, well, if Cecil was here, I could share my screen and refresh, but I'm I'm guessing he took a bathroom break or he's crying in a corner because he knows you're going to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? Or last time we looked. Uh, 13,465 was the last. Uh, nice. Guys, the let's, last. Get that, let's get that tier five. You want to yeah. have that deal with me and I'll bring in some other celebrities. If you're at my comic book tour or one of the conventions and I will hand deliver you that uh, incredible... Limited edition, Flash Gordon, either uh, Savior of the Universe or King of the Impossible, 12-inch wow. action figure. On awesome. eBay, eBay, that puppy's going for $500. Wow. Fine. Yeah. Runs with, that, that is awesome. That is a, that is a great add-on that you just did because that's awesome to get that, that figure when you guys meet up. Yeah, that's legit. Uh, runs with scissors says, Anna, I live right across the road from Weta Workshop in Miramar. That Lord of the Ring collectibles you're after. Sword. Oh, what what Lord of the Ring collectibles are you? Well, I would after? like Aragorn, but I don't like the last one that they made of him. But uh, hmm. swords, I like swords. what about the new? Uh, New one, the new Aragorn. No, nah, I didn't like that one either. Also, it's they're randomly doing them from different movies. So if I get one, I want to have it like from the movies. I almost bought the Helm's Deep one, but I didn't really like the, the mm. sculpt or the hair. Hmm. Yeah. Trevor Bruce says Anna's a celebrity. She's on the Bud Light cans. No, common mistake. That's Dylan Mulvaney, different person. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, they I look similar. Know. They look similar. Yeah, we're, we're twins. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Force yeah. Ghost Fabio says, I've been very busy. All right, yeah, no, but that's they're similar common. but surprising differences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> shocking. It would be a surprise. Yeah, what day of girlhood are you on, Anna? Will you? I, I don't know, <laughs> I'm well into the thousands at this point. <laughs> that a girl, yeah, Pride yeah, common mistake. Yeah, a lot of people do that, right. You get must get stopped on the street. Right. Oh, Dylan. <laughs> oh, Dylan. <laughs> That's all you hear. That's why I don't go out. <laughs> Joe, where are you at with the uh, book? Uh, all, all the all the line art is done, or everything is done. The colors are all good, completely done. I'm just doing the changes that they're asking me to do, some brushing up and the lettering. I'm we're, we're working on that right now, but we mm -hmm. have uh, we have some time before this is over. So I, I it's going to be done before we before we uh, end this this campaign, and I'm going to send it straight to the printer. All right, four days left on the campaign as of right now. So. Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. four days. Are you doing another thirty days, or was this your second? Um, yeah, we, we, we had to meet this goal to, to, yeah. to extend. So yeah, yeah, definitely. That's, that's going to be, uh, that's going to happen here. I should do Excellent. that before I forget. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> All right. Run, runs with scissors. Anna is looking to hook you up. He lives across the street from the place. He's saying, what sword do you want? Uh, I want all of them, but if you have Theoden's sword, oh, that, one's, that one's cool. Well, I could say the Hobbit sword, but that. That just because I'm short, but that one's easy to find. No, if you can, if you have Theoden's sword, that one's really cool. So you're, get, you're asking him for the impossible, right? I'm just saying, if he's next to the studio and they have it there, let me know. We'll we'll work it out. But uh, it's hard to find. 
Okay, I didn't I'm even gonna... know. I didn't even know there was a character in Lord of the Rings called Theoden. Who you do because he's the king of Rohan that gets brought back from. Worm Remember? tongue. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, he's the guy. He worm power here. Here. He's the guy. Uh, King. I don't remember. The king of Rohan. Was Worm tongue. Guys, uh, Sam is getting ready to check out. I know. Uh, well, let's do well, a final I'm gonna, refresh. I'm gonna check out of here in four minutes. Lord of the Rings talk gets rid of people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. spraying a can of raid in a room. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are starting to get. But I'm if it sorry. exceeds, but I, no, no, I, it'll be three hours. But you know what I said last time? If this exceeds 14k in the next four or five minutes, then I'm going to stay on. Oh my god! <laughs> <goodness. laughs> we started at like we started at 98 when we started tonight. So well, let's just tonight. say you be careful what you promise people because we we may get to watch Sam Smith uh, Sam Smith Sam Jones fall asleep on camera. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the audience wants to torture people if they think they can torture you by keeping you awake. Like they will. <laughs> yeah, you might be here till six in the morning. Your oh, time. My Lord. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got to be careful. Well, hey Sam, Sam, I have, I have a question. Sam, do you have any? Uh, do you have any props from from Flash? Well, I, I have the original Flash shirt, the iconic. The only oh, one that survived. Yeah, we had about eight, but they were all torn and ripped during all the action fight scenes. And so mm -hmm. I, I have, uh, I own the the only, uh, yeah, the only oh, Flash. Wow. Iconic uh, costume shirt. Uh, in existence, yes. It's it is Wait, so is down. that the white and red, or what is that? The white and red is that that the one that you're talking yes. about? Okay, yeah, and great. what makes it unique? Those uh, Italian T-shirts they were they were hand painted with the red paint. Everything red was hand painted. Wow. Um, yep. Those Italians. Yeah. Get refresh on there, Anna. Where are we at? All right, so right now we're at 13,465 with 144, 41 backers. Excuse me. Do a refresh. Hey. Ah! All right. <laughs> oh, my Sam. God. Oh, Sam, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you got to be here. Oh, you gotta, oh, scroll down. Somebody must I'm have got the down. tier. Someone must have got the. Uh, they did. They got your oh, tier. Two out, out of eight. Two out of oh, eight are God. claimed. Wow. Good for you. Thank you guys for your. your Generous awesome. support of this project. Good for I, you. I, I'm feeling Flash Gordon's fist cracking my jaw. Every <laughs> <time. You know laughs> so guess what? Can, can that person text you and say, hey, it was me? I'm curious. Um, DM me on Joe Twitter. can look it up. It yeah. was me. I did this to you. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to thank him because that's really cool. With your knuckles. And now mm -hmm. you're setting a precedent. Hmm. And and the same thing goes um, again. And I'm here. I got to keep my word. We exceeded 14. We're actually on our way to 15. And yeah. Wow. So well I'm gonna on stay, our way. I'm gonna stay on for a few more. And I and uh, yeah, if we do 15, I'm going to stay on. Oh my for god. A few more. <laughs> <laughs> Is your wife just like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she's yeah, no, she, she knows now. Yeah, we just picked up our daughter from Syracuse, Syracuse University, and so she's in there spending time with her. And and then of course hey, we're you're on the East Coast. We're, we're all going to Hawaii because I told you my son Shane is getting married next week. He's getting married to Emily. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Wait, Sam, are you on the East Coast? No, I'm in San Diego. Uh, your daughter went to Sy uh, Syracuse in New York. He went to Syracuse. That's right. Wow. That's too much information for Cecil. We, 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 <laughs> we would get calls sometimes that she said it was the uh, during the snow, the oh. wind chill, the wind chill factor was thirty five below. It is mm -hmm. the suicide capital of New York. It is a brutal Jesus winter. Jesus Christ! Yeah. It is a it is a it is a no. It's bru a bru It's a great. It's a good school up there. It is, but it's but it's a brutal winter up there too. Yeah. And I'm going to do, and you know what I'm going to do since we're on a roll right here, and I really appreciate this person for coming in and doing the uh, the, the, the all commander, the the uh, you know the, the dinner and the action. Ranger so I'm, commander. Yep. And I'm going to do this. And for doing what he or she just did, I'm also going to throw in a Flash Gordon 
sign Funko Pop, which they've been vaulted. Nice. Hmm. They've been, it's part of my collection. And also, uh, the offer is still out there if anybody else wants to do the same thing. Not only do you get the uh, you get all the perks. Joe, are you showing them the perks? You get all the perks and you get that one-on-one -on -one dinner with me. And if it obviously yeah. is on my comic book tour at a convention, then I'll bring, uh, you know, I'll bring one, one or two of my buddies. Hopefully it's a uh, Frigno, one or two of my buddies. And we'll- The Incredible gonna, Hulk himself. And, yeah. and when you will not only get the Flash Gordon, either the King of the Impossible or the Savior of the Universe, but I will also do the uh, Funko Pop. And I'm going to give the person who just did the tier five of Funko Pop as well. Wow. Oh, hey. Hey. Gordon and the Incredible Hulk. We have another guest coming in all the way from England. It must be, what time is it there? It's about six o'clock in the morning. It's uh, King of the Unintelligible. <laughs> boy, boy. Oh, King of the Impossible. Captain Flash Gordon. Oh, uh, uh, your mic is all <laughs> <laughs> Plug your mic in. It's all. Your mic is all screwed up, man. Oh, oh, my goodness. Look at that. He's so excited to meet you. Joke out. King he of the is. intelligible. He, he he looks like a UFC guy. I can't, but what's wrong with my fucking microphone? Hey, <laughs> clean clean up your act, Joko. Oh, 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 you like do your headphones like you always He's, do. Every time you talk, it sounds like just static. It's static. Every time you talk and move. We hear oh, no. it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He's so excited to meet you. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna be right it's, back. It's better like this. It's, so it's you put I, up that I, picture of put up a cartoon picture of me. Cam. So on your end, it, it'll say mute stop cam, click stop cam, and it'll do the picture. Yeah, do do a cartoon picture of me. You so have I, to do it. I take you it. have to do it. I have to do it. So on your screen where you see all of us, down below there's a mute button. There's stop cam settings present just click stop cam and it turns off your camera and mute oh, will mute there it. there you go what i yeah, should have... mute yourself <laughs> yeah we can hear you still so if you hit the one right the to the left it, it should say mute sam okay so i'm doing mute and yes there you there go you you're go. good we can't hear you're you good. or see you good to go is there anything you want to say to sam now that he left uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah move your mouth so we can tell you if it's broke or not Chugout, start Say talking. words. Oh, can you know yeah, it's oh. broke as shit. Broke as shit. No Try good. It. It's all broken. Nope. Okay. You're going to miss your opportunity to talk to Flash Gordon, Chugout. Yep, you again. waited your whole life for this, and now look at you. <laughs> How many times have we told you to fix your shit? I know. He's, uh, he's on a stream every week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chugout, talk. Okay, so fix it out. No. 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 Choke out. I think I know what it is. Choke out. Go <laughs> to your settings and go to audio and see if your echolocation is turned. If it has, if it's checked. Oh, no. It's echo. Oh my god. Oh, it's worse. Better. Undo um, that. Whatever you just did. Check your mic. And stop cussing when Flash Gordon is here. Christ. I'm so sorry. We do this again. We got the most clean cut guy on here, and this guy can't stop dropping bombs. Okay. Is it working now? Nope. No. no. It's it's all crackling. That's all we hear. No. No, Rob, Just check like check the actual show? thing if it's plugged in all the what way. What was that? Uh, Do you like our professional show? Yeah, it's awesome. That's yeah. Awesome, actually. <laughs> Anna, your magic is great. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you owe all of this to Cecil because Cecil, Cecil is the you're one great. That generated all of this. <laughs> it's okay now. Nope. Shot. Yes. Yes. It is. Say something. No. It's not perfect, but it's better. No, it's terrible. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. You got to get headphones or something, man. Take uh, your kids. Doesn't your kid have it for the Switch? No. No. You don't have extras? No. Check What's check your, your contacts. Just plug it, plug everything in and out again or restart. You know what I mean? Ooh, I know what should do. It. We'll be here. Try popping in on your phone. Your phone, yeah. Where did Sam go? He's taking a dump or something? 
Yeah. <laughs> I think after being on a live stream for three hours, uh, you know. Yeah, I just took a, 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 a four minute whiskey piss. I was like, I can't believe how much is coming out. Of <laughs> I've been drinking, I finished most of this bottle tonight. So, oh my God. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I was like, wow, I thought I would be done by it. Oh, John's, yes, John, let's get that done. Yeah. Oh. I wanted to have a drink with week. Cecil and John. That would, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Choke Here out. There he is. Let me see. All right. Walking out. <sighs> nope. Even worse, if you can believe that. Go down to your local electronics store and buy a bloody computer. Aluminium. Al 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 you know, if I have a problem, you know, if, if I have a problem like this aluminum. over and over and over again, I, I would I get so embarrassed I have no choice but to fix it. Like, how can you how can you be on streams for this long and, and continue to have the same problem over and over again and choose not to fix it? Because I'm a fucking idiot. We can't hear you. We hear chap, 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 fuck, chap, 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 chap. Yeah, every, every two minutes we hear a curse word from you. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. Let me do my choke out impression. <laughs> I'm glad Sam's not here to see this shit. I'm glad I'm here to see this because he's his brain is melting. Is it still bad? Yeah, it's terrible. Yes. It's terrible. Ain't gonna get better with you staring at it. Go buy a new hey, computer. Mike. No. no, it's still terrible. Aww. Oh, no. oh. Man. Close all the Pornhub tabs. I'm gonna reboot every you reboot it. Go. We'll see you in like five minutes. Oh my goodness, Rob, Joe, yes. sorry. No, no, it's Captain great. Professional friend, <laughs> Captain Chokeout. Disappointed in him. What happened? Welcome Wait, back, Sam. We got through, through the crash out. You missed your British, you missed your British fans. Fans. Captain Chokeout. Uh, Captain Chokeout is a big fan, uh, but he's not a big fan of of good audio. So he's uh, <laughs> restarting his computer. But I think it'd be better if he misses out meeting you because the frustration levels will be off the chart because he's going crazy right now. <laughs> he's got a whole call of potty mouth. Sam. I'll be right back. Potty. That's Wait, right. Uh, was he really from the UK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yep. couldn't hear the dialect. All all I heard was. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. You heard the right guy. So that's pretty much choke out. Whatever. Uh, listen, he sent me uh, pictures of of infected uh, trans. We don't need to talk about that. Okay, you don't need to know about that. But I, whatever hell he's going through, he deserves. Is what I'm trying. To say. Yeah, yeah, John, you can see what was sent because you're in that horrid group chat. It was yeah. so bad that it made me cringe, which is almost really? impossible. <laughs> I don't. Is you don't want to. Yeah, today I like I almost left the whole thing because I was like I can't take this. This All is right, on. <sighs> Instagram. So we have really dark senses of humor, and we have a group chat. But choke out, like he got one over on me and Cecil, which is almost impossible. You no, know, Brittany yeah. uh, has a nice uh, chest pick there up there. I should go on here more often. Oh yeah, uh, but... mutants from hell. That's the group chat. Oh, Anna, I have a question for you. Yes. We'll keep this rolling here. <laughs> uh, the uh, your Barbie picture mm -hmm. with this. Now, do you do your own costumes? Do you make them, or do you send them out to be made? Or so I. That looks like the nineteen fifty nine. Uh, my wife has uh, the doll of that. She got that over eBay or something. But yeah, she has the original. That's the original doll. That's the what it came with. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, it's actually it's actually the little. Uh, Keeps it on uh, the Hallmark one. Hallmark, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Do you make them or yeah. So some of them I make a lot of it. What I do is I like I do found items and then I adjust them to whatever my costume is because there's a lot of people that are kind of hesitant to get into cosplay because they think you have to like be a seamstress and be able to do everything. And I'm right. like, 
what can I, especially for my first calendar, I'm like, what can I do on like a budget, but still make it look good? And so mm. I got a lot of like hate from the cosplay community for that. Cause it's like, no, you have to hand stitch everything. And I'm like, some people have jobs and like families and like, can't do that. So what can I do with everything and use my own like abilities to make it work kind of thing. Mm. And so that's what I do. So this swimsuit, uh, because the new movie is coming out, they have a lot of Barbie products out. And I saw this, I say this in my video, but I, I found it on Instagram and then I had to alter it to fit me. And then of course I do like the hair and the, the makeup and, and all of that just to like transform into these characters. I see. Interesting. Yeah. So great comment to have on the screen, Cecil. Is it the uh, Buck Rogers? Well, like compliments? <laughs> Uh, Billy says the the butt is shopped. If you watch her video, she's it's walking not. around on video. It's she's not shopped. No, uh, there's a, a I don't. It's insulting to Gollum from Lord of the Rings, but this Gollum person is like hey, his butt is photoshopped, and it's like no, it's yeah, not. but that's a compliment. Like if someone's like, "Well, your butt looks so good, it must be photoshopped." That's a that's actually a compliment. It's like, yes, my hair isn't naturally blonde. My eyes aren't really blue, but like that, that's okay. But everything else, you know, it's a, uh, it's problematic. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they have to say when I do Vampirella and Lady Death. And uh, I'm going to do a Bond girl uh, next week. This week I'm doing Marilyn Monroe. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for Ooh. that. The, the yeah. chat really likes what's going on. Here. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you I personally watch. like the Sailor Mercury one the best, but that's just me. Boring. I know, I know, but I like. Look at this! All, these, like all these sweet compliments. Look at this nice turd cutter. Wow! It's just... Thank you, thank you. That's a uh, very gracious, guys. <laughs> You're very polite. Can you take me off the screen now? It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Uh, I, hold on. <laughs> just... So I'm, I honestly, my, my mouse just stopped where there it goes. Okay. Sorry. Oh, sure. It did. Sure no, I really did. did. I wasn't even joking around. Mm -hmm. Joke out. Say something. Oh There's my God. No. Yes. Right. Yes. You're back. All right. Yes. What did you have to do to fix it? So we remember for that next time. I just, um, I unplugged it and then, and then I restarted it, but it's not, okay. I can't use my headphones because the dog fucking Nala chewed up the headset. Okay. Well, choke out. Meet Sam. I know, King of the Impossible. How, 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 how are you, Jones? How are you? You're very well. And you, what part of uh, England are you from? I live right slap bang in the centre. I live next door to Warwick Castle, right by Shakespeare, Shakespeare's house. Wonderful, sir. I showed I showed my son Flash Gordon in spring. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's only eight. He's only eight, and I was like, "Yeah, you're gonna watch Flash Gordon today." And we watched it. He loved it. Beautiful. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm on a stream with fucking Mr. Joe with Flash Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> so I was at I was at London Comic Con in um I want to say March. Oh, yeah, that's when we watched Flash Gordon as well. I yeah. had him in March for the spring break. Jason, take the banner off. Yeah, that's uh, why I filmed that video, and I was at oh, London yeah. Comic Con. Yeah. I've got a massive, so I can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll check out. We're promoting uh, Sam's comic book. So Rob drew it and Joe colors it and letters it. And then Sam is obviously the star. But so we've been He's promoting his comic book. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Hey, hey Captain. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you, to meet too. Now, why do I, they call you Captain Chokeout? Okay. I got to go. He's <laughs> oh, oh, being a coward. <laughs> um, it, it, it was half a gamer name. It was a gamer name for a long, long time ago, and then, and then Ethan had a stream on here where there was people acting up in uh, in Disney. It was Disney World, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in Disney World. Disney World, not Land. Yeah, and I just and I just carried it on from there. I just used the name again, but it was my my Xbox name and my PlayStation name for about eight eight nine years. We're all captains in, in, in our team. 
there was a family fight at uh, Disney World that was captured on film, and then a dude just comes out of the crowd and chokes the main aggressor unconscious, and they were calling him Captain Chokeout, and <laughs> he was in the no, thing, and he's like, wait. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't him. It wasn't him, but he was like, that's my name. Like, I use that name on my video game name. Like, so. Uh, <laughs> cool. That's funny. So, yeah. what, so what was it like? What was it like working with Brian Blessed? Oh, he's I wonderful. I, 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 was with, I was with him in March at London Comic Con. You, you, you should have, haven't you attended the London Comic Con? Well, the, the thing is, there's, there's a lot of assholes there. Oh, who, who who look upon people like myself, Cecil, John, Anna as just what, what? What? How do they see us? Um, they're afraid of people that are different that don't go with the the time. Not woke. Yeah. yeah, I'd be called. I'd be called. I'd be called a bigot and a Nazi by everybody. I think. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. No, I, I mean the 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 comic cons are pretty eclectic and versatile. I mean, it's all types, sizes, and shapes. I mean, I, I guess if you believe in something and you're, you're, you're doing a parade and marching, that's probably a different story, but they don't, you know. Yeah. I mean, I've, uh, and now, uh, Choka does not do parades and marching. Are you talking about the fans? Are you talking about the staff? No, both, really. I think, a lot, I mean, a, a lot of them just think that they call us man babies, don't they? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can't babies. tell you how many times I've been called an incel man baby, and I'm like, yeah, hey. yeah. What is a man baby? What is that? I've not you heard this term. It, it's Maybe. what they call people that they disagree with, but they can't argue with intelligently, so they just call you names. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I've gone to the in Florida. It's basically for us, we're just like uh, anti woke type of thing, like just more story than propaganda. Like, that's mm -hmm. just, just stick to the story, stop with the like preaching, you know, political stuff where it doesn't belong in, in pop culture. Mm -hmm. And that's that's pretty much where like we're all at. It's more just like, yeah, and, and kind of what Sam was talking about earlier about staying true to the you know the spirit of the character, the story. Or, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and be sure you're telling a good story. Mm -hmm. did, did, yeah. you ever, did, did you ever see Flesh Gordon, Mr. Jones? <laughs> <laughs> and you're, hey, hey, Captain Chokeout. So, my first week in London when we, we went there to film, um, they said, Hey, have you not seen the original? I said, <laughs> I said, no, I mean, I know Buster Crab. I, I told these guys that were part of the crew, I said, well, I know Buster Crab played the original, but they were 10 minute serials and he did a few. Well, no, you got to see this movie. This is the <laughs> oh, no. So we, we walked into it and it was kind of, you know, and then I didn't think much of it. Um, and then all of a sudden you realize <laughs> it's uh, it's flesh, Gordon. It was a it was an X-rated flesh, Parody. you know, mm -hmm. based on Flash Gordon. Now was that before or after your movie? A little bit. And I laughed a little bit more. Then I thought, this is kind of disturbing. It's time to go. <laughs> I, I, got, I got I got shown that as a child because it got. Listen, my, my father, my father's Spanish, like like really. I mean like. He's, I, I told these lot, he'd been in this country 50 years, his accent, he still sounds like he walked straight off the boat. <laughs> he, he showed me he showed me American Wealth in London, first of all, because he, he, he read it in the newspaper as being advertised as a black comedy, and he thought it was going to be like black people, like a comedy. So he, he showed me that. <laughs> Traumatised me for years. And then, and then he showed me Flesh Gordon by accident, thinking it was Flash Gordon. Oh, yeah. I could never... I, I listen... I never forget. He was watching, it and he's his face and goes, D "Dale Hardon, Hardon." <laughs> and he just, <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and how how are you? Are you? <laughs> and there it is, right there. Now this is this is from seventy four. So yes, it was the original. Jason Williams. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, the it's the scrotum monster when it bangs the hole. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Wow. So, 
Cap, Captain Choka, how old were you when your dad showed you that? Young, but we didn't make it to that part. I later went on to watch it again. And again, and again, and again. I would have been about nine, I think. Nine or ten. Mm. That's mm. crazy. Yeah, but he, like oh. I said, he was Spanish and he just, he just, he thought, he just saw Flesh Gordon. Oh, it's Flesh Gordon. You know, the, the, the kids. <laughs> And then again with American Wealth in London, <laughs> black comedy. He he assumed, right, listen, you couldn't make it up. He assumed it was a movie with Eddie Murphy in it. Huh. Uh, I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Black comedy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what movie was that joke out? American Wealth in London. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's called, like, in England, they, well, everywhere, they call it a black comedy. I t yeah. He knows that I've told you this lot as well. He, he knows that I've told you guys this before. He's like, you, you just stop fucking telling people this again. Funny. Funny. Mm. Okay, so let's do a refresh on the campaign. Uh oh. Right. Are you sharing? Or you're, uh... I'm going to share it in one momento. Here we go. See where we are. Okay. Just for reference, Joe, we started at like. 9,000 when we started this. We're 98. I got a shot ready. Let's All right, see 15. Well, $14,665 with 142 backers. Let's see if we can wow. get that up. Come on. Wow. Come on, come on. Oh, wow. 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 So close. 100 and $100 plus from mm -hmm. 15K, guys. $115. How, how much is that, Adam? $115 from 15 There you go. That's incredible, guys. I'm sorry, John. I should have asked Anna. We could have been here for 45 minutes while she worked. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not good at math. I, I can draw pictures, okay? Or I should say yeah. paint pictures. But yeah, guys, go on back to the comic. Let's see if we can get it to 15000 And then we'll only have $5,000 left. Uh, for Sam to punch Cecil in the face. So choke out. Uh, I came up with a scenario before the stream started, which was, if or not before, but on the beginning of the stream, which is, would John punch Cecil for $10,000? And it eventually evolved into Sam punching Cecil in the face if we get to 20000 I heard the Vaseline power punch come into play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Only yeah, for Mr. Cecil. Mr. Jones, you really don't want to be any part of that. No, no, it's a Vaseline power punch. Yeah, we yeah. explained it. We, we we sanitized it for him. That's where you put Vaseline on your fist so it doesn't connect so much. It's so well, it, but but as you know, in real fights, that's what they use on their faces. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's they, why that beard is not gonna do you justice. You don't want to see that it, though. I'll it's gonna catch it, it's gonna right? catch it even more. My real beard is the girl I'm seeing. It's a charade. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing with Cecil. You want to see as little of his face as possible so your eyes don't bleed. We saw him one time without his mask on, and it was like, ah. It's like looking at Medusa. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I can hear you guys, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Cecil. Look at that. God, yeah. I, I wonder why I never stopped drinking whiskey during the entire stream. <laughs> kills the pain. Where's Aurora uh, these days? Where's what? Where's Aurora these days? Uh, aura, aura, oh, not aura. aura. Oh no! Uh, before you came on, um, I contacted her. Well, this is going back to January 2020. I I called her, Brian Blessed. Melody Anderson and myself, and we were confirmed, contracted, and booked to do an international 40th anniversary tour. And then, of course, you know what happened? Uh, uh, two months later, COVID hit. So it didn't happen. I believe the Chinese government tried to stop that reunion. Because yes, what yes, yes. Yes. She's one of the hottest women to ever be in a movie. How oh, my God. Been? <laughs> uh, the, the whole movie i was saying this to sam earlier is just if you watch even the background the the extras everybody involved every woman in that movie was yeah, a yeah, yeah. dynamite just gorgeous women everywhere 
the well, sickening that's thing like is Star is, Trek with the original Star Trek show. It's like everyone on, the, like all the women on that are like models, right? Yeah, the the the, the, the uh, yeah the original series. Every woman they encounter, they go to. It's just one hotter. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most annoying thing is that somewhere, somewhere, the, the, there's a dude somewhere that was sick of having sex with her. Do you know how annoying that oh, is? To me? Out. It's so annoying. Um, uh, I'm hearing some. What a beautiful lady, man. I know, because she's absolutely stunning. She's the hottest. I'll go as far as to say she could be the Check hottest out. woman that's ever been in the movie. No, she, she's, she is ridiculously hot. But uh, Drunky McAsshole, if that's even your real name, uh, says this episode has been a delight and a triumph. Bravo, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's guys, cool. Yeah. We still have over a thousand people watching. Please smash the like button if you guys haven't already, and maybe consider backing uh, the comic and you know getting Sam's book. Yeah, uh, and that cool. offer still stands about that tier five. Again, uh, it's going to be other than all the perks. You're, you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one dinner with me, and you're going to get that. Well, again, that five hundred dollar action figure. Which, um, yeah, you know, I, I made a deal with uh, Big Chief Studios out of out of London, and mm -hmm. yeah, Captain Choke. Have you seen this incredible action figure that Big Chief Studios designed I've of me? Yeah. It, we, they, we, they did two versions. They they did King of the Impossible and Savior of the Universe. Anyway, it's a high end item. It's a twelve inch action figure, fully articulated, and I'm going to include that, which I just did. Uh, an, another a person just uh, came on board with that tier five, but I'm also going to add a Flash Gordon Funko Pop. Um, wow! Uh, so, to to that as well, and to the um, previous person who came on board that tier five. So yeah, so you not only get that one on one dinner with me, and if it's obviously at it's during my comic book tour at a, a comic convention then I'll be able to bring one of the other celebrities with me. Wow. Uh, hopefully it'll be one of the other superhero guys. So, yeah, so yeah. you'll get that. You, you'll get the um, King of the Impossible or the Savior of the Universe action figure and the Flash Gordon Funko Pop, which has been retired and vaulted. Uh. I don't think, like, seriously, there's no other cooler slogan. Savior of the Universe, King <laughs> of the Impossible. It just, there's not, do you know no. what I mean? It's fucking so cool. Yeah, and now we get to add the comic. It is. Yeah, and now we're adding the comic book called right. "Sam J. Jones Saves the Galaxy." That's oh, right. God. <laughs> fucking brilliant. Brilliant. That's cool. I used to the, the thing he was in Flash Gordon as well. Peter Duncan. Yes. Yeah, I used to love yeah. him. He, I, yeah. one of one of my friends. He's he's related. What is he? He's his cousin or his second cousin? He used to present Blue Peter. Yes, he did. A TV show, yeah. And he, he was, he's, he's a relative of one of my friends. But we used yeah. to be like, oh, that's Peter. Yeah, Save me I had from a the wonderful, <laughs> yeah, I, had a, I had a wonderful time with Peter. And what was the other... I, I, I sat down in the early years, maybe, was it three years ago, um, you know, where you couldn't even talk politics in America. But I sat down with Peter Duncan, and I think you called the, uh, this other actor Nasty Eddie. Does that make sense? Na Nasty Eddie. Anyway, mm -hmm. I sat down with a hardcore conservative and a hardcore left over three Guinness, over three, four hours, and we yelled and screamed, but good passion, just not arguing, just good passion, and you know what happened at the end of the three, three and a half hours? We remained friends mm. at the end there of you the, go. Have those Guinness. It's the first time because you, because you couldn't do that in America. Not it, anymore. It, it used to be able to. But yeah, it was anymore. the only time that, that, that I was able to do that. And it took place in uh, Rochdale, Rochdale, uh, England. But the other actor, everybody knows him. I think you call him. Nasty Eddie or uh, Dirty Dirty Eddie or something. Anyway, is he, is he, is he English? Yes, yes. Eddie oh, yeah. Izzard. Eddie Izzard. No, is isn't that a musician? Is he, is he from the Young Ones? Ed he, he might be, but he's known as this 
nasty character, and they called him uh, Nasty Eddie, I think. But anyway, it, it was wonderful. We just, we just, we just had the best time, and nobody, nobody would, nobody used hatred. You know, nobody got super angry. Just loud and passionate. That's it. It's Wait, great. is it Eddie McFilth? Yes. What, do you have a pic? Can you show a picture of him? It's, choke out. Does that sound familiar? Eddie McFilth? Let me have a look. No, I mean, somebody in the chat just, the he, chat he always knows. Looks, I'm looking. He looks like a kind of seedy Italian guy. <laughs> oh, those are the worst. <laughs> oh, my Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> those those swarmy greasy yeah, Italians. Peter Duncan at that Comic Con in R Rochdale. Um, hold on. Let me read a couple super chats. Uh, Cries Phoenix says, "I don't know who I love more, Cecil or Sam." <laughs> He doesn't know. You, you can't choose. It's like, uh, you know, it's the King Solomon. Just cut us both in half. Uh, Jeg's Dino God says, I bet we could get enough CG talent to make your comic an animated movie with the Queen style. Read this one, but it's a good idea. Thank you, Jeg. Oh, yeah. No, it right. is. It's, yeah. And we've we, yes, we been talking about that. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. This guy's requesting a power punch. <laughs> I mean, now he's saying he uh, loves Cecil. I'm sorry, Sam, but uh, he loves me more. All it takes okay. is what? I hope that doesn't hit your uh, ego too much. Over. No, no, no. Uh, we read. The, uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm back where Cecil. Well, yeah. You have been avoiding these for hours. You need to go back to the beginning. Stop yelling at me. Billy asked you to read a super chat from three hours ago. Uh. Can, and that's, can, that's I, can I just add? Can I just add? I, I, I love the bit in, in Ted where you're on the old Peruvian marching powder. <laughs> Fucking brilliant stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what happened during that scene? We were in the bathroom getting ready to film it. It was it was Mark, you know, Johnny, and the bear and myself. And the bear got crazy wacko. <laughs> and, he, and he accidentally knocked over the container of baby powder. And it went all over our faces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that mm. baby powder, mm. god damn it. <laughs> now, wait, Seth was the director of those movies too, right? Well, he was the voice of the bear. Oh, that's what you asked me hours ago. Right. Yeah. You, oh, I think it was, um, God, boy, we're getting tired. It, Who's it, the director? Because I know he wrote it like it's. Yeah, it's no, no, it's, no, no. You asked me what, someone asked me. Uh, I asked you about how it was like, like for them to call you and be like, "Hey, we want you in this movie about a guy in yes. his hair." <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, but I, uh, but someone asked me what has changed over all these years. Remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was I never, I never answered. But here's what, here's what's, but here's is here's what bothers me. I still, I, I understand, I understand it, but I still, I don't get it. Okay, so in the old days, making movies. The director stood next to the cameraman, okay? Whether he's three feet away or 12 feet away or whatever, he's standing next to the cameraman. Now they don't do that anymore, okay? He can be, I'm not making this up, okay? They put him in video village. That means he could be in a back room, uh, you know, 100 meters away inside a, a canopy, a tent, and he's sitting in front of six monitors, okay? And he's hmm. directing you from there. So when this happened, because, you know, Ted was my first big studio movie in 10 years. You know, a lot of independents, uh, quite a few big studios, but they were years ago, but more independent movies. And so when I saw Seth was you know, not there, they gave me an earpiece. It's called an earwig. It's a $3,000 earpiece. Mm. And they can talk to you in that. And the director, so remember, Seth is the voice of the bear, and he's also the director. I didn't mm. like it. I said, hey, Seth, can't you come out here next to the camera, you know, and direct me? Because uh, he can't see the bear then, right? Well, no, no, there's no, no. The bear's not generated until later on. 
I don't, you don't see anything. Anyway, the reason why they have the director, because I asked him, the reason why they use Video Village is so, I guess there's so much money involved. They want to make sure the cameraman has the actors in frame. I said, wait a minute, excuse me. I got a question. I said, isn't that why we pay the cameraman a lot of money? Okay, <laughs> to make sure the actors are in frame. I, I still don't get it to this day. I find it very impersonal. I, I find it sort of divisive in a way. I really mm. do. As well, opposed that... to being team. This is the right. team. This is the crew. This is where it is. It's all right here. Anyway, um, I get it. They got to do it. They, they, so, they, they, but, they, but the funny what? thing about this is now Seth is directing me. I have the earpiece. He's also the voice of the bear. Okay. So <laughs> a couple of different times I had to say, are you the bear or are you the director? Okay, I didn't know what he was doing. Okay. Yeah, that's his voice, basically his own. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's not doing a special voice. Yeah. But, but um, what you're saying, um, what's his name? Gandalf, uh, Ian McKellen. Yeah. Uh, they said after he did like a few days on the first movie, he like had like a, <laughs> almost like a nervous breakdown because he's like, I didn't go into acting. Because he was just doing all his scenes on this green stage with no one around him. Green and he's stage. like, this is not what I got into acting to do. And then they had a party for him to be like, and he, it, to just morale boost him. But <laughs> in the same way, it's like, this is, you know, he's talking to no one. He's playing mm -hmm. off of no one. He's just on a stage by himself, pretending to have a conversation with people that they're going to generate in as, you know, half their size later on. And yeah. uh, he he didn't like it at all. He actually, they said he actually started to cry. Like he yeah. didn't like. It. Who, who started yeah. to cry? Ian McKellen. Ian like, oh, it's really Ian Thank it's you, uh, Ian. Yeah. Well, look, I, I'm used to not having. In Flash Gordon, of course, <laughs> with, uh, it was blue screen, so you know there were times. Yeah, the Hawkmen were hanging from wires, but a lot of times. The, their stuff was over, so we're not going to bring him back on wires so they could do my off-camera. That didn't make sense. So I'm just looking at uh, pieces pieces of tape on the wall. It's the same mm -hmm. thing for the uh, green screen, or I'm sorry, for the for the computer generated for Ted. The, there's no bear there. There's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just read that because uh, Michael Keaton is back filming uh, Beetlejuice 2, that uh, they're, they're making a real strong point that they film it uh, nearly identical to how they did the original with, with as many practical effects as possible oh, so that they can keep yeah. it kind of that personal level. I, I don't know if that means that they have the monitors and the directors, you know, 10 miles down the road or anything like that. But, you know, it's good that that, that practical effects are still being considered out there. Yeah. Oh, well, hey, look at this. Now, this is where we filmed uh, Jane in the Lost City in the country of Mauritius. I was being attacked in the ocean by a shark. You rushed into the water and punched it in the face. Is this and true? And away in shock. And this is true, or is he, is he gaslighting? I, I mean, I, I made a movie in Mauritius. I think <laughs> I would know. I may have punched a shark. <laughs> I think I would know if I punched a shark. But then again, I was I was drinking a few <laughs> bottles of rum back and then I'm well, just beer. I actually well, look, uh, uh, Tim J. Wait a minute, look at there's a picture of him. No, no, I think that's, well, I think it's a statue. First of all, uh, forgive me if I don't remember this. Um, but you don't I, remember I, punching a shark? Yeah, that would be a story that I would remember. But I remember yeah. doing lots of other things in Mauritius. So if you can enlighten my memory there, but um, uh, I saved your life, but I don't think it was from a shark. Maybe it was from a bottle of rum. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's his code name for uh, 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 something. Go with it. You owe him your life, Tim J. I hope you backed at the highest level. Yeah, back the book at least. Jeez. Yeah, you. Uh, Sinatra you says, "How about a fifteen thousand goal?" Uh, for that, he only gets to kick me in the nuts. But for 20... Cecil will draw him a, 
a trading card. Hmm. Um, that, that's not Mauritius is in East Africa. Is is that? Are there a lot of white guys out there? Blonde haired white guys running around well, in the ocean. Well, out there? the well, funny enough, it's a French owned, French speaking. Uh, so most of the natives are are are, are black. Uh, there's a superstition on the island. Uh, there's about a million people. And by the way, it's the island. You, you're probably too young. It's uh, island of the dodo bird, and they oh. used to call it. And they mm. call it the dodo bird because oh, I want one of those. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it it wasn't much up here, but this bird, when the hunters came to started annihilating the population of the dodo bird, they called it that because they would shoot it, and there'll be eight other dodo birds right there just looking at you. Okay, that was it until they all got shot. They had no. Yeah. They had yeah, no survival instinct. Yeah, there was, there yeah, no well, predators. Was anyway, most of the natives are inland because of the uh, uh, the superstition of the water. Uh, it, it's a it's a trop it's a it's a paradise, number one, and that's where we filmed uh, Jane Jane in the Lost City with uh, Maude Adams and Graham Stark, um, another English actor and uh, famous South African actor, director, writer. I, I refer to him as the Ernest Hemingway of South Africa. His name is Ian Roberts. And uh, yeah, w uh, we were there for uh, probably eight weeks. But but again, I don't remember. You would think you would think you would remember punching a shark, yeah. right? To save somebody. I like to think so. I, yeah. ju I just saw the movie. I don't, I don't think he punched a shark. Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe he's talking about in the movie. <laughs> Sure. Maybe you know what? I think I may have done that in the movie. Conception. Isn't that a cool uh yeah? My character was Jungle Jack. There he is. I've never seen that poster. I'd like to get that poster as well. It's really cool. nice artwork there. Yeah. yeah. It looks like um, he, he was a vegetarian, Jungle Jack. He really was. Okay. <laughs> Anna, your mic is going out or you're muting something. Oh, I lean forward. It kind of looks like Drew Sturzen. Yeah, I if did it. but but you know what? I'm just yeah, thinking I, may, maybe I did that in the movie. Maybe I punched a, a movie shark. Mm. That I feel makes like better sense. That too. <laughs> yeah, that was a great experience. If you ever get a chance, guys, you got to go to Mauritius. You got to go. Maybe uh, one day, Cecil, pull up the campaign so I can do a refresh. Uh, Russell Hall you just hit Cecil open palm and don't hold back. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't no, you, you, I, you have to do a punch with the show about that. Okay, so right now we are at fourteen thousand eight hundred and eighty-five dollars with a hundred and forty-eight or forty-seven backers. Let me do a refresh. Hey, hey Lee. Lee. Oh, yeah, right. fifteen k. All right, wow. <laughs> Dollars with a hundred. Everybody, we did over five thousand dollars tonight. Thank you. That's that insane. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you me. very much. I want to yeah. thank everybody, but I, I I worry that the motivation was just for me to get knocked out by Flash Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> well, that well, probably helped a little bit. A great mm -hmm. comic, and also you getting knocked out by Flash Gordon. Yeah, there's always tomorrow. You wouldn't get this thing 20k. That's right. Listen, yep. I've been knocked out by people that weren't Flash Gordon, so this will be an honor. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is the uh, guys? What's the longest, uh, the length, the longest uh, podcast you've ever done? 24 hours, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I mean, are you serious? Yep. I think mine was like 18 hours. Oh, you guys are serious. Yeah, we're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Are you serious? Are you no, on, a, on average, we only do four, six hours, four to six, six hours. Yeah. That's oh, crazy. Crazy. We're right in the sweet spot right about now. If you want to, if, if you yeah, I'm, out. I think I'm going to. Oh, my goodness. Well, look, you uh, did great, Sam. We well, always yeah. scream, Mr. Rambo. There hey, is no have, shame have, in the jungle. Have Rob or Joe call me if you need mm -hmm. me to come. I'm serious. I'm very serious. If you need me to come back on and say, "Hey, we got a question," you know, so and so, uh, so and so wants to be a huge partner 
if you could just tell this story. I, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm happy okay. Uh, before yeah. you run, I want to do a quick run through super chats that are hitting you up. Uh, Guilty Sam, this guy says. Hold on, sorry. What happened? <laughs> cheers, to, cheers to you, Sam. Oh my God. Go, Rob and Sam. Yes. Uh, Hollywood D and on EVS Hollywood D dive. Yeah, you guys should go on the EVS. Maybe I'll be on. That would be good. Uh, Very awesome. And did Sam meet Will Eisner when he made Spirit TV movie? Yes. Yeah. Our Spirit. We filmed the Spirit as a television pilot for for a series and evidently it was the only spirit production that will will eisner actually endorsed huh. there you hmm. go. that's awesome yeah. did, did you actually meet him then yeah yeah i met him briefly on the set yeah wow that's it cool. was uh warner brothers i know it was warner brothers for a fact and I think it was ABC, or not NBC, but definitely Warner Brothers. Awesome. All right, we're all caught up. So if you want to tap out here, you're good. We did 15,000. That's amazing. Wow, this man. was great. Uh, this yeah. was an absolute honor to have you on. Yes. You're a great and, and guest, good sport, lots of yeah. fun. And I want you to call me, call us when it's time to, uh, you know, uh, again, to – to help uh, bring in some partnerships for what you guys are doing as well. Absolutely. I'm happy to. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Thanks, Sam. Sam. Appreciate your Thank time. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate Take care. You. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later, Sam. Nice to meet you, Mr. Take Gordon. Mr. Mr. Jones. Yes, Hold where on. are you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to go to the toilet. Okay. Oh, you're on toilet? Is that what you just said? Go to the toilet. <laughs> Well, it's okay. That what happens. do you want to say, choke out? He was Sorry, in the no, loo. It's an absolute honor. An honor. He was in the loo. I was in the loo okay. having a poo. I'm <laughs> I'm bring bring this picture up real quick. See you hey, soon. Um, uh, choke out. I'm checking. Choke out. I'm checking out. So, take, care, yeah. take care, Mr. Jones. Yeah. It's an absolute honor and a pleasure to oh, be yeah. in the stream with you. Oh. Same here, buddy. Oh, look take at this. Take care, spirit. sir. Yeah, I oh, just wow, that's good. You look great. That's awesome. Yep. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. All right, beautiful. All right, thank you, Sam. Appreciate it. Sam, take gonna, care, guys. I'm... Thank you so much, man. This was great. Yeah. Fun time. Yeah. Okay, guys. Remember, Bye. call me if you need me back. I'm going to... Of course. Absolutely. How do I do this? Okay. You just, just hit the X, <laughs> close the window, and it should kick you right out. Don't help them. Let's watch them suffer. <laughs> <laughs> watch them suffer. Yeah, it's a little heavy. Hey, listen, everyone's calling me a simp. I won't have this. There's fucking Flash Gordon. How fucking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'll just sit here like it's a normal bloke that's on the stream. No, it's Flash Gordon. <laughs> Who's fucking talking about? Oh, look at, look at Choke Out simping. Oh, God. He, look, oh, God. How dare he simp the fucking original fucking like superhero? It's fucking Flash mm. Gordon, man. Let it up. Yeah. He had his hands all over Aurora, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Aura. I, I, Aura. I know I know we didn't get into much of the details on, on the book. Uh I mean we talked a little bit about it, but uh I figured it the, the money was coming in well enough that you know just let yeah. it let it go. Well, no, so, that's if, that's if, not... if everything's working, don't, yeah. don't fix it. So no, it's Sam, it's Sam's it's Sam's brand. <laughs> yeah, he's, mm -hmm. yeah, he's the star of this book, that's for sure. Why is everybody in the chat? It's not Sam, it's Mr. Fucking Joe. You don't call him Sam. Oh, where's okay. The, where's the respect? Uh, well, other than the fact that uh, you know he calls himself Sam, you know, he's okay. Sam. You know what? Yes, he said my name wrong for three hours. I can say Sam. Anna. I know. Oh, Anna. <laughs> it's okay. Anna and John. Mr. Joe. Hey, great. Hey, great. Hey, that was, that was a good Anna. time. Well, Anna's yeah, more exotic. Thank you <laughs> yeah, it's actually a better name. You should change it. I yeah. should change my name to Anna. <laughs> A dozen of my group chat friends already. I was oh, like, yeah, I'm was a fucking Flash Gordon. <laughs> 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 oh, did you take a picture of the screen while you're on there with them? Of course, I fucking did. <laughs> Is that how you guys are, Rob and Joe? Like, you're just like, oh my God, Flash Gordon. <laughs> are you guys like, he's a, he's a friend now? Well, yeah, we've been working with him for quite a while. <laughs> so. Wow. He's a yeah, good guy. He really is. Very, and the way he was tonight is the way he is all the time. Very mm -hmm. exuberant, very excited about life and in general, about our project. And, and that's the way he is when he's at his 
little comic cons, what you know, the different comic cons he goes to, etc. So, yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. <clears throat> I think it's great the uh, the amount of work that he's put into uh, promoting this because oh, yeah. you know yeah. normally if someone gets you know a, a, a celebrity type person uh, attached to a project, you might hear you know one pre recorded message and then it's yeah. Yeah. whatever yeah. you know. But but he's been on uh, I, I guess all of your all the streams you guys have been doing yeah. so far, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Very. Yeah. He's ex well. He's de he's genuinely excited about the project, and uh, mm -hmm. he's pushing it. And he, yeah, I mean, fun. from when I gave him the pitch, he was he was really excited about it. So, I'm yeah. Glad. Well, that that'd be great too because, like, now that you guys are funded, so the book is definitely going to happen at this point. Then, uh, oh, yeah. you know, you guys can do big print runs, and that, that's something he can go off and take to conventions now, sign it. Yes, and, yes, yeah. yes. So, yes. yeah, that'd be great. Real Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm legitimately really happy. You know that feeling you get, that satisfaction feeling you get after you just nutted in a really, really, really hot girl. That's what <laughs> I've got right now. That's what I've got right now. Like, like I'm well, being, I'm being, I'm being dead serious. I'm being dead fucking serious. Yeah. I feel like I've just banged the hottest girl in my town. That's great. Like, uh, uh, send uh, Sam a text to explain that to him. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, just you know, uh, choke out feels like he nutted meeting you. Oh Sam. God! A serious man says Anna hates it when you get her name wrong. <sighs> Anna hates everything. No, Anna hates everything. Anna's cool though. Anna, yeah, I want to hang out yeah. with Anna. Yeah, I don't I know. Don't, me, I don't but... care. I don't care. I think he called you. It wasn't Cecil, but it was. How do you pronounce it? As Cecil or something? He yes, called you Cecil. Cecil. As yeah. that's okay. Yeah. That's fine. He doesn't care. He, he, I'm, I don't care. You can call me. Listen, that. the chat's. I'm getting hammered in the chat. Here I am. I don't give a fuck. Listen, hmm. I've banged more fucking up girls than you lot have had up dinners. I don't care. I'll simp over flashboard and I don't give a fucking shit. It's Flash Gordon, man. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Thank you. But he does make he does make a uh, a conscious decision to make sure he knows everybody's name and he very cordial yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah he's, he's cool. It's it's like it's like it's like um, not that Kirk's a character. It's like fucking what's his name Shatner. You, it's just someone you see, you've grown up with, and you're like, this yeah. guy's fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember how thrilled Shatner was to meet Cecil. Listen, not thrilled. <laughs> thrilled Let me explain funny. something to you. You have a goddamn story with him because of me. I forced you to go over there. Forced you to go meet him. Oh, Here, man. no, no. What? The guys, the guys don't know. So when we went to Cincinnati, and me and Cecil both got to take a photo with William Shatner, and he, he had a little bit of a different expression when we he met me versus when he met Cecil. Cecil, share my screen. Let's see this. This is interesting. Oh, this wow. is William Shatner's face when he met me. <laughs> and this is face like, when he met Cecil. <laughs> yeah, but Anna had her titties out. She was dressed like a Vulcan in a friggin' yeah. little mini skirt and stuff. Of course. But And this yeah. is his face at you. <laughs> that was my face. Yeah, it's different. It was a different. He was like, ow. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that expression when you find out you got socks for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's the yeah it's like I need socks, but I, <laughs> yeah, I need them. But... I don't want them. Uh, yes, John, that was absolutely perfect description of his expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other one was somebody gave him cash for Christmas. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, your expression. Uh, Patrick T says, choke out, send some. British Pons to spot your fake appreciation for fuck's British sake. Hmm. I'm actually looking forward to getting knocked unconscious by uh uh I'm so excited. I feel like I've been waiting for this my whole life. I don't <laughs> want I don't want him to I don't want him to hold back. I, I want to I've, fly out just to see this. I, just, I might have to show up for that. I know. <laughs> I don't want to hold back. I, I wanna I wanna actually get cracked in the jaw by this guy. I'm so excited. 20 ounce, 20 ounce boxing glove. Yeah, that'll be good. No, bare fisted. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Sam wanted bare knuckles, fisted. man. I and a pillow and a teddy bear. Nothing. So we got to be sure those three. Like things. I said, I've been knocked out plenty of times by complete assholes. This would be fun. <laughs> Are you going to shave? Like, he tried to give you advice. Uh, Just one side? 
Yeah, just what? What is he a righty or a lefty? Lots <laughs> <laughs> to find out. Get a goatee. I'll half a beer. Yeah, because he's gonna go for that knockout point. That's what it sounded like. He really was like, he's like, look, he's not here, wrong. Gonna, that that, right that the ridge gonna right here. here. Yeah, yeah, that is the, if you can if you can pull off the hinge of the jaw, like you, everybody goes to sleep. It's it's just a fact. It's, I've it's never heard thing. him that excited about something. Honestly, he was like, <laughs> hey, "Come crack your skull open." I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> "You want to punch this guy?" You, like, he's excited to punch these. So it's glorious. I would also, guys, t- t- point out to the chat. Shane Davis is streaming over us right now. So instead, yeah, he has of, been for like an Shane hour. Davis. What did you? I know. So oh, he, man. instead of watching this glorious stream, he has been streaming some video game. Mm. What's How many people are watching? Eight. Eight. Forty-eight. <laughs> Forty-eight. That's fine. Let him do that. Laugh at Shane. I'm gonna go laugh at him right now on his stream. <laughs> yeah. So now right, let's not- let's 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 promote your campaign, Anna. Shall we? For a moment, I know you're shy. Okay. But let's let's uh let's take a look at uh your campaign at a 52 did we sell any calendar you don't you're, you don't we did, push we your did, calendar yes, we did when we started the stream it was at 51 so yes we have sold some so thank you everyone i really appreciate it it's the week uh i guess it's been a week since i launched uh soon to be a week in a day because it's almost midnight where i'm at i'm at but uh, yeah no. Any sneak preview photos you could show? Uh, well, the only ones are the ones that are on my uh, Instagram. I did post my Barbie process video today, which everyone really liked because I showed uh, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and like me actually shooting it. You can't play it because I used the actual Barbie song. So because uh, it needed it. The Barbie. Wait, song- you look less blonde here. That's because right. you're not looking at my face. No, you don't. You look less blonde here. Well, that's because you're not sharing the screen with the video, so none of us. Oh shit! Sorry, I I thought I was sharing. You also need to take the banner off the screen. Stop yelling at me, Cecil. Why do you fail at literally everything? Hmm. I'm watching the video. The important thing is I'm watching the video. Okay. Hold on. Well. You have to remember, I'm a real human boy with feelings. Mm. <laughs> Robin, Joe, you guys don't have to stay. I should have, this. I should have drank for this stream, honestly. I, I would have been. All right, see, Anna, you look brunette in there. This was when yesterday you filmed this. No. So, hmm. I dye my hair hard. in this video. What What looks better, that hair or this hair? Because everyone Your wants me to go back hair. to golf. Well, well, the well, that doesn't look okay. bad. Just as under part, that's, that's makes, the best. Makes you look that's, retarded. I yeah, like yeah. brunette. I like brunette. Anna. I'll, yeah, I'll dark. Be your hair's better dark. Wait, honey. hold up, brunette. That that's not exactly brunette. That's like blonde with brunette. Like you, her that's brunette is that. like dark, dark. Brown. Yeah, Anna, don't give her the wrong message. That that like in that video there. That's how you want it. Dark dark brown with a bit of blonde in it. Looks great. Thanks. Yeah, that looks good there. Start for the center park. Here's Anna fixing her bathing suit. Ah, I saw a pee stain. I had never worn that one. Well, I guess I had to, but I have. You have to wear it inside out. So that's busted. That's and now me. she's blonde. Okay. I didn't pee in my suit, John. You pee in pools. You've told me already. I haven't that. worn that in a pool, though. Mm. Anna will pee. Uh, Anna Wait, will. Why do you pee look like Nina? Pool. You look like Nina there. I had to do the. You're not watching the video. I had to do my hair and makeup like the Barbie doll. And then that was me a few days ago. But yeah. There's a, the spoiler of my, my Barbie video. Thank you. Everybody go watch her video if you want to <laughs> see. If you want to watch Anna prancing around in, a, in her bikini, go watch her video. Oh, hey. Okay. Personally, I'm just not interested in that sort of material. Yeah. 
You All right, guys, I, I better cut out. I got work early in the morning. This has been insane. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Uh, right, do you want to do one more refresh before uh, you take off? Yeah, let's do another refresh. I mean, okay, let me get it up. That's what she. That's what he said. Let uh, me get it. Let me get it up. Okay, so so, so we are at fifteen thousand and five dollars with one hundred and forty-eight backers. Let's do a little refresh. Hey. Wow! I can hear you. Oh Thank my you. gosh! Fifteen thousand wow. two hundred and fifteen with one hundred and forty-nine backers. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> it's been insane. Thank That's you. Great. Thank you for the backers. Yeah. Yeah, Anna, Anna, Cecil, and John, I thank you very much. It, it was very kind of you to have us on. I appreciate that. Absolutely. This was fun. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Yep. Let's do we'll, it do her, we'll do her we'll again do sometime, okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Plan, guys. We'll do it right. next time, too. It'll be yeah, we pretty much did a full right. Jack show here. Right? Yeah, yeah, if you guys oh, could really show up awesome. for the – we're going to do a live stream for the Kickstarter for, uh, to help me while I'm in a coma. <laughs> After I'm uh, not <laughs> yeah. right now, yeah. if you could come in and just uh, pledge some support, that would be great. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we'll see you. Right. Okay, Thanks, we're going guys. back. Good night. We're going back to our other jobs now. See you later. All right, <laughs> Joe, Rob, Thanks take care. Best luck to you. Take care, guys. Good to meet you. Okay, guys. Yeah, everything's going really good for this, uh, this campaign. It's yeah. Good. It's called those the guys, Cecil Bump. Cool. Joe and Rob are really cool. Sam's mm -hmm. been great. Fuck. He was fun. E you know what? Ethan actually had some really good questions tonight. So I have to give Ethan a shout out. Yeah, he needs to get on Ethan's, man, because Ethan has this deep dive knowledge, like, and wants to talk old Hollywood, then, you know, he'd be great there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be a good pairing. Mm hmm. That's why I was asking if they're going to do another 30 days or go into in demand because Ethan would get him a huge bump. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anna, have you put your ca uh, campaign on Ethan's channel? A good friend of yours? No, I have not. Why don't you do that, dummy? Uh, because I don't like going on other people's channels to promote my stuff. You don't want to be like a fucking problem. You got no, so everything I, is fucking you know what, why are you so why are you so hard to deal well, with? So, like, Ethan's a little bit of a different story because I'm friends with him, but like early on when I started doing things, there was this stigma of oh, like if I help you out, you like you owe me and but I'm never gonna cash that in, I'm gonna hold this over your head kind of thing. And, and I that's don't what Ethan's gonna do to you. No, no, Ethan's never done that. It's just like you know when somebody ruins it for you, you have that stigma. So I'm very much like I don't want somebody taking credit for that. And I also don't like the the DMs where it's like, oh remember this one time I did this one thing for you like four years ago. Well let me guilt trip you into doing this thing that you really don't want to do. So mm -hmm. I'm like I'm very like, I'll do it myself kind of thing. Okay. And why don't, why don't you? Like, why don't you just say that Shane put you off? I didn't. Right, know. Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Everything you're saying doesn't make sense because I specifically was saying Ethan, who would not do any of the things you said. No, I know Ethan wouldn't, but I'm just like I have that like. I have that bad taste in my mouth about it. So I don't like asking people for favors. Like, I don't mind asking for help. Like, hey, guys, does this look better? Does this one? But like big things like that. I just don't. Just do a stream with Ethan on his channel. You guys could bullshit for a couple hours and sell your calendar, please. Thank you. It's like, that's a good idea, Cecil. You're you're brilliant. And also probably the most handsome. How did was how did I do in the poll tonight? Anybody can we take a look? <laughs> I Probably think I lost some. I think I lost some ground after you started showing mm. the aura. Stuff. Yeah. You know what I never realized is that like bug comic that I like have been working on for years that I will eventually release. The main character's name is Aura, but it's not spelled the same way. Hmm. Like, oh, it's spelled uh, oral. No, aura. <laughs> yeah, it's spelled the oral. <laughs> she, she's possibly one of the fucking hottest birds that's ever been in a movie. Oh my god! No, she. We were we were looking at pictures of her earlier. She is absolutely ridiculous. Like she is, she's like unworldly. Like that's you know, the, yeah, that's the kind of bird that you would. Do I almost movie don't movie. like that. It's, it's to do. too pretty. Yeah. It's it's too much. Like I need. Yeah, a I would want to tarnish her. Yeah, it's too pretty. I need a chick that can take a punch. 
I'd use her shit as a to- as toothpaste, mate. I'm telling you. Mm. I want to be. I want to be her greatest regret. <laughs> Wait, did he just say I'd use her shit as toothpaste? Yeah. Yes, he did. <laughs> You see why British people have bad teeth? This is the the mentality. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine. He's but it's true. Right. It's true. I said somewhere, somewhere, right, right now, somewhere, right now, there's some dude sat there going, "Yeah, fucking, oh, I remember." Her. I don't think anybody ever got tired of fucking that. Yeah, they do. Don't really see, so that's the worst thing about. It. That's the most infuriating thing about it. Uh, yeah, you're right. I know. I know you're right. Oh God, I'd love to be in that position. Oh, God. I'd <laughs> love to be I'm getting sure bored of that. Would. I would love to be in a situation where I'm bored of that. Wait, yeah. so guys, theoretically, if you guys go to the New Jersey con, it, Cecil Flash Gordon is going to punch you in the fucking face. I'm I'm all for it. I'm there for it, <laughs> dude. You have to film that like that. I'm, I'm, that has to, of course you have to have multiple people film that for it will be a million people. people with their cameras out it will be i will i will be like I listen i not wait it'll it'll it will be able to compile them all and it'll look like that matrix shot i'm so spinning. dude i might fly out there for that like just to see flash gordon punch you well, you got to get the 20K first. Okay. If they get, guys, if you guys get the campaign to 20K and you guys all know what con it is because it's up on the thing. I want to fucking see this. Hmm. I would take, I would like to get punched in the head by him, but he's a big dude and he still works out. You know what I mean? He's I know. It's <laughs> too late now. You already made the deal. Cecil, you're going to need a new nose again. You know what happens? If you no, he's going, for, he's going for right here. He's going okay, for so my you're jaw. You're going to lose some teeth again. All that Invisalign was for nothing. I'll break, he might, I'll, no, I'll wear a mouthpiece, but he might break my jaw. Like how did mouthpiece. how did Dale age? I broke my jaw a few times. It's fine. I'm so See, So excited. what happens if you break a deal? Oi. You get the wheel. You spin Oi. the wheel. How did, how did, Dale, how did Dale Arden age? Um... um they all actually look pretty good. I saw them the, in their like current photos. They all like they, none of them became like Timothy, monsters. Timothy still looks kind of good. I hey, Timothy, Dal- Timothy Dalton's still a, a handsome man, definitely. If you if you were, this is how I gauge it. If you was his age, and you woke up in the morning, looked in the mirror, and you looked like him, would you be happy? Yeah, that's how I, I gauge it. <laughs> if I was my age and I woke up and looked like him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because because Dale, Dale, bless her, she was hot as well. But obviously, like, when not you, compared to the princess. Yeah, when you start holding the torch up next to the sun, isn't it? He's just gonna get outshone every single time. I like that line where he's just like, "Did you torture?" her? And he's like, "Yes, she's strange. She, I think she liked it." <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that's all in the lines. Yeah. No, but Cecil, so you know that like feeling that you got when you're like, oh yeah, I saw her, and they're like, I like girls. See, like that's like me with Timothy Dalton. I was like, who is he? Yeah, he no, is she handsome. was like, she's she was insane. Like, uh, Biggin sent me a, a a text earlier. He's like, I think uh, Princess Aura was my first like like you know, <laughs> like, yeah. So many guys saw that woman and was just like, holy shit, this is yeah. like, yeah, you know, this is as good as it gets. And you put John's pulling up Dale. Is this her now? Yep. Or as close to now as I could find. She still that's looks good. Right. Yeah, yeah, she looks good. Right. Mm-hmm. She's probably she's about se- she's about seventy years face. old. Yeah, yeah. you in her face yeah, with plastic happy. surgery. She still looks good. Yeah, if that's your bird at that age, you're happy. She's about mm-hmm. seventy years old. Yeah. Yeah, so. you'd still blow the back doors off it, wouldn't you? Sure. I mean, not at my age, but at that age, I'd be like, yeah, she's getting it tonight, man, after she's made me my soup. <laughs> Somebody said Anna won't swim. You even have the menu planned out. Anna won't swim through a lonely pool to save Cecil's life, but she will fly transcontinental to see him punched out by Flash Gordon. Exactly. Notice that? I notice all this shit, too. Exactly. You know what? I'm there for my friends when they need yeah, me. Yeah, thanks, pal. You're welcome. I'll be there for moral support. Uh, I'm going to be cheering Flash on. Moral support for him. Punch harder. (laughs) Jethro Hawks is actually, that's a fair point. She she does look like a little bit like Brendan Fraser or like she could be his mom. Oh, but she's... Will you go if if this happens and Flash Gordon's going to punch things in the face? Will you go? John. Oh, yeah, yeah. Promise? 
Yeah, if yeah. Cecil's getting punched in the face, I'm going to be there for my friend. <laughs> I'm going to film it. Oh, we're all going to Hold on. It'll be the Kelsey might even go. You guys, there we go. All right, there you go. Cecil. I feel like there's nothing I can't do with you guys in my corner, but but also I also feel you're only doing this because I'm gonna get hurt. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, holding it together. I don't know what year this is, but that, that's comparable. Yeah, that's probably within the last three or four years. He looks mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flash fucking Gordon, man. He's like the yeah. Indiana Jones of space. Yeah. Oh my god, people made a meme of this already. Let me share it. Okay, so this is gonna be this isn't as epic as I would imagine, but it's pretty cool. I don't know why John Campia is there, but <laughs> Cecil's excitement is gonna be mine and John. See, this is us being like, wait. We don't have our cameras out. Yeah, where's our cell phones at? <laughs> this needs to be Ethan, not John Campia. And Cecil needs to be crying and significantly fatter. Oh, I don't cry. I've been punched. You're going life. to. You are one. Well, you if you get punched in the nose, you will uh, involuntarily empty. Shane said he wasn't invited, John. Oh, Jonathan Lopez. I will so. say that. If you get punched right in your nose. It empt it forces your tear ducts. Yeah, out. it does. Yeah, yeah. It, you, it, and you, it, and then it looks like you're crying, which makes you even more fucking angry. <laughs> so you have fucking mm. tears running, but it empties your tear ducts. I can't wait to see you get punched and cry. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do just to make sure that doesn't happen? I'll have a nice cry before I. <laughs> <laughs> what a baby! <laughs> yeah, I'll be in the bathroom sobbing. Why would everything all right? Yeah, 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 I'm about to get punched in the face. I just want to empty my tear ducts. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, I gotta get to work. I've got to go. Actually, I'm just, I'm just. Cecil, to be able read your super chats because I have to go to bed too. I've got to go. Everyone, take care. Bye, John. Bye, John. Bye, Thanks for everybody, John. John. Thank you take so care, much. Chat. Hail. Bye, bye, guys. I'll read a couple more super chats and then we'll split. Uh, did he just get significantly? See, I came in here because I thought your show was going to hell. I was like, I was like, oh, no, the, you the, the guests didn't show up. Uh, everything's foo bar. I better come in there and help uh, Anna and Cecil out. And then I re th then I found out I was early. No, you were you did great. You were a big <laughs> addition to the show, man. Yeah, you got to hang out with Flash Gordon again. Again, yeah, we're like best friends now, besties. <laughs> Do you feel like cool that you got to meet a piece of? History? I was a little disappointed that he didn't remember who I was, but he did remember you and Nina. Uh -oh. I wonder why. Anna, will you please do the Marie Antoinette? Look at this guy. He backed the twelve hundred dollar tier for Sam. You jerk. Oh, hell, Patrick. Key. Anna, Patrick. It's not even that bad. Like it's you're covering up most of the stuff. Like you're already. Think about, come on, I'm in Patrick's corner. This guy is, come on. I think she's there, Pat. This is, come on, he just did a 1,200 tier. Yeah, but that's to back yeah. Sam, not to back me. Joseph Abrams says that. Oh, I'm my God. You don't think he backed you? He's backed you. He gives you $50. I know. Super. Guys, it's I don't. It's not even that bad. You get your I don't. I don't want. No, I don't. I don't want to do a naked photo shoot. That's fucking weird to me. But you don't have. You could be wearing a bikini bottom, but you're just gonna have a feathers covering, the bikini. I don't have, have self confidence to. enough to do that, guys. Oh my god! Why are you such? I'll a draw you a ass. picture, Patrick. All right, she's at a maybe stage, so we we broke ground tonight. But I think we could happen. And he could be wearing a full bikini the whole time. You just have to have it covered with the with your arm and the feathers. Mm -hmm. No one sees as long as you're covering the bikini, no one even knows you're wearing it. Yeah. I don't want photos of me like that existing. Wax your uh, happy trail. What are you talking about? You've sent nudes to a bunch of jerks, probably hundreds of them over your years. No. By a hundred. No. <laughs> Come on. 
you it, it wouldn't be showing anything like it would be the same as a bikini i said no i have limits mm. head rock says choke out mvp of the entire stream sorry he left before no, i read no that. he could have been if he fucking uh goes and gets some equipment that works yeah it's annoying Patrick T says, in between the eyes is base. So you want him to punch me literally like in my forehead. Uh, <laughs> no, that, that would probably hurt him as much as it hurt mm. Cecil. Yeah, you know, uh, he's still 68. He'll break his hand on my forehead. Uh, I've had a broken jaw, broken nose, multiple, broken eye socket. I'm knocked out tooth. Are you trying to blame that on why you look the way you do? Mm. No, I didn't. I was nothing to be <laughs> nothing special before that. Uh, TC, aside from Ed, TC, should I try and get covered by Dan Lawless if time? Oh, that they should. They should try to get it. Oh, down. they oh. should. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, I think I, I think probably the only missed stuff really is that no one heard about this campaign until about a week before it launched. You know, I think if they would have been out and really pushing it for six months uh getting the word out i think it would have had a much stronger launch well they're gonna extend it right i said yeah patrick t americans kept the roof over the british oh, I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> christopher stretch goal for anna to run into a doorknob twice that means two black eyes Mm, two black guys what yeah well she's already done that two black eyes oh yeah. well, something new right patrick t i'm gonna convince you anna sending a rizzoli book anna think it over uh this guy come on it's really not i don't even see this i don't see it as like demeaning or gross or anything to be honest. I'm, I'm not even lying i don't think it's that bad you know what patrick I'm going to do an anime calendar after this. And then after that, I was debating between mythology or princesses. Marie Antoinette was technically a princess. So maybe, but I wouldn't wear that one. Oh, oh come on. Not? Anna. I'm just you're not. You're going to be old and fat in like two years. So do it. Off. Do it now. I'm not following your regiment. Yeah, I don't. I don't see the problem. But I held. It, I held it together until I was, you know, in my thirties. I yeah. I held, I'm 39 and I look great. Well, that's because I had to actually be outside. Hey, John, here. Am I, is this good? Like this? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> All right, snap the picture. Everybody, take a picture. Yeah. Ah, uh, to be 38 again. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Well, Cecil, read me your super chats, please, because I got to go to bed soon. We're all done. We're all caught up. You, there's no way you read all of those. I can see how many you have starred. No, he just reads them. He doesn't unstar them like you because he's not a psycho. I unstar them so I, I don't read. Yeah, them. but then when you have to go back because you missed something, then you're like, well, I didn't start them all. Mm. I, re I read them all. Okay. It's easier to shuffle through 70 to find one that you missed than to... Uh, Find them after you unstar them. Yes, that's my whole thing. Seventy-one. This all started with this. It all started with punch Cecil and a smug face stretch goal. Two dollars. Two dollars. Great. Two dollars spent. Hey, if this all works out, that'll be the. If I die, it'll be the best two dollars in it. <laughs> <laughs> I go into a seizure. That would be. That'd be great. That'd be a good start. Be like. How did he die? It's like Flash Gordon killed him. Yeah, beat that motherfucker. Would you would you have cancer? <laughs> Bring a book. Mm. Boring. All right, everybody. All right. all right. Let's all say goodbye. I say thank you. I say love you all. Each and every ah! one of them. I say Fighter of the Night. Man, ah. John, champion of the sun. 